Hello! Hello! I've made no announcements. I've made no attempts. I've failed to center the camera. Um, but here we are. It's a Sunday. I've got the rig. And honestly, I fancy continuing to smash some skeletons in the gabber, if that's alright with you. I know it's uh, a little bit a little bit cheeky, a little bit selfish to have uh, another round of uh, streaming today, but, but, there isn't really, uh, there isn't really a lot else I would rather be doing right now, my lovely friends. Greenfire and Wraith, first to the door. What? Oh, friends! Sorry for the general disorganization. Come on in, come on in. Uh, move the teacups out of the way. I haven't had a chance to do any, uh, any dishes yet because I want an account of the hand. <laughs> come cap! What ho, friend! With uh, Sunday, eh? Uh? Oh, also, what ho? Alleged, what ho, friend! Uh, sorry, being like, this is super late and a Sunday? Yeah, um, next week's gonna be. Next week's gonna be chaos. Um, I am gonna be off Thursday and Friday. Um, and I feel really fucking bad about that. And I was looking around today and being like, you know what? You know what? I really fancy just getting stuck into some pillars, hanging out with you lot. No stress, no pressures, just us smashing some skeletons on the gather in an underground hellscape. Well, underground temple area. You haven't even seen the giant worm yet. Navalis! What ho, friend! With a uh, surprise Sunday stream, huh? Oh, and a legend man saying you saw the uh, Monster Hunter video. Yeah, I... We filmed that ages back, and it was... Watching it today was a lot of fun, so I, I've been grinning like a little loon. One, because all the comments on Floydo's video are lovely. Um, actually, I think I've still got the link for it here. Have I? No, no, that is, that is just me screaming broken bones. <laughs> um, I had it here. Okay, I can't find the fucking link for it. Um, so if one of you has it, then that would be brilliant. Uh, Doom Brigade says, is there more duo Monster, stu Monster Hunter stuff coming up? Uh, so Doom Brigade, uh, as soon as I'm healed, because um, uh, Dan and I filmed the Anjanath video a while back, and unfortunately Doom Brigade, I broke my hand. Um, we did a Monster Hunter stream uh, a couple weeks ago where we beat uh, one of the Elder Dragons. Not myself and Floydo, just the kind of the crew here. Uh, turns out I did that with a literal broken hand. Like, bone in my hand snapped like a breadstick. Um, so, yeah, I'm currently I'm currently on the mend. Uh, but this little gauntlet does not allow... Like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's no space. I can't... I haven't been able to get a pad underneath it. I can't, I can't actually get the thumb to the stick. It's... Um, and Floydo's invited me on to do some fun stuff and things like that, which... I can't wait to do. It, hang, hanging out with him and Carrie is like the best. And Floydo keeps excellent company and excellent friends. So yeah. Whoa! Jumping back in. Cryostix saying, uh, oh hi. I just got all the achievements in Dark Souls Remastered. Exhales. Holy crud in a handbag. I mean, what old friend and welcome. But also, holy crud. That's freaking awesome. I've, I don't think I've done any of the Dark Souls with a full clear run, you know what I mean? Like, yo. So, congratulations. Super duper congratulations. I'm getting blipped out by mess. No, no, we're good, we're good. Um, so, who's just shown up? Compliment cap! Did I... Firstly, what old friend? Secondly, thank you kindly, yo. Uh, so, just before we went live, compliment cap being a fecking lovely mother hubbard... Uh, gifted me a copy of uh, Scanner Sombra. So we're gonna. We'll have a stream of that once the old uh, green mitt's working. And we'll go from there, yo. Uh, so Greenfire's saying, okay, uh, I'll hang around for a little bit. Uh, but I have to go as I have a trial shift from 11.30. Gotta be good, get some sleep. Um, so yeah, Greenfire, don't stay up on our account. We'll. Uh, this is, uh, today's stream is mostly going to be the last of the catch-up. Um, so, if you watch the last run-through of Pillars of Eternity 2, this stream should get us back to the point we were last time. 
so that come Tuesday or if we do a Monday, then brilliant. But so the next stream after today will be brand new content. Um, we're going to roll around the under city. We're going to smash some worms in the gabber and fight some truly disgusting things. But we're going to come out of it with a fancy looking conch shell. Um, and then we'll be able to head up to the rich people district and start eating some rich. The only difference is that this time around, we're going to be going at them like a, like a whirlwind of vengeance. Um, and green fire, so you need to make a move at 1am. How many hours is that from now? Because I, uh, I don't have enough free hands to put up the, um, uh, the international clock. Jumping back in, beta positive. Uh, alleged Beodora clank. And is that an advance just hiding down there? Captain Steph Barnes, what ho, friends? Come on in. Oh, I love this track. Um, actually, let me uh, let me share this because it took me fecking days to work out how they filmed it. I refuse to watch the filming of this. I fine. I refuse to watch the filming of this video um, until I worked it out myself. Cause I was just fascinated by it. It's fucking rad. Uh, Beadora says, "Well, it's uh, one a.m. is in fifty minutes for me. I'm not happy about having to be up at seven. <sighs> Beadora, why? Why would you do that? Mornings are full of pains. Hey, Fireburns, what old friend? How goes it, yo? I almost didn't see you there." Uh, so yeah, just a little spot of waffle mancy before we get stuck in. But as I said, um... oh, and Meebot did its job for once. Feck, it's almost on point. All right, so green fire is at uh, quarter past uh, eleven. So you've got you've got two hours to hang out with this green fire. Wonderful, wonderful. So as I was saying earlier, uh, today's stream will mostly be the last of the the last of the catch ups. We'll be cheesing it up and down, neck attacker, trying to make stuff happen and kick ass. With any amount of luck, we'll be able to bring it together. <sighs> so what have we got? Yeah, so we're in the old city. So underneath the slums of Nekataka is this, the old ruins, which is where undesirables are sent to basically die and get eaten by monsters. But there's also a lot of historical sites and treasure and plunder to be had, which is what we're going for. Uh, Fireburns is saying, by the way, uh, 1,030. Jeez, 1,030 followers. Bloody hell, you're right and all. Fucking hell. I guess those must be the lovely folks who came over from Floydos. Uh, Tol saying, pop it in to say hi. Bit tight at the moment. I mean, I do. I miss you when you're not here, Tal. I do miss you. But I hope you're doing alright, dude. Yeah, those must have been all lovely folks that came on over from uh, Floyd's channel. Oh, that's fucking great. I need this to fucking heal so I can do some more stuff with Floyd. Uh, one thing that I suggested to him, which I don't think will happen because um, it's a dumb idea, but uh, I basically, uh, if you haven't seen, um, Dan Floyd has been doing a, a long playthrough of all the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, I think he's up Kingdom Hearts 2 now, and what I want to do is I want to essentially do a drunk history of Kingdom Hearts with him. <laughs> um, I want to basically get him smash drunk, get him to tell us the plot of the Kingdom Hearts games, like, in one run, and from there... Uh, try and reenact his retelling of it. Uh, Legend Man saying, Does Floyd have Twitch? I don't think so. Um, actually, let me. While we're enjoying some uh, cheeky chapstep, let me find that video. Um, because if there's anyone here who hasn't seen um, uh, Floyd stuff on Play Flame or on. On New Frame Plus, then it is entirely worth your time. Come on, give me that. Why does YouTube all gotta give me the weird link? I just want the one that says Play Frame. Why well, you gotta. 
Why you gotta be so rude? Alright. Okay, so, this is one of, that's a link that I've dropped in, that's one of Dan Floyd's two channels. So, uh, New Frame Plus is the other one, and, yeah, the New Frame Plus video on how to animate uh, a Smash Bros. attack is just utterly choice. Anyway, um, let me bring all this together. Um, Comp Cap said, <laughs> I'd watch that nine times in a row. I mean, I think there's some merit into it, but uh, I can't drink and I don't have two hands to even hold a camera, so... Not a lot I can do about that at the moment, but... Uh, Fireburn says, wait, uh, you know the dude who did that video on the Smash animations? Uh, that's Dan Floyd. He's uh, He's been in the Saturday streams. He's been on here. Um, so, uh, Dan Floyd was... Uh, Dan Floyd's been an excellent friendo to me for feckin' donkey's years. And I can't say enough nice things about him, right? Um, what was really fun is that some of the Monster Hunter videos have actually been crew members from here. I was a little bit of a crumb bum. Maybe I didn't tell people that Dan Floyd was going to be sneaky... Uh, slipping into people's games and recording them. Um, but people got to show off their badass skills, and I think that's super cool. Uh, Tal says, um, for Kingdom Hearts, uh, drink every time you get confused by the story. Even my liver can't take up that. <laughs> and I caught fire once saying, I can't drink. Takes a sip of coffee. Clearly you can drink. You know what I mean. Uh, Ellen, what ho, friend? Come on in, yo. Come on in. We're going to continue our uh, ship hunting, skeleton smashing adventures. Though I should say, um, as a few of you have come on in, today's stream will basically be catching us up to where we where we died, where Mr. Viking's first death happened. Um, so at least if we stream tomorrow or Tuesday and Wednesday, then we'll be able to just roll into the stuff and start kicking some ass. Um, plus, I've got a Sunday, and I really want to play some games and hang out with you lot, so... <laughs> oh, Meebot, you're so good when you do your feckin' job! But hey, where's me feckin' buttons? Wait, hang on. Bop, 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 feck! Um, so I haven't punted out a tweet, I'm not gonna... I'm just going to hang with you lot, and we're going to have a lovely little Sunday. I want to continue from there. Uh, Sturdy Kiwi says, The adventures continue for Mr. Viking. Ah, right there do, sh right there do, Kiwi, right there do. Um, if you've just joined us, or if you missed yesterday's, um, we have just hit the old city. Uh, we've found one of the two mystical conch shells. Um, which is pretty bloody good, really. Um, with both, we can open a sneaky, a sneaky cheek, a seek. We can open a sneaky secret door. However, the pirate who runs the black market in this city wants one of the conch shells for himself, and he won't say why. So we're going to steal the shell after we've done everything in the old city. Then we're going to come back down, open the doors, and then once we've got both shells, then we'll give him one of them and see where that leads us. Once we've done that, as soon as we open the door with the two shells, we are past the point which we have been at before. And from that point, I have no idea what's going to happen. It is open seas and open sailing. So, grab yourself a beverage, sit ye keisters down, as we take to the seas for a little bit of Pillars of Eternity 2. Dead fire. Thank you, Mr. B. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, so, a legend man says, "Any idea where the hand cast comes off?" Uh, so, this uh, temporary bastard's coming off on Thursday. Um, that is when I find out whether or not I'm going to get just a carbon fiber cast, or whether they're going to have to rebuild my hand with science. So, there's that. 
Hey, Gil! What ho, friend! Gil, what's saying? Hey, uh... <laughs> I loved your Monster Hunter World cameo on Floydo's on Floydo's video. Also, your Palico was just chilling and illing down in the Elder's Recess. Help me take out a basil goose. Nice. I am very proud. And Gil, if little Nico can be uh, a good fire support for you, then I'm very happy. Um, Green Fire is asking, can we please name the Friendo pets with a straw poll? I don't know if we can. Um, but I will certainly give it a so I'll give it a crack. Uh, Cryostick says uh, I can just imagine Will leading a group of sneaky people and explaining quietly and sneakily like, okay, now we need to open the snicker snip slap strap. <laughs> <laughs> Shh! Whatever you do, don't make a sound. Just as soon as I can open the skip, as soon as skip. Gil said, not only was my cat useful, but he was baller as heck. Yeah, I gave him the um, uh, the Zora Magdalos armor, because uh, I'm not using it. Oh, that is very strange. Alright, let's get this music up. Yeah! Do you feel it? Do you feel that wonderful swelling song? Beadora said, uh, is this when Will gets his cyber arm? Oh god, I'd never hear the end of that if I got, if I got a cybernetic hand. Uh, oh, and Stony Kiwi is saying, also, don't forget, EAT THE RICH! Um, I don't know if we'll make it there in time, but I'm going to work hard. But we should start making it to the rich people districts in Nekataka. So we are going to break into houses... We're going to murder people. We're going to eat their bones. Well, maybe not their bones, but we'll eat most of them. I think, was it Hindle wanted the bones for something? I forget. Uh, and Legend saying, um, if Will got a cyber arm, it needs to be the arm from Yang from Ruby. Oh, that'd be super cool. But if actually, um, I'm not saying that uh, I wouldn't want that. But if I had a request, I'd go for kind of the, um, the shadows die twice, like transforming ninja arm. Because let's be honest, I'm not like... I did one, I did one accidental punch and broke my hand. I'm never going to be like Yang level of like close combat punching. Oh, and Caffeine said, don't forget to save the spleens for Kestrel. Yes. Uh, I didn't ask whether or not she wanted rich spleens or just regular spleens. Um, I, I really should, as the host and, you know, human megaphone of the longship, I should be better about asking people's dietary requirements. And for that, I'm genuinely sorry. Um, so if any of you do have any dietary requirements when it comes to consuming the rich, please let me know. Um, I'm sure we can, if needs be, we can destroy more of the rich and then have like separate cooking areas if people have like peanut allergies or, you know, can't do dairy. Just, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> right, uh... Load game, old city. Uh, I need to talk to Hindle about as well, because um, the artsy Poe drew us a drew us a wonderful little um, head sh uh, like uh, portrait of Mr. Viking in this game. I need to ask Hindle how he makes the custom uh, the custom portraits, because that would be super cool. Gilbot with Will as cannibal Robin Hood. Yeah. Hey, Baron Sheep. What old friend? Come on in, yo. Come on in. We're having a, a relaxed Sunday with some high seas adventure. Well, actually, no. Today's going to be dungeon crawling and stabbing. But you know what I mean. Uh... Tal says, when you become rich from the Twitch, did, uh, uh, do you eat you? <laughs> in the event that I became uh, somehow, somehow classified as rich in this, I've already said I'd spend the money on getting us all in the same place for a great big hangout. If I somehow made it rich on Twitch, I wouldn't stay rich for long. And as Tal knows, uh, I want to do an animated intro for the longship at some point. Which, yeah, that's probably not something I'm going to be able to afford for a while, but... Right... Cryostick says, uh, 
you can't deny that a cybernetic arm would pack a nice punch. <laughs> it's because of pun. Uh, Tal says, oh, a person wants to do it. Yay! Well, what we'll have to do is, uh, Tal, you and I will... If you don't mind doing an introduction, we'll we'll chat price point and then work out when I can commission that, and we'll go from there. Uh, Rogues to form uh, says I am uh, waiting, uh, I'm wanting the play frame. Oh, I'm watching the play frame Monster Hunter World. That's super cool. I had a lot of fun with that, and assuming that Floydo, assuming that Dan Floyd will have me back um, once my hand is healed, I'm looking forward to doing some more hunts with him. So yeah. Oh, Rogue to Form, and thank you kindly for the follow. Uh, also, there's been a ton of follows yesterday, so everyone who has thrown a follow since yesterday or from uh, the Playframes channel, like, yo, it's lovely to have you with. Um, we don't we do not do as many crossovers with, uh, with Dan as I'd like, but I do try and invite him onto the show, especially for the big Saturday games and stuff like that. And there's been a few times we've had him chilling and nilling here, so, yeah. Once my hand is functioning again, I'll stop going and hanging out with people, but yeah. Uh, anyway, Tal says, alright, need to bounce. Uh, things are going to get interesting in 30 minutes. It's business time. You know how I know it's business time? Because it's a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, Flight of the Concords. Beautiful, beautiful people. Mm. Beta positive, right you are. Like, Dan is super humanly busy. Um, the last time I saw him was just uh, by pure heckin' chance um, in Seattle. We had what became known as the Day of Friends Katamari, uh, where I I was in town, I went to meet Echo, met Dan, we went for lunch, Echo showed up, and then uh, Lil was walking to a meeting, just randomly. A lesser Earth Blight. Uh, I can't remember if these guys are tough or not. And yeah, we'd end up hanging out with a bunch of people, and then... Oh, was it Earl? We met one of the longship friendos who it turned out was getting commission work and it was like, feckin' cool. Yeah. Uh, a legend man says, I think you, Floydo and Carrie should do Stardew Valley and Overcook together with uh, Monster Hunter World. Oh, I'd love to do that, yo. I would feckin' love to do that. Um, I think uh, for Overcooked, they think I think they have a very good crew coming on. So that'll be very funny. Um, I Of which, I am not one, but... Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, there there are some weird little esoteric games that I want to take onto Floyd's channel. Because we've done stuff before, like... I was very proud that uh, Ace of Seafood was actually uh, premiered first. Well, at least me and Dan playing it on uh, Playframe. And we haven't done a Sega Bass Fishing run in a while. And as the internet's premier... Sega Bass Fishing Pro Player. I feel that I haven't really been representing my brand enough. <laughs> yeah, I think these Earth Springs are pretty easy to handle. No yes. Kill with the secret giant fish! Yeah. Um, my goal is still to catch the 20 pound... The 20 pound bad word live on... Live on Floydo's show. Like, that's my goal. What is it? Good work there, team. Good work. Uh, Beardora saying the channel does need more fishing games. Underperforming there, Will. I am sorry, and all I can offer you all is my my sincerest apologies that I've been been failing to represent the fishing game genre. Uh, you know, as a professional in my field should. A yes. lovely lot. Um. Jumping back in. Vanderbeast, what a friend! So, yeah. Uh, Compliment Cap says... Uh, oh, who's the not Aethus? Yeah, Aethus has been benched after he shit-talked me in the last game. Uh, so this... Uh, oh, this is quite handy because Merkel needs to level up. This is Murky. She's a royal pisshead monk stabber. Uh, what's her official? She's a brawler. One part monk, one part fighter, all parts pisshead. And she is lovely. She has a knife called the Puke Stabber, 
which uh, makes you you do more damage as you're drunk, but she's also got a ring which cures her of hangovers. And she's right good at bluffing folk. Uh, she's very athletic as well, which makes up for her severe drinking. Uh, Mashti, what ho, friend! Uh, come on in. Oh, J Post, that's lovely to say. J Post also saying that they they love the Monster Hunter, my Monster Hunter intro in Dan's video. Yeah, I didn't tell him I was going to do that. I just, you know, that thing when you come up with an idea and then you find yourself sit uh, sitting and chortling quietly to yourself, like, hey, I've got an idea. Uh, Torment's Reach, this ability exploits the shared bond, the universal suffering between all beings. I, I think, while that's a very clever name, I think you just jump and kick someone. Blade Tuning. And... Dance of Death. Clarity of Agony, you're not very cheerful, these movesets. Anyway, let's go for Flying Kick, because that seems awesome. Uh, she's got both daggers. Well, if she wasn't going to use a, if she wasn't using uh, like quick fire daggers, I think she'd be a a ridiculous flail mason user. That'd be funny. There we go. That's one character leveled up. Jumping back in, caffeine says that ring is the most valuable thing in the entire world. Yeah. Um, the only rule is you have to wear the ring whilst you're drinking. It doesn't work uh, after the fact. What are we doing? Oh, we've got a lot of dungeon to explore. Um, yeah, I do want the... Um, oh, what's the name of it? I do want to add it to the longship cannon. Wait, what? Hang the heck on. Oh, because we equipped it. Oh, all right. That's probably why she's been um, feeling so groggy. Uh, turns out that when we had a little uh, save crash earlier. No, not the Ring of Regeneration. Not the creepy ass mask. Here we go. The Drunkard's Regret. Which I think is pretty bloody good. Oh, dark grey cape for people who are feeling more styling. Uh, actually, Jody might be suiting a dark grey cape more than a, a red cape. Don't want to look like a Christmas elf, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Uh, just having a quick look, seeing if everyone's getting any new items. Uh, we'll do a little spot of the uh, leveling dance then for Seraphim, shall we? Narcissus, what ho! How goes it? Narcissus saying, hey friends, how goes it? I see you finally hit 1k. Yeah, yesterday was... Yesterday was very emotional and very intense and fecking awesome. So I'm not I'm not gonna derail the entirety of this stream with more of my feels, but I, I'm gonna say again, thank you all. We we got here as a group together, and that's thanks to you lot. And I don't want you all to Yeah. Yeah, just thank you. Alright. Get some more will in you. How are you, Fed? What, oh, friend? Yeah, 1k followers. It's a thing that happened. Um, uh, and as Baron Sheep is saying, we got another stamp on the Make Will Cry punch card. And for those of you that haven't seen it, uh, the Artsy Poe actually did a Will Stream bingo card and a Make Will Cry on Stream punch card. So, yeah, you can. You can have uh, you can have a play along with both of those. Fireburn said, "As long as the punch card isn't free." Wait, wait. Anyway, continuing ever onwards. So there are a couple of, if I remember rightly, there are a couple of really meaty fights in this area. Uh, of which this isn't one of them. Spooky goes to spooky, but... Oh! Got ourselves a couple of undead here! A 
the fire burn saying, this looks like, oh my god, this looks like Icewind Dale. It's very much in the same memory. So, Fire Burns, if you've not seen um, uh, Pillars of Eternity, I mean, we've been playing it all bloody week. Uh, it's one of the few things that's been really good to play with my busted ass hand. Um, but it is very much in the Icewind Dale, Baldur's Gate style, the kind of classic D&D-esque, um, like, dungeon crawler narrative. And, yo, it is... It is a masterclass. The voice acting not only complements the game, but adds a whole extra layer of attention to it. Alongside with just the sheer attention to detail and freedom, we can have a pirate ship, a crew. We're currently working towards making enough cash to buy a bigger ship. Because, I mean, now that we've got over a thousand friendos, we're going to need a much bigger ship. Uh, unless anyone knows how to give me a lot of money in game. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not above, not above shenanigans. But, uh, uh, where were we going? Sorry, saying, oh dear. No, no, you know what? I'm not even reading that out. I'm not even reading that out. No. Um, Clank says, uh, where can we find the bingo and punch cards? All right. Uh, bear with me all just a second. I'll quickly fish them out because I've got them. I've got them on the Twitters. I've got them on the Twitters around here somewhere. A dust in your eyes says, gotta love shenanigans. Such a great word. Shenanigans. It's just the, the right amount of good-hearted... Oi, you feck. It's just the right amount of good-hearted villainy. Buddy, buddy. Bear with me just a second... Alright, here we go. So this is the tweet. If any of you would like to play Bingo or Make Will Cry on Stream Punch Card, there we go. Hey! A legend, man. Thank you. Triggering the first dramatic duck of the day with, uh, here is a congrats on 1k, because it's a feckin' kaleidoscope, in it. <laughs> and if you haven't played GTA London, that comment is probably very confusing. Uh, alleged man, thank you kindly, yo. And sometimes when you lot are being super lovely and super generous, I kind of imagine myself in the position. You know, we joked during the Subnautica stream that my character was imagining you lot as like the Twitch, Twitch and the Twitch audience as a coping mechanism for being in their their own personal hell. There's also a theory that I never actually left Subnautica. There's another theory that I never left Soma, but that's getting into some weird. That's getting into some exceedingly weird territory. Anyway, um, I like to imagine my guy in the middle of this like plague-riddled, corpse-filled dungeon being like, okay, and I'd like to thank Compliment Cat for, for... Sorry, I'd like to thank a legend man for the $2 donation and Compliment Cat for gifting a game. Everyone else around's like, the feck is going on with you? Are you okay? Is this demonic possession? Have you got a problem? Leave it to me. Uh, sorry said, I will behave uh, in that we'll, we... We be naming the biggest ship after the Pirate Queen herself, the Ursa Minor. <laughs> well, we need to get the biggest Tekken ship first. As soon as we get that, onto a winner. Oh, I bet none of these bad guys going to pop up. Oh boy. Actually, I tell you what. Send um. Ahoy. Aye, aye. Send Seraphin over here to pick this up, because you know, as soon as we pick up the skeleton, it's gonna be like. Oh, Min's Fortune, Saber, one-handed, exceptional. Oh, I'm going to give that to you. And quickly before everything spawns. Got a blade for yous. Alright, let's have a quick look at Min's favour before we... Hey! Vanderbeast, feckin' thank you, yo! Vanderbeast saying, resubbing for October! Dramatic Dark! I know, it's an, it's an eerie likeness, right? <laughs> uh, jumping back into chat, Gilbot says, Bah! Can't save the bingo card to play it in paint net. 
just uh, do a clip it. Uh, Javier Fed says, uh, so my idle game is out. Uh, I had a bit of a hiccup, but it's fixed thus far. Way cool. Um, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, uh, Javier Fed is a uh, very good local friend of ours and also a local game developer and has been working on an idle title at the moment. Um, I don't know if my old piece of crap phone will run it, but I'll definitely give it a crack. So, um, one, Javier Fed, if you could remind me via the... Uh, the discords, then I will definitely give it a look. But also, if you want to post about it here as well, I think that'd be super cool. Because, I mean, I was talking about this the other day, and it's been so long since I had, like, a, a mobile phone game that I was hooked on. Like, I don't know how many of you got into Peggle when it first dropped, but that just ate my life for a week. It was amazing. And I'm still a very big believer that um, not enough mobile... Not enough mobile games look at a lot of the elements that make mobile gaming excellent. So, and that's not a comment on yours, uh, Javier Fed. Um, I still think one of the pinnacles of mobile phone gaming is uh, Subterfuge, which is, for all intents and purposes, a board game, but only played with mobile phones. Uh, very good way to fall out with your nearest and dearest, but it's good. It's good. Uh, Aaron's asking, how long till your hand is better? Uh, we need to run some mechs again. Ah, oh, yeah, we do, Aaron. It's feckin', we need to get our lance back on the go. So, Aaron, uh, this coming Thursday, I will be AFK. Um, that's when I will find out the status of this, what's happened, and um, whether or not I'm just going to get like a, a cast, or whether they're going to have to rebuild my hand by science. Uh... Um, what was I doing? Oh yes, so he's now got a fancy sword, and hey, now in a couple of seconds, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to do anything fancy with these fights, because we've got some seriously big fights coming later. Oh! Our team is badass. Uh, jumping back into chat, Lizzie, what ho friend! Chiat said, uh, I hope we don't need rebuilding. Hand surgery is not fun. Yeah, so left-handed fingers crossed that that's not the case. But I'm just not going to think about it. Uh, I already had my panic for the week. So I'm just going to remain zen as I usually am. Um, but also, Chiat, Dustin, trouble, um, whomever I have not said hello to, what ho friends, come on in, come on in. So if you've just joined us, we are continuing with Pillars of Eternity 2. Are there more things to kill? Excuse me, I am trying to converse with my friends! You gigantic ball of pus! Honestly, I'm, I'm not hungry enough to eat these guys. Ket already made lunch, so I'm, I'm happy. Oh, oh, that's really meaty. Not in a fun way. Alright, any more for any more! Good. Well, I kind of like how they're all standing around that one corpse, like, we did, we did good work here. Get a little photo of that. Um, right. What was I saying? So, if you have just joined us, we are continuing our playthrough of Pillars of Eternity 2, mostly because it is bloody perfect um, for me being one-handed. I can just... I've got everything on the mouse. It's working fine. We are continuing our quest to eat the rich. Um, right now, we are in the old city, which is underneath the slums of Nekataka. This is an old ruined city, which was once, I guess, the, the tribal temple of Nekataka but has since been left to rot and decay. Hideous, bloated monsters, the undead and creatures most foul, have are uh, swarming this area. We have found one of the mystical conch shells, and we need to find the other. However, the local pirate, the one who runs the black market, wants one of those shells for himself and has tasked us with getting it to him. So, our choices, and what we're going to aim to do, is clear this area, get out, 
find um, the other conch shell, and before we go back to the Pirate King, we're well, not Pirate King, the pir local pirate. Pirate King's a different guy. Um, before we go back, we're going to come back down here and open whatever the thing is. And then, from that point onwards, we are into new territory, my friends. We are into brand new areas. I have no idea what it will consist of. We have, I have no idea, you know... Ooh. Plus two to athletics. Nice. Yeah. Who's our athletics pro? I mean, so you've got strike and survival. I guess our athletics pro is... Oh, hang on. I need to... I need to... Super cool. Man, I, at some point I'll go through all these uh, mystical items and start uh, having a look through them. But as she's our athletic specialist, we'll go for that. Um, oh, one of the other things as well. We get pigs. Sadly, we can't rename them. Um, but uh, you can have any pet, uh, any of the pets that you have with you. We've got dogs, cats. At the moment, I'm still keeping our pig pig with because... The pig continues to be the most entertaining source of fun. Um, during the um, during the incredibly stressful meeting with the Pirate King, little pig pig was just totter around, just sniffling, saying hello to everybody, having a good time. Uh, right, so Gilbot saying, just realised that uh, having never seen Helsing abridged, I'll likely never uh, mark that square on the bingo card. Well, Gil, if you get the chance, I'd say... Uh, Okay. Give uh, Helsing Ultimate Something a watch because uh, it is it's a hell of a trip. Keep your weather eye open. Yay, we found some treasure. Um, Helsing a bridge is a stonkingly good show. Um, uh, sorry, Helsing Ultimate is stonkingly good. And then once you've watched that, then watch Helsing Abridged and realize that it's incredibly funny. I feel like we're missing something. Oh, okay. So this is the temple. We're not quite ready for this yet. We need to we need to cover a little bit more ground first. And Avanch is saying, yeah, pigs are the cutest little animals on the farm. They really, really are. Of course, a pile of corpses. Just just hanging out. Being corpses, how are you? Captain. Actually, let's send in uh, Lass, because she's pretty immune to getting sick. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, crap in a handbag. Uh, Alright, you lot need to kind of peg it here. This could be messy, because we haven't... So these things are curse wards, and will feck up your day. Uh, they have, like, basically like a mana battery that you have to destroy first, but yo, yo. Uh, Dust in Your Eyes saying, uh, DVR in the new Doctor Who. Uh, gonna break off in ten minutes to go watch, so then I'll be right back. No worries, come back and tell us how it is. Uh, I don't have a method to watch the new Doctor Who, but the people whose opinion I care about say it's very good. So... A mad harvester. Rabid corpse eater. What is it? Game. Game, Darren. Yeah, that's sigil of darkness. Oh, cool. So we didn't need to use the. Um, so I didn't have a mana battery. Cool. Some of those sigils of darkness are invincible until you clear them out. So. All right. Got ourselves a right yes. good little crew there. Ah. Right. Oh, and Aaron's saying that they only know one or two quotes from Helsinger Bridge, so they'll let people know if I do bust one out. It's very, it's very kind of you. Oh god, for a second there I was freaking out, like, 
Holy crud, what's that in the water following my people around? It's the pig. He's going for a little swim. Look! Little pig pig! Look at him! Oh, look at his little face! Uh, I mean, uh, you know, whatever. It's cool. As a, as a, as a pirate captain, I'm uh, clearly... I, uh, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Leave it to me. Just insane pork broth. I mean, there are... What is it I like to say in a lot of games? Friend, not food. Friend, not food. Uh, now, have we explored all of this? Oh, no, we haven't explored down here. So let's have a little look around. Because I remember rightly, we can't head back up the same way we came. So there's some exploration still to do. Economy Cap said, you'd think the people on the surface would notice all this moaning and screaming. That's the thing, though. Um, the way they keep um, order... The way they keep people in line in the slums is that if you step out of line, they send you down here. So this is their deterrent. Oh yeah, and as Chiad said, the others are too busy being rich. You can't hear this from the rich district. They're too far up the city. So this is literally just a deterrent for the poor to stop them from stepping out of line. Have I mentioned we're going to eat the rich? This area already. Alright. Now actually we want to go up to the temple. There we go. Right. Jumping back in. Lizzie said, uh, when was the last time you consumed liquid? Right about now. <laughs> yeah, it's me being cheeky. Uh, I think the more important question is when was the last time I consumed a packet of Pocky? The answers may surprise you. Man, Pocky's amazing. Uh, so right. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the... Oh, all right. This is going to be a proper good scrap one and all. Um, there may still be a clip of it somewhere in the, uh, in the annals of time. But the last time we fought this, not realising that if the fight had gone skyward, it would have deleted my save. So if you're new to joining us, this isn't our first time playing through Pillars of Eternity 2. But the first... <coughs> excuse me, T-Burps. But the first time, we... Well, we... I turned on Iron Man mode because I was being a cocky so-and-so. And I assumed that the Iron Man mode would be similar to uh, XCOM 2's Iron Man, which is autosave only, you can't go back on, and if a character dies, well then you've got to get like a, another, another character. I was like, fair enough. What I didn't realise was that if your lead character dies permanently, or if your whole party gets wiped, not only is it game over, but it perma-deletes your save. We've uh, learned an important lesson, which is always read the tooltips, my friends. Always read the tooltips. So a lot of this we're coming back over. Now, the fight we're coming up to, last time, Seraphon uh, basically hard carried the whole team. We fought what you'll see in a second. Everyone else is down. It's literally just Seraphon and this gigantic monstrosity. So, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Cryostick's going, wait, so Iron Man didn't mean that Tony Stark comes to help you out if you're struggling? And that's Spider-Man mode. Eh, eh, eh. I don't feel so good. Too soon. Okay, let me just open this before we get into a fight. Dear Pocky Packet, I will fight you. That's a, finally a fight I can win. Alright, well, it'll do the job. It'll do the job. So I've got my snacks. I've got a fight coming up. Now, we'll probably be a bit horrendously overpowered for this one, but I'm okay with that because we ran the feckin' knife edge last time we went through this. So let's begin! You notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. It's the, the Cornet of Death, the, the conch. I sound like a like uh, a gentle crashing surf coming from the shell. 
uh, place the conch in the open hand. As you hear, a, as you do, you hear a thunderous percussive music of a stormy sea spills out from the shell. It rises into a wordless melody that revi reminds you of the voices you heard underwater. As the song reaches its crescendo, a deeper rumble fills the air and rattles your bones. You take the shell back as the music fades. Alright, you all ready for a fight? Alright, well, of course. Wait, how- It's hard to be a farmer and not be thinking about revenge right now. Okay, so what's this thing? Weakness to intellectual, resistance to dexterity, resistance to resolve. Okay, so first things first. DRAGONS! Uh, what have you got? Probably want to do like a... Oh, I mean, arterial strike. I mean, it's a worm. It's got big arterial... Uh, Jody, what you got for us? Oh, what's that power where you mess everybody up a whole bunch? Uh, that's, that's got potential. I probably need to move you in a little bit. Uh, you're just going to go, like, puke stabbery. Puke stabber ahoy, yo. Seraph, what have you got? You can't quite... Oh, but you can do mental binding, which it's very weak against. Okay, here we go. Dust in your eyes says, first things first, DRAGONS! Hey, We got a freaking on a pure lucky roll. And one of the dig sites, we found a dragon necklace from a corpse. I can breathe fire and summon dragons like once a day. It's great. Mushti says, the big question is, can it be eaten? I don't know if I want to. I think it can be eaten, but I don't know, like, giant cave grub. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right. You all know the music. Time to dance. Uh, just so you can all see. There's me dragons! Bloody hell, that thing's massive. I have to zoom out. So yeah, it's just a wee bit big. Alright, Blood Frenzy is going down. Actually, let's, uh, let's bring in the dead. Can't hurt, right? Jody seems to be keeping us all alive, which is, which is marvellous. Uh, is anyone else doing anything cool? All right. Dailies, pop them if you got them. Oh, there's the leap. Nice. Don't need it right now, but still. I wonder if you can knock that bastard down. That'd be funny. Jody, what you got? Yeah, let's get some vile thorns going. Uh, Seraphith, you already did the binding, so blind that great big... I don't know how you blind a cave grub of that size, but let's give it a bloody good go, shall we? Right. Hey, Rhymes with Moose, what ho, friend? Do no worry about a late arrival. This was an unplanned, impromptu stream. Our overall goal today is to catch up to where we were before, before we left off. Um, and I'll... Yeah. Yeah. Where are you aiming, dragon? Oh! You ever seen a cave grub knocked on its ass? 
Oh! I've got flaming hair and I spit fire. Check this out. Oh! That's Will's hot take. There we go! There we fucking go! See, I guess this time I knew what I was doing. I'll see it done. Uh, Ruby and some other good stuff. I'll take care of it. And the altar. Oh, got some delicious flavour there. All right. Good work, my little monster hunting yes. crew. So, this is the wall. Um, here we go. So, a cracked dirt rimmed cave dominates the wall. Carving dominates the wall. Sorry. Uh, in it, two hands rise from, uh, from curling waves. Sockets, like the one in the hand of the statue outside the temple, have been carved in the hollow palms. Both are empty. You notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. Uh, I think we can try... Place it on one hand. As you do, a thunderous percussive music that Tommy spills out. It rises to a wordless melody. Uh, the conch glows. Perhaps it's a trick of the shadows, but the stone seems to tighten around it. Alright, well, let's take it back for now. As you remove the shell of the socket, its glow dims and the music fades. So we need to go get the other shell. Oh, and as you all said, and now save. Thank you! See, I can... Oh, God. She gets like, now eat it. Are you sh... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's, it smells like a... It smells like a festival of treen. I'm gonna pass. Wait, is there a secret... I can't remember. Is there a secret room right here? You wake me up. Did you rub my lamp? Okay. So our goal is now going to be to go up, get the other shell, come back down. Once once we open that door, we are on new territory. Alright? Now. Last time we won that fight by the skin of our teeth. Like, the entire party was down and Seraphim managed to get the last, like, cheeky, cheeky hit in. Uh, we need to go down. <laughs> and Cryostick's adding, um, if we find the third shell, we'll be ready to jump into Demolition Man. Very quaint. Ha! <laughs> he doesn't know how to use three seashells. Compliment adding, but it's seafood. Well, crab is good for you. Yeah, crab is good for me. Gigantic maggot, gigantic bitey fighty cave maggot. All right, now time for a bit more uh, crawling of the dungeons. All right, we just got a gigantic worm. So who wants a fight? Congratulations, you are the grossest thing we've seen in five minutes. What is this, Leopard Dead? Not a chance. I kind of should stop Seraphim from using his, like, blunderbuss underground. Because I'm so worried about the amount of gore that's going to end up in everyone's face. 
Like, that was a pustule infested blob. And we just exploded it all up in, like, this close. Like, we're going to be tasting that for days. For days. That's not nice. I guess I wasn't so hard. Alright, let's see where the glowing leads us. Because, you know, rooms full of purple glowing magic have never been bad, right? Right? Aha, the man! What ho, friend? How goes it? No prisoners. And jumping back into chat. Gigantic seafood only means it lasts longer. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, right, an ice cream, just like, just imagine that inside of a bottle of mascal. Or mascal. Well, you find me a bottle big enough, and I'll do it. Ice cream whiz. There is a reason they call it grub. Because grubs. Grub, because grub. You bastard snow. You bastard snow. Oh, sorry, bear with me just a second, you lovely folks. I do apologise. Do apologize. Um, just one second. All right, you no worry, no worry, no bother. Okay, I'm back with you. I do apologize for that brief interruption of service. Let's murder a ghast. <laughs> Oh! oh no. Putting the pyre in vampire, you know what I'm saying? Woof! Don't know what I was expecting. Perhaps a little bit more loot than that, but there you go. It's a kaleidoscope, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Let's quickly destroy the grub burrows before we have to worry about them. Come on, you There we go. It's not hard. It's not hard. Feel pain. See it must me too. Kill them all. Avant. Oh no! I have no puns. And I'm a scream. Chiat's asking, is that a magic killy rock? It is a lesser earth light. And I cracked that like a kitchen countertop. I probably shouldn't be proud of. Uh -huh. so all of you, together now. Even the pig. <laughs> I? No, get the feckin' skeleton! It's not hard! Suffering from uh, uh, left handedness. Mush tea with Pocky eating intensifies. Using the finely honed techniques of combat and the delicious effects of Pocky, my team will destroy all that stand in their way. I'll see it done. Glowing purple spores come away in your hand. Oh, this seems bad. Oh, we got a liver but not a spleen. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought we were going to have something for, for Kestrel there. For a glowing purple room of spores, I was expecting more. I was expecting a lot more.
Uh, is, it, is it me, or does that pool of water appear to be screaming? I'm thinking we maybe shouldn't drink that. I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just going to put it out there. this. Uh, oh, well, we found an exit. Well, that's cool. Uh, so, jumping back into chat, uh, Flomangin says, I love bad puns. Oh, one of the reasons I like Will. I can't promise you that my puns will ever be good, but I can promise they'll be plentiful. And sometimes that's enough. Also, to yourself and Joe Cat, what ho, friends, welcome! Come on in, come on in. Uh, Flo is saying that they found the chat. They found the stream from the Playframe channel. Uh, hope to be here semi-frequently. Well, it's lovely to have you with. To uh, to Flo and Joe. Usually, the usually we're breaking all the rules at the moment. What would most usually happen in a week is I would stream from Tuesday through to Saturday. There are a plethora of different games, indie games, interesting titles, either with an idea to look at their artistic intent or the experience they deliver, or talk about the genuine realities of games and how they're made. I try and get a guest on every week, someone random, someone cool, someone with a story worth telling. And then, usually on a Saturday, we play something, it's good. Uh, however, I broke my feckin' hand. <laughs> I broke my hand a couple weeks back. Uh, I actually managed to do a whole week of streaming with it, which I'm still kind of impressed with. Anyway. So at the moment, the schedule is way out of whack. So usually Sundays would be my off day, but I wanted to stream and hang out with you lot, so I'm here. And this week for Thursday and possibly Friday, I'm going to have to be uh, AFK, which is annoying. The man's like, you actually broke your hand. Damn. Yeah, I snapped one of the bones of my hand like a breadstick. I then spent a week streaming with it, so... Uh, and to, to Flo and Joe, please do not worry. I did it being stupid. Uh, I was I was going back from the pub. Oh, more precisely to say, I was coming back from a street party after the pub. And I was boogieing along, listening to little tunes on my pod and my phone. I saw a low-hanging branch and decided to do like a jump punch of victory in time with the music. Did not see the stop sign behind it. The rest, as they say, is history. Jesus, Jiminy! Poison, hardly fair. Since we gave her the hangover kill ring, she is just shredding folks left, right, and centre. This is great. Ah. Uh, so yeah, so to those of you that have joined us from uh, from Playframes, it's lovely to have you with. Um, sometimes we get uh, Dan Floyd on here and uh, like Soraya and DJ and stuff for varying video games. Usually on a Saturday because you know they all work feckin' hard. Um, and usually there's more of a variety of games. You know, I try and keep it to you know something new every day, or at very least uh, we have our our main staple games on rotation, and then you know. I, I keep I mix it up. I'm kind of proud of that. But uh, unfortunately, while my hand is wrecked seven ways from Sunday, I can't actually get a I can't get a pad under my thumb. So, in terms of games that one can play one-handed, that aren't incredibly obnoxious to watch, uh, this is right up there. So, did I explore this area? Yeah, I did. Let's go hit some tombs, yo. Uh, Rhymes and Moose says, is the Euro Truck race on YouTube? It bloody should be. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rhymes and Moose, thank you for reminding me. Um, for those of you that didn't see it, so me, uh, Echo, another um, survivor and fellow Seattleite streamer, uh, Dan Jones and Dan Floyd, all raced trucks in Euro Truck Simulator multiplayer and had a fecking great time of it. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good day. So we've done some big like crossover days and stuff like that. So yeah, 
Usually I'd say keep an eye on Something the event. Usually I'd say keep an eye on the events page because that's where I spend the most of my time uh, making sure everything works. Ooh. Okay. We're back into the plot. So the elf jumps back as the door opens. She has her weapon raised, ready to attack. But seeing you, she slowly lowers it. I used to court a girl who did that whenever I stopped by. Miss her. <laughs> oh, it's you. But how'd you get through there? She peers through the door, looking at the shrine on the other side. Is that it? She growls an exasperated... Uh, she growls, exasperated, looking past you. That's not usually the reaction I get. Elder seems pleased. Seraph and Snickers. Jody nibbles on her lip to hide a spreading smile. There's an old temple of Andra. Dario said it was just past this door. She looks around as if hoping to find something she missed. Uh, I found the old temple in a flooded spot where the falls meet. Good work. I'll make sure no one else disturbs it. She claps you on the shoulder. Meantime, Dario will be pleased to hear the news. How about you go tell him and collect your reward? Uh, so, history. What does he want with the mosaic of Alas... Of, uh, ooh... Kazalzo? Whatever. Her smile freezes on her face as you ask. Dario's the only one to talk about Dario's business. If I was you, I'd forget about this and take my pay. But it's your neck. She shrugs. If Dario be sending his ships up Woodaka's ashy hole on an old bit of bait, who are we to be stopping him? Alright, I think this is our way out. Yeah. So, was there anywhere else we didn't explore? I think so. I think we're good. Alright. Unfortunately, means that um, uh, Dario now knows what we got, so. Oh, so Avant, thank you for throwing a clip in. Wait, which clip is that one? I don't actually know which one you linked, so I have to give it a watch later. I didn't get a chance to catch up on the um, the awesome clips from this week. Because uh, as soon as we finished yesterday, Ket and I swapped seats and went on from here. So, oh, I guess it's worth saying to those of you that have just found this channel. Uh, I am using my friend Ket's setup. Um, basically, while he's at work during the day, that's when I stream. And I am incredibly grateful for that. We basically turned a, a corner of his house, like here, into a makeshift broadcast setup, which I'm very chuffed with. So, yeah. Uh, but what we've been doing is that Ket tends to stream later in the evenings. So basically, I sit there for the night stream and Ket streams on his channel. And it goes rather well. Okay, let's keep going. So, blue choppy watered cove spans before you. Widening, widening down the cavern that eventually leads to the open sea. Waves lap against the ramshackle docks. And the breath that fills your lungs is tinged with salt. Shouts from rowdy sailors pepper the air like buckshot. Uh, the deckhands lumber across the water-beaten docks, ready and waiting, watching the raves roll in the coil. All right, do you want to creep closer? Or oh, watch from a distance? Let's creep closer. Coarse rocks, rocks grit beneath your feet, uh, slick enough to slow your approach. You peer closer for a better view. Um, it's then that... Hawanan water shapers, as denoted by their robes, stride the lengths of the docks, arms sweeping, lips moving as they swirl the turbulent tide into a calm, direct current. For a moment, the cove falls silent, as if caught in a collective bated breath. Then, slowly, a slew of black varnished dinghies, sails lowered, row steadily into the bay. Oh, we found some smugglers! I completely forgot about this from last time. Uh, the sailors whoop, shouting a jumble of bawdy greetings mixed, uh, mixed with commands for docking and unloading the wares. The ships lurch against the wharf and are emptied, of, uh, are emptied of crate after unmarked crate almost immediately. 
The operation is efficient and quick. With a shrill whistle, a dwarven woman emerges from the uh, squat fort, jutting from the eastern side of the cavern. Twice more, she whistles before the water shapers reverse the bay's current, and the ships are swept gently out of sight and back to sea. Oh, nice. That better give us away. Hey, we got nothing to apologize for. Uh, I'm just going to leave those for a second. I mean, come on, the idea of smugglers using water mages to calm what would be an impossible cove, that's feckin' awesome. Uh, but, you know, we're working for Dario, so... Someone say, I can't say I know your crew. Yeah, you will do. Remember my name! I'm gonna do a murder! Let's see who we can chat to. Uh, the captain of the Tidebreaker stands stiff-backed before you, looming despite of her lack of height. Her hard-muscled legs spread solidly apart. She displays uh, calloused hands over her hips. She regards you with a heavy gaze, her chin tipped high. And who, or what, do we have here? Continue. Where I see it, you've got two options. You can tell me who sent you, or I can feed you the shaft of my gun. Um, Anoli told me to find you. Oh yeah, this is the person we're going to talk to about getting food. Uh... Yeah, and now he told me to find you. Or, Street Rise plus 500 copper. I heard there was business being done down here. I thought I'd bring a donation. What do you reckon? Because we want Mad Marina to help ship food to the poor. Like, humanitarian type stuff. We want the people of the, um, uh, the, the, what was it called? Was it the Gulch? No. Undercity? No. Alright. The slum area of this. We want to get them fed. So, yeah. I'm, she had saying, bribe, then when you get what you pay for, eat the crimes. I mean, we might leave Mad Marina go, because, you know, she ain't exactly making Mad Bank down here. Green fires on the bribery train. Choo-choo! Decisions, decisions. Uh, Beadora says, uh, no one sent me, you just have piss poor security. I mean, it's not wrong. And what I like to snark, it looks like number two is going to be our, our winner on this one. Bribery shenanigans, but four is tempting, yeah. Alright, let's give us some cash. Well, aren't you thoughtful? Now tell me what you want. Um... Uh, Enoli told me to find you. What for? I've already got an emissary. Speak up, Swabby, and be quick about it. Somebody My killed your man. Arms twitching. And the Rapari still need food? So, Enoi fancies you, the new Uluge. And you had nothing to do with it. Then I need to know how it happened. I don't know. Guess that's the way of it sometimes. But it's not what I would have hoped for. Uluge wasn't any ruffler. He didn't deserve that. She runs her tongue over her teeth, regaining a measure of calm. Everyone in the gullet knows who Luke's my man. Everyone set the Mutaru. Gotta be them what got him. She hocks a gob of spit on the ground beneath her feet. And though it pains me to say it, if the Mutaru are biting for blood, it's best if I back off. I can't be feeding the Raparu right under their noses. Uh, we can go around the Mataru. She shrugs one stocky shoulder. Ah, right. I might swear you've proved your capability good enough to me. All right. We'll catch us a fresh contact. Round up the shipments again soon. 
strong and sure. Okay. The Ruparu will have to stand on their own two feet someday. But for now, we'll keep them out of the ground. Yay! Feed the people! Feed the people till we feed them the rich! Hey, get to the boat! Waho, friend! Come on in, grab a seat. I hope you have a time zone equivalent beverage, my friend. Ah. Oh. So, uh, Zakori is asking, uh, there seems to be a lot of voiceover in Pillars of Eternity 2. Is this the scene for Pillars of Eternity 1? Looking to start Pillars of Eternity, but, uh, if I have to read books, um, I would say that Pillars 1 is definitely worth it, if only to be able to have your adventure carry across, and that's, that's worth it in its entirety. So... I can't remember how much of Pillars 1 is voice acted, but it's worth it to have this ongoing story of your character. It's super good. Gets a boat, says, just finished work, I have a beer, it's perfect. I'm dog tired. Well, get to the boat. We're having a lovely little Sunday chill stream. I know, I know, even I am capable of some modicum of chill sometimes. So, yeah. Our goal today is to get uh, this back up to the point we were before with Pillars of Eternity. So that either later this afternoon or, you know, Tuesday or tomorrow, whenever the next stream is, it's all going to be fresh, new, ass-kicking badassery, you know what I mean? Yeah, Merkel discovered something. Bide where you are, lovesome. Well, regale me. Do you know Dario? Of course. He's my land lubbery contact in the gullet. Uh -huh. Once he was a master sailmaker. Lots of principy crews vied for him, but he lost his footing in the rigging one day. And then after that, mistake sailors make only once. He shattered both legs. Was Elia's mercy that he broke nothing more. But after that, he lost his taste for the sea. And for tap dancing. For sailing. Oh. It's sailing what makes you a right pirate. Sure, plundering too. But leave the seas and you leave the Principe. I see. I hope you do, lovesome. Uh, I'll be on my way. See to your business. But stay out of ours. She nods stuffily and signals that you're free to go. Uh, I could always come back here later. Right. So, uh, jumping back into chat. So there was a question earlier being what my thoughts were on uh, Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2. Uh, I find it very... I find it very fascinating that those games have become as popular as they have. And I'm super happy that there's not only a taste for these styles of adventure, but also... Cheers. Cheers, my dudes. Just steal a bit of ammo. When in doubt, leave it out. Aha! I guess if we want to, we can use this as a as an exit out. That's a might handy. Hang on, let's explore first, then we'll take the boat out and go from there. Ah. I mean, we're a we're a pretty badass crew. I don't see any reason we need to be skulking around this place. The rich, what we got problem with, we can get them later. I'll see it. Found some lockpicks in the dirt. I'm sure they do not have any kind of tetanus in them. Just remember, folks, it's not theft, it's just creative liberation. Uh, right. <laughs> I caught fire once with, uh, on the story of the guy falling from the sails. Well, at least he didn't break his hand. Do you mind? I think I was expecting more loot. Pig. 
<laughs> our little pig's like, Papa? that much to steal. I don't know what I was expecting, one and all, but... You back to see the boss? Uh... Yeah, you know she hates me kept waiting. I'll be you then. Stick close now. End dialogue. Thank you! Bastards. Alright, so we can't explore that part of the map. Can take the rope across. I wonder if we'll get sent back. Yeah, mush tea. I'm really tempted to adopt the boar, but I think if we open the pen up, that that just turns into a bloodbath. So. Uh, okay, a long rope suspended over a span between two docks. Their oft used look means they're likely intended to help me cargo off the ships. Uh, the ropes haven't been clinched tight, and some hang a bit loose in their pulleys. Their lack of tension will demand a fair bit of strength and flexibility to cross safely. I'm good. I'm good. Coleman Cap says, Alright, welcome! Entire group runs back past him. I like to think that... He's had a hard day. He doesn't... He doesn't need this... Oi! That's not one, but... It's like, he doesn't need this nonsense. He's just going to let it go. But that kind of exasperated, like, I do not get paid enough for this. There's five of them, and one of them's partially on fire. Uh, you come across a weathered skip. Uh, peel, paint peeling rocks... Uh, it rocks languidly in the water. Road to Queen's birth. Uh, silent as silent as it, uh, as a becalmed sea you row uh, through the narrow cavern into Nekataka's Bay, making a weed to Queen's uh, to Queen's birth. Cool. Beta was saying like classic D and D party killer trap: slipped ropes, uh, acid gelatin, the whole shebang. What a lovely little Sunday. If I haven't said so already, thank you all for, for coming and hanging out, yo. Today was entirely unplanned. Which is not like me at all. So. Oh, and Gil's saying, right, it's their little brother's birthday. They're going to go prep for our game night to celebrate. Have a ton of fun, heal up that hand, and I'll see you later. Bloody right, Gil. You look after yourself, and it's always good to see you, yo. I hope you're doing good. Give a, yeah, give our best to you and yours. I love those loading times. Aha! I'm not so sure I believe you. What am I thinking right now? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> now. It don't work that way, lass. I pick up on feelings. See fragments of memories sometimes. Impressions. Like this one of Jim Carrey. And mostly when folks are upset or a bit of nerve. Unless I'm trying to intrude. And I generally try not to intrude. You intruded on me the moment you we met. Ah, that were an accident. If anything, you be the one that were intruding on me. Oh, my. Oh, well, you could take a gander if you wanted. I mean, not all the time. Just this once. Aw. As you wish, lass. Seraphin looks up at Jody with an uncommonly serious expression. His eyes seem to drill into her. And then suddenly he jerks his head and blinks away like his eyes are burning. So which is it? Light or dark? What do you see? Neither, lass. Bounced off you like a bullet off an ironclad. Um, anything I should know about? Mayhaps. Let me be ruminating on it for a tick, cap. Alright. Uh, so jumping back into chat... Oh, Avarch would just like stab him. Stab, stab everyone. We're working on it. Avarch, we're going to be heading up to the rich people district very soon, so... Uh, the Stabathlon will be commencing. Uh, caffeine saying, so I stopped by a tea shop while out. 
uh, this morn. Uh, didn't realise how strong I was making my brew at home. Also, what ho! Uh, what ho indeed. Hey, caffeine, there's nothing wrong with making your tea the way you wanna. Uh, don't be seeing a fault in that. Uh, so what do we need to do? Uh, we need to not faff around with these numpties. Oh, how are we going for... Uh, we still haven't really climbed up the cash ladder yet, but we'll we'll have more to we'll have more to show off and more to sell uh, pretty soon. Uh, haven't been to the luminous Ardra mill yet. Oh, come on! There we go. East exit. Right. So we're in Queensburg, we can get to the gullet. Can't go to any of the fancy places? Feckin' hell. Or do we need to go to the gullet first? I wonder. Alright. It'll take an hour to walk. No one is dumb enough to mug a guy whose fair is literally made of fire. Sorry, I was being stupid. Uh. Oh, Ryan's Moose is saying it's partly about which exit you leave through discovering, uh, in terms of discovering areas. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Uh, so, we just need to go chat to the Chat to the good bloke round here. We never did find yeah, out. The Dawn Stars granted Peatley the power to heal the plague folk. I always knew she was a blessing on us. Never doubted her. Surely. So you got the pustule drained? Well, not yet. Grim, dude, no, Grim. Is it Telfies you wanted to talk to? So we're talking to the elder. We're letting him know that we've now got a reliable food source for the populace here. Which should help. Only here. Crytek says, I mean, Kratos did go up against a guy with, uh, with, uh, hair made of fire. Yeah, well, Kratos can stay in his, like, his own personal version of Dad Simulator. We've got stuff to do here. This isn't a redemption arc, people. We've got rich people to consume violently. Uh, the Principe will supply food again if uh, more Reparu work with them. I have no choice but to hope this venture together fares better than our last. We will accept the Principe's generosity and work to return it tenfold. Yay! And then we can overthrow the, can the monarchy in this thank area. you enough, Watcher, who has the ear of both kith and gods. Always the Raparu will know of your kindness. I'd give you a thumbs up, dude, but I broke my hand. Should you need refuge within Nekadaka? Know that the Reparu will stand by your side. Aw, take care, old man. May Amira's winds ever fill your sails, boy. We will not forget what you have done for us. Yay! Okay, we did a good. Do Brigade, what ho! How goes it? Um, Do Brigade says, I've never played this game. Are we literally going to eat the rich? Yep, yeah, so uh, my character is a barbarian corpse eater. The idea is that uh, using their superpowers, um, my people uh, eat the dead during combat to gain their strength. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, although, we've had a slight problem in the sense that our team has been exploding people as much as. 
So canonically, what we're saying is that while we, yes, are eating the rich, we're also, uh, yeah. The gullet is no place to wander. Watch. Uh, that we the ones that explode into chunks, we're just taking them away as like a doggy bag, you know what I mean? Uh, Avanj saying, it sounds like those people were talking about uh, the blessing was right next to you, even though you were walking away. Yeah. Okay, so the Brass Citadel. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Don't see me coming. No! What are you doing? Uh, is it L? Here we go. Quests. So, bear with me all just a second. Uh, Storm's Call. Uh, get the Cornetto of the Waves from uh, Serpent's Crown is where we need to get to. Uh, that's where we need to get to. Serpent's Crown. Feck. Is there another exit out of this town? With an additional round of hmm. Get the boat says Cornetto. Yes, please. Ugh, oh, fine. Do you want a Cornetto? I'm popping to the shop. Alright, well, if we go to the Brass Citadel. And then walk. Will it unlock the Citadel Forest? And then we walk to Queen's Birth. I think that might be the way. Yeah, I think that might be the way. <laughs> Will. Will is one of the four defences. Mm. That's me. Okay, random question. How many of you have read um, Good Omens? And are the eight horsemen of the apocalypse from Good Omens or from another book? Because my brain cannot seem to pass which of the uh, Neil Gaiman... Um... Halt. What is your business at the Brass Citadel? Uh, just looking around. You're the watcher. The one who nearly caused a riot in Queen's birth. His mouth uh, quirks in a grin. Grand Secretary Atsura wants to meet you. His office is on the lower level of Imperial Command. Up, Up the, the stairs. stairs. He points the steps. Once you're inside, go downstairs through the room on the right. Okay. Uh, is he in charge around here? Hazanui Karu is the yeah. ultimate authority in the Brass Citadel. He crosses his arms over his chest in a salute. But she must endure the sops at the palace. He rolls his eyes. When she returns, I'm sure she will grant you an audience. For now, Atsura Nui speaks with her voice. Okay. Um, so, it is good omens. Thank you for those that confirmed that, because I thought I was going crazy. Uh, a legend man says, I'm back! Are we still eating the rich? Yeah, I'm just trying to find my way up to eat the rich. Alright, so I think we need to leave Queen's Birth by another exit. We can go to the Sacred Stair from there, and then maybe Serpent's Crown. And then we'll do... So, Perkith's Overlook is the shops. Hey, Mr. Ghost! Welcome back. I guess, welcome back, Alleged Man, and all you lovely folks. Uh, as I said earlier, we are slowly catching up with where we were in our previous run of Pillars of Eternity 2. And to be honest, we never made it to the Brass Citadel before. So... And this is the Sacred Stair. Didn't take you for the romantic type, Seraphim. <laughs> the tongue's got a useful fool, lass. And I'll be a right master of each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just hear that. <laughs> And this is why Seraphin is on our crew, because he is a joy. Uh, I don't need anything from here, so if we go west exit... Yeah, we can get to Perk's Overlook from here. And then hopefully... Yeah, so this has opened up the map for us. So our goal is to head up to Serpent's Crown. 
uh, find whichever the household is with the conch shell in, steal it, book it back down to the gullet, open the mad door, and then find out what's going on from there. Yeah, we might make a few enemies on the way, but <laughs> Clank says, oh no, I fell asleep. It's not because you're boring, though, I swear. Over You'd be better off mooning after someone with half a fort between our ears, lass. You can't dictate what the heart wants, Seraphin. Thought you of all people would know that. Well, the art can be a right stupid git sometimes. <laughs> it don't always deserve your listening. Okay, so I'm so this area here, this is the shopping district. This is where we found the uh the potentially villainous wizard who runs a huge um magic item store along with a huge like underground research area and vault of magic items and it was his um copper constructs that basically shredded us yeah see on the map here so the water all right the water shapers guild is where we're going to find a new friendo and the big tower in the in the front that's the uh, that's the wizard's area unfortunately as we go past we're going to trigger a bunch more plot so yeah, if you wanted to go grab yourself a cuppa, there's going to be a whole thing about, you know, wizard stealing a book and, oh no, and not respecting the stuff and the things. Oh, but also, in the middle right down here, is the luminous bathhouse, which is where we can see a lot of naked people. Did what a cow of them being naked! Everyone to the palace? Akira. I've never seen Arui, he run so fast. Akira, Do you Akira. think the Audra Colossus would come here next? Pray right. to Kaopa, it you have not... no right to interfere in Rawatai's business. Hawana culture isn't business, you company drudge. I don't give two pyres for your tribal pride. Oh. And I wager that Arkhamir cares even less. Yeah, as Rhymes and Moose says, the luminous bathhouse, the shining jewel of Nekataka. Mr. Ghost, like, naked people, you say? <laughs> If this is what passes for Rao Tai and diplomacy, Rao Nui has bigger problems. Zing! Oh no, you didn't! If you've come to see Arkhamir, you're too late. He left the estate on wizard business. Arkhamir, that's it. It's Arkhamir's construct of what killed us the first time. So, whatever happens, Arkhamir must die. And judging by the size of his fecking castle, he is not a poor man. Did you just say wizard business? Arkhamir could be drinking koiki wine with dead kings. There's no finding him if he doesn't want to be found. What's going on between you two? Tamar and I wanted something from Arkhamir. Our powers of persuasion leave much to be desired. The wizard got his hands on a Hawana tablet, the Harappo epic. I came to reclaim it for Rawatai. In the middle of my negotiations, this little pest showed up with a claim on it. The Harappo epic belongs to the Huana. The Queen sent me to remind you both. Uh, an intact primary source is a rare find for the Huana. Akira. Few outsiders can appreciate what such an artifact could mean to our people. Posturing about cultural value is worthless. We both want the tablet for the same reason. Wait, is there another reason you both want this tablet so badly? The pair grow silent and awkwardly avoid eye contact. There are things better left unsaid. And our pig gives no hex. Just sort Look at little pig pig! Just sauntering up to my side like, Oh yes, I'm a fierce little pig. Oh yes, we are a band of pirates. Oh no, you stay back. Oh, we're gonna do you a- We're gonna do you a ham. I'm a- I'm a- I'm a ham fight you. Yeah, you guy in the street. You back away. Yeah. I'm a pig. While sorry. I'm, standing <laughs> I'm really sorry. I kind of went into a moment there. Um, while I'm standing. Akira, I don't deny it. Uh, sadly, we don't have uh, wizard knowledge. Uh, so what's your plan? I might as well adjourn to the palace in Serpent's Crown and give Arkhamir time to think. What a load of... You mean to get your hands on that tablet with or without Arkhamir? You island rats can barely write your own names, much less a distinguished epic. Whoa! Racism is not cool. I reserve the right to consume your flesh. Sorry, that got a bit weird. 
Baron sheet with Will as Pig's internal monologue. Yeah, the pig just run between the two of them like, Break it up, break it up. Oh, I'm a tiny pig, I'm gonna fight you. You're not being good. Actually, I'm gonna go have a look over here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's some good smells. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> what was I doing? Scamper back to the Brass Citadel and spin your own plots. I will happily do the same on my side of the island. Alright, farewell. You both annoy me. Okay. Oh, sorry, Greenfire says, chooses to ignite the Dragon Mail and goes to the Dragon PC. I mean, I've got the option of summoning a dragon, should should the mood allow. Anyway, we're gonna... To me. We're gonna do this area later, but our goal is to steal the conch shell. Which... I mean, it's important to have goals. Alright, Serpent's Crown. No doubt someone want to someone will try and meet us and throw more plot at us. We're probably gonna be doing a lot in Neck Attacker before we take out to the waves, but my hope is that if we clear enough quests, if we kick enough ass, we'll be able to amass enough cash that we can just go riggedy wreck uh, everybody with our gigantic warship. I mean, you can't be telling me an ironclad doesn't sound pretty tasty right about now. Serpent's crown. Ahoy, Cap. Uh, bend your ear, Tick. Uh, and before you, uh, before you do bend my ear, Seraphin, uh, LT Man, thank you kindly for the follow, yo. And I'm going to say again, for those of you that have come on over from Floydo's um, Playframes video, it is lovely to have you with. So, pull up a chair, grab yourself a time zone appropriate beverage, as we continue our pirate adventures up and down the slopes of Nekataka, where we plan to do ourselves a bit of a theft and a bit of a murder. Only on the rich, though. Only on the rich. <laughs> Why do you not indulge me? I do not know. I do not know. Uh, Seraphin, you uh, take the take the conversation away from me. Shoddy seems a right fine lass and all, but uh, well, she asked me to pick around in the forts. Told her I didn't see nothing. I bounced right off of her. But that were a lie. Of course you lied. You were talking. But yeah, what did you see? Darkness, Cap. And little butt. Then fires. Make an ash of everything. Oh. Uh, it washes over you and you find yourself uh, aboard the Fate of Riches main deck. Something unseen presses down upon you and you hear the ship groan beneath you. Keep watching. Uh, you are alone, save for the corpses. Seraphon, Merc, Merkel, Elder, Jody and so many others. Their wide, unblinking eyes reflect the burning sky above, and the dark sea beneath uh, beneath you churns as if boiling. With a crash like thunder, the ship breaks apart, and you plunge into the water that is either so cold it burns, or so hot that it freezes your soul. That was unpleasant. I touched her mind for a second but felt something pull me in and keep me trapped for what seemed like days. Heck. I ain't seen its like before. Sometimes, old sorts get nightmares so that I can't bunk around them. But they usually ain't this flavor of apocalyptic. All right. Honesty is always best. It's been my experience, Cap, that honesty's as like to bite you on the arse than not. If that be your thinking, though, I'll stow my instincts. All right. Whew, that got that got real dark real fast. Okay. Oh, so we do know. So, Takano's estate, Road East, Wala's estate, uh, Ula's luxuries, Lady Apero estate. Kahana Palace. Right, well. Hope you lot are feeling stealthy. Well, very good. So there is a magical shell somewhere in this house. We mean to liberate it from its current location. My friends. Uh, Flo says, I am still waiting for the promised naked people. 
and Alex with let's go to none of these places. <laughs> hey, we are here for a very specific reason. And I tell you what, um, Flo, once we, have, once we have gained both the conch shells and put them into the sacred wall and unlock whatever the bloody hell's down there, once we have done that, then we'll celebrate by going to the naked people. How about that? We'll go to the bathhouse. You must be careful when sparring. See the scratches on the wood? Let's speak to Takano. Hello. An old, an older Mataru man stands uh, ringed by younger Juana. Uh, apprentice or pupils, it seems. His robes shimmer with uh, quartz beading and his perfume announces his presence from across the room. Uh, yet beneath his finery, he looks like a fighter uh, gone, to ste gone to seed. Disused muscles flop from his arms. <laughs> Uh, flab pads him like so many layers of silk. I mean, they could have described him better, but this sounds like a rich Mother Hubbard. He looks up and notices you. Greetings, and welcome to my home. He gestures to the lavish room, puffing out his broad chest a little bit more. You, d you honestly don't want to be fronting with me. For what do you come to my villa? Uh, read to Kano's soul? Cool! Your essence slips from your body and Takano's soul unfolds and enfolds yours like a warm, oily thing. Uh, as his fears and questions seep into you, your perspective shifts into his. At first, you're worried this fire godlike before you has been sent by the Valian debt collectors. Ha! You ain't got no money! Oh, uh, perhaps you're a little bigger. They might know you are a man worthy of respect. Uh, at least you have the shell. You tuck it away so not tuck it away not only for safekeeping but also because you're a little ashamed of it. How could such a simple, ugly thing be sacred to a god? Uh, but it was a gift from the queen, so you keep it. Your gaze strays to a wall. Yes, you must knock down that section there. Install a wide, grand window once you have the money. You retreat from Takano Soul. Um, so let's have a chat. Uh, so I hear you have a, a rare artifact. Artifact. The Cornet of Waves. Yeah, yeah. It is a conch shell, but very important. To receive it is the highest honor. He nods vigorously, jiggling the loose flesh of his neck. <sighs> ah. The Queen gave it to me as thanks for my years of service. I was her personal bodyguard when she was a child, you know. Uh, why is it so special? Because it is sacred to the goddess Andra. Everyone knows it is a privilege to have. He clasps his interlaced fingers together, his knuckles glowing white. He glances towards his apprentices. Akira Takano. Everyone knows it is a sign of favor. <sighs> you wanna you, you wanna keep front of me? Alright. Okay, so here are options. Number one, the Juana have used conch shells to communicate for centuries. This is likely one such device. Uh, the others I don't have, but intimidate. Andra is the goddess of loss. Legends say she calls missing things to her with the music of the conch. Um, and that's from... Oh, no, that's from religion. Ah, so that's Jody's knowledge. Truly? Then I must hope she calls nothing back from me. <laughs> His booming laugh has a nervous edge to it as he glances around his fine home. Generations ago, there was a similar shell. When the old city sank, Andra's faithful gathered around that cornet and prayed for deliverance. But Andra is not a goddess of mercies. Instead of lifting them from the ruin, she pulled them down with the shell and said they would rise when it did. He chuckles and leans back, clasping his hand over his generous midsection. That is the story, anyway. Macabre, no? Uh, so I'm going to say... So we could show him the shell, but then we'd probably have to kill him. What do you reckon? So here's my thoughts. If we show him the shell, he might go, holy crap. All right, maybe you need both. Or, you know, could you please return it? I'm thinking... I am thinking that we should have a look around and see if we can steal it and then murder him. Because I'm with Avanch, like, I really want this guy dead. I really want this guy dead. But 
what is our and one of the things we have said throughout this playthrough is we can always murder them later. Like, um, do you remember back early on when I wanted to murder the governor, and you all advised me were like we can always kill him later, and we did, and it was great. So what are we thinking? Show him the shell. Uh, flows like steal and murder. I like this option. I, I'm thinking it. So I'm going to farewell for now. And we can start having a look around the house. Also, we can steal his food. I'll Yoink. I stole your bread! save because I'm gonna go I think we can stealth and steal up here real quiet now sword sword where to sword to Hano's key nice all right but I'm keeping what's in there I guess I wasn't so hard Massive value. Wait, I could have sworn that chest was something. Uh, Greenfire says, Nuts! It's 1am and this is getting good. I have to go to bed now. So, Greenfire, I will throw up the VOD of the last episode of this and this one on YouTube as well if that's easier for you to watch. But yeah, do not worry. The stuff will be there. Um, and the continued adventures will be available for you to to peruse at a later date. Oh, I think he's holding it on his person. Let's take a look. No, you are clearly seen. Curses! For what do you come to my villa? We could tell him that we just need it. Ugh. Darn it. Like, I can't see where it is. Hmm. Comp saying I'd pickpocket him while he slept. It's not a bad shout. It's just... I can't remember if there's a way for us to wait until, like, nightfall. Yeah, everyone's saying he's got the shell on him. Mm. Now, one thing is we've got the key to this. So we've got, hang on, so there's, all right, so wait. Resting is not loud in this area. All right, don't worry everybody, I've got an idea because we can always use uh, diplomacy later. Uh, Alex Swaver is saying, watching the VOD on Twitch gives you the option of picking up where you left off though. Very good point, very good point. Uh, the reason I tend to throw them up onto uh, YouTube is it's slightly easier for people with um, with crappy connections. All right, let's sneak on in at midnight. None of you buggers go to bed. It's bloody midnight, go get some sleep. Alright. Hmm? 
I got it. Just gonna quickly. There we go. And we're quiet. Uh, that little timer is us becoming stealthy. So right now nobody sees us. And we are stealth. Oh, no. Back. Because she doesn't care. What is it? Right, you lock as you here. wish. Wait, no, isn't Seraphin our stealth one? Yeah, he is. Unstealth. What for, Cap? You're a sneaky little, uh, sneaky little friendo. A light's foot and an heavy bullet, are Cap? Ah, notice his stealth. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Sorry, here's me focusing. Ah. Ah, what ho, toast? How goes it? We're doing a spot of theft. Spear, hide armor, find a cape. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I stole your shell, dickhead! <laughs> yes! Oh, toast! Feck. Uh, so, toast, what, old friend? You, if now is the first time you've seen my army cast. So, you remember that week where we did Let It Die and then Light Will Keep Us Safe? And uh, the monster hunter. And I was saying, oh, my hand's a bit sore. I'll put some ice on it. Turns out it was broken. Turns out it was it was very broken. Like, super duper broken. <laughs> so, this Monday, I went into hospital. They put in a cast and sorted me out. And this coming Thursday, I get to find out what's going on. Uh, also, I'm going to save. Yeah, so... Uh, Mr. Ghost says, are you finally convinced that you are not a good guy? Wait, Mr. Ghost, are we the baddies? It's just, we've got flaming skulls on our hats. <laughs> Other guys, what have they got on their hats? they got freedom. I'm so nah. I stole your shell, and now I'm gonna get out. Uh, and Mr. Ghost with, yes! We are the bad guys! We are cannibals! I mean, good and bad. These are just concepts. Alright, so it's going to take us an hour and 40 minutes to walk down to the gullet. Then we head down back into the old city. Clank says, does that count as how, uh, how's the hand? If so, bingo! Uh, Clank, you got to show us a picture. You're the first one to shout bingo, but now you've got to get it confirmed. You ever thought about changing the color of your fur? Merc berries will stain your skin for weeks. Oh, I think I was born blue, eh? Think being this pretty come natural? <laughs> well, dang, Seraphim. I never knew you were so fancy. Yeah, but mayhaps I'll be giving them merc berries a go. Ain't never been marooned before. <laughs> uh, Clank says I'll post it in Discord. So let's have a little chat with Jody. Because uh, Jodie sways in her feet in a soft, low moan. Uh, she rubs her thumb over her worry-bitten lips. Are you feeling all right? Sweat trickle. A sweat line trickles from her temple that drips onto her chin. Her eyes are hazy and far off. Watch her. She swallows her throat, working to bring her voice back or to keep her meal down. It's nothing but awakened terror. Soon to pass. She shudders hard, coming back to herself. You may want to aim away from our watcher there if it's going to pass out of your mouth. <laughs> because, I mean, the watcher's mostly flammable, and have you ever smelt bird sick? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. I know you're going through something there. Uh, you could call it something, all right. <laughs> Buck up, priestess! Your god demands it. No. Um, I'm just going to go with... Do you want to talk about it? Now, there's no need for that. Unless... She uh, juts her chin to the right. You see those shambling corpses, too? 
Uh, her hastily whispered words, the hair in the back of your neck stands on end. You glance around just to be safe, but there are none to be seen. Nothing unusual anyway, even in the direction Jody is uh, fixed. Um, okay, what do you see? I see a body of stitched together parts and flayed flesh. Ugh. It's got three heads and four stretched limbs. On each of its heads curves three white horns from above three blind eyes. No more YouTube for you. The beast is big as a mountain, and shambling toward us beneath the sun turned black as slow. No more gin for you! I know it ain't really there. Heckin' hell. Yeah, this game does have very vivid descriptions, Toast. Lately, it's been getting worse. Some nights I wake sweaty and shaken. Other times, I'm already awake. Aww. I got my eyes wide open, staring down the darkness, watching one lantern after another flickering out. And every soul looks so ripe, darn near rotten with the need for reaping. We can relight the lanterns. Given enough time, all is not lost. I sure hope you're right, Watcher. Because if you're wrong... Nervously, she jiggles her lantern, eyes lost in the flame. The souls inside the lantern complain about the jiggling. No. I know you're right. Gone's chosen me. So until I figure out what's needed of me, I'll do my darndest to help you on your path. She lifts her gaze to your face. We'll figure this out together. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do here. We look after our own. Carefully, uh... Aw, she holds your hand. Shoulders squares, she looks off in the distance. Is there anything we can do to alleviate your nightmares? I'm carrying more souls than I've ever shepherded before. So, I don't know that it'll work this time, but used to be. When the dreams were riding me hard, I'd cleanse my soul before gone. What exactly does that entail? If we stop by the temple in Nekataka, I can perform the ritual. Please, I need the relief. It won't take more than a minute under Gon's statue, that's all. Alright, we can do that. But first... Yes? We need to go... We've got to head down. The Overseer says you can go below. Cool. All aboard is going aboard! Uh, and before we do that, uh, I think Clank is posting their winning bingo card. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, are we the baddies? What ho friends deleted link? <laughs> Free space for feck. Uh, how's the hand? Dramatic duck. Twi Twizzlers, Drangos and tea. And it's a kaleidoscope! Well, congratulations to Clank. You are today's longship bingo winner. Um, be sure to play again in, in other days. <laughs> That's fecking brilliant. That's fecking brilliant. It's fecking marvellous. And again, massive thank you to the Artsy Poe for making the bingo cards. <laughs> we'll play again next stream. Beta Positive says, Sometimes you can really tell this game is made by Black Isle Crew. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh. And I'm glad they got them all together, you know. Now, this isn't where we need to go. Which way... I think we just head straight across. But like I said, so everybody, we've got both conch shells now. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So I think we go this way. And this leads us to where we want it. I think this leads us to where we need to go. Fresh boot prints. Or is it back down this way? Feck. Uh, Bait is saying, for anyone who never played any of the Black Isle RPGs, uh, play them. Uh, they are still entirely worth your time. And Alex with, just be careful you don't get a conk cushion. <laughs> 
Only the finest, freshest puns here. Puns served hot and fresh. From gnarly space ingredients. Alright, walk down the cavern. Maybe the gods will take you to a delicious meal. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I do feel like they're, the 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 gods are messing with Jody something fierce. Okay. This area is sinister as heck. We're all in agreement there, right? Oh, so this was a shortcut to the second area. All right, sorry, I gotta backtrack a little bit. We got this. Although, crap. What I should probably do... What I should probably do just in case is do like a round of naps. Because I haven't got my dragons. Or my fire breath. So we might have a very bad time depending on what kicks off. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing great. We are doing great. Uh, flow with uh, what a bad uh, why bad things would happen in a dark place during a video game quest come on be realistic yeah you're right I'm just, just being paranoid me oh no get out of the get out of the dead bodies god tell me kids these days with their fortnights and their Fidget hovers, and they're standing around in piles of rancid old corpses. Oh, feck. I didn't mean to do that. Darn it. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm around here. Uh, jumping back into chat. Toast with, I love my fidget hovers. Anyway, what we do know is that now we've got both. So I'm just going to quickly save it. And just before we open this door, I'm going to go for a tea break. <laughs> yep, I'm being an ass. Plus, I love hanging out with you lot, so I don't want to lose your uh, lose your company. So, yeah, Isocrid, i gotta, I got to build tension. i got to build suspense. So you lovely folks, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna take a quick two minute break because we've been at this for two and a bit hours. Uh, I'm going to brew myself up something, uh, something fresh and deliciously tea streamed. Meow Ki Sakura says, what? Sunday stream? Yup. Um, basically, like there's, I can't do a schedule for the week because I don't know what the week's gonna look like. Um, I don't, there's no one I can go hang out with because I've got the mitten and I can't invite friendos here because Ket's sick. I'm not getting sick. Well, I was feeling under the weather yesterday, but I'm not as sick as Ket. But I'm also on a mad round of like antibiotics, so I'm like tank defense at the moment. So Ket's let me use his rig on a Sunday to do a bunch of streaming. So I'm having a pretty good day of it. Also, we got a load of friendos who came over from uh, Dan Floyd's Monster Hunter video. So... Yeah, today's a really good day. And Miyaki Sakura, were you around for yesterday when we hit a thousand viewers? A thousand viewers, lol. Uh, a thousand followers. Because, yo, we're at 1,030 now. And I'm pretty bloody stoked about it if I do say so myself. Hey, Honey Droplets, welcome back, yo! What, old friend, how goes it? So, yeah, um... I will be back with all of you lovely people in just a second. I'm going to quickly nip to Lou, grab myself a fresh cuppa, and then we'll roll from there. I just, yeah, I know today was unplanned and unscheduled, so thank you all for coming to hang out with me. It beats sitting on the sofa and watching crap telly and feeling sorry for myself, you know what I'm saying? Right, where's my cup? Oh, feck a feck. Oh, fecking me. Fecking me. I'll be back in a second. Don't go anywhere, because we're literally just about to get into fresh new plot. 
From this point onwards, I have no idea what's going to happen.
bag of jerky because I want some jerky. Um, I hope none of you feel like there is a, an on-camera uh, feckin' feck will persona going on as I unfurl into this chair because uh, as those who have unfortunately been subjected to me in the real will know this this is kind of a, co a constant condition. Um, I grabbed the bag of jerky from the kitchen and went I claim this in the name of the god emperor of man. There's no one else around. Ket's having a power nap. I... That's just for me. <laughs> I also tend to sing a lot around, um, especially before starting streams and stuff, as a methodology of warming up one's voice. Right. So, you lovely, lovely folks. I'm sorry for making you all wait, but I've got a cuppa. I've got a bag full of, uh, of dried and remade meat. Uh, we've got two kiwis in. Um, so, uh, shiny kiwi wants... Uh, shiny kiwi wants also wants jerky. Oh, so sturdy kiwi, um, sturdy kiwi, you're North Island. Oh, super cool. Uh, sturdy kiwi, have I already asked you whereabouts in NZ you are? Because uh, I was based out of Dunedin, so I was a South Island boy. Though, the kind of the South North Island is kind of like the the flip uh, of most places, like the cold and frigid South rather than the dark, the dark North. But we had penguins, so it's fine. Like, okay, okay. I don't want to start industry beef. And, you know, it's unprofessional to, to shit talk previous employers. Well, with a notable exception. It's, you know, I don't want to say bad things about Dean Hall, but Dean Hall, Dean Hall, creator of DayZ, did not let me have a penguin in the office, and I'm sorry, but I, you know, these are the facts that you need to know. <sighs> sorry, I'm being an ass. As I said, I don't know what you put, I don't know what you lot put up with me sometimes. But okay, but oh, and Sturdy Kiwi lives in Wellington. Very cool. Rams Moose says no penguins in the office. Yeah, I know, I know. This was the kind of, you know. And honestly, I feel like I feel like it's something that should be should be widely known. Dean Hall didn't let me have a penguin in the office. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, um, uh, I think it was Dean's sister had um, uh, their parents had I think saved a penguin from like a from a trap or a penguin with a, a ba like a badly injured wing or something like that. And what they were saying is that penguins are lovely. They're supposedly very good tempered creatures, but they stink to high heaven. Like, they are horrendous smelling, which is why they wouldn't let me have it in the office. And I was like, fine. But there's just something about walking to work, and as you walk into the entrance, you can just look over the bridge and go, Sup, penguin? Penguin's like, eh. Rhymes and Moose says, Now I know why penguins were so important to you. Exactly. Uh, also, um, uh, a very good friend of mine, it's actually based out in Australia, uh, drew like little fan art of um, what would have been our our house mascot, a little a little Rocket Works penguin. So yeah, a story from another time. Hey, so uh, Odo DX Man uh, and Shiny Kiwi as well. So those of you who have just joined us, what ho friends! Welcome to some uh, unplanned, impromptu Sunday streams. Of Pillars of Eternity to Deadfire. From this point onwards, from right here, we are into new content. Now, I didn't think we'd make it this far this quickly. I thought we'd get laywayed with, like, nonsense and side missions and whatnot. So, we're going to crack open this door. And whatever happens from here, I have no idea. But overall, our goal will be go up to the top and eat the rich. So, let us continue. All right, uh, I'm just re-saying this for people who've just joined us. So, a cracked, dirt-rimmed carving dominates the wall. In it, two hands rise from the curling waves. Sockets in uh, sockets, uh, sockets like the oh, sorry, sockets like the one in the statue outside the temple have been carved into hollow palms. Both are empty. 
So, you notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. The conchs, both of them, uh, sound like gentle, crashing surfs coming from the shells. Right, so place a conch in one hand. Uh, as you do, the thunderous, percussive music of a stormy sea spills out from the conch. Uh, it rises into a wordless melody that reminds you of the voices heard from underwater. The conch glows. Perhaps it is a trick of the shadows, but the stone hand seems to tighten around it. You have lost the conch. Alright, place the second conch in the other hand. Here we go, here we go! The other hand slides into place, glowing as brilliantly as its twin. A counterpart melody rises from it. The carving shudders and something rumbles beneath your feet. You watch as the wall panel sinks into the floor. You have lost the corner at the depths. I guess we aren't getting them back. Alright, new point of interest discovered. Secret chamber. Ahoy! Would you look at that? Secret chamber! Secret chamber! Alright, but I'm keeping what's in there. Alright, let's have a look! Alright, but I'm keeping... Guess I wasn't so hard. Uh, the Kadu Scath. Large shield, one-handed. Exceptional. Well, you can definitely have that. And then what's in here? Alright, but I'm keeping... All done. Uh, fine hatchet, some exceptional scale armor. Alright, nothing super duper duper. And in here, uh, the Watari Pugara. Poleaxe, two handed, exceptional. Um, grants reckless cyclone, that's how I describe myself at parties. Um, and at Blade's Reach, along with some Mataru clothing, scroll of winter wind, and some rubies. Maybe an adjective. I'll see it done. Cool. Anything else in here? I mean, I'm guessing this kit's real good, but let's find out. A wraith with secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Secret, 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 secret tunnel! <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's have a look at this great green shield. Alright, that does look feckin' cool, everybody. I mean, I could take that as a secondary. How does it look? Oh, that is a mean looking axe! Yeah, I'll hang on to it for now. But we're a dual wield user. It's what we do. It's what we do. Um, oh, actually, just a quick roundabout. See, superb leather armor. How's that scale? Uh, better but slower. Though it is exceptional quality. Does make one question a lot of things. Like, why Jody hasn't been given a pair of shoes yet? Anyway, those are those are questions for a future time, my friends. For a future time. Uh, one health restored per 60 seconds. That doesn't seem very useful. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Got some, got some tasty legendary items there. Could do something rather fanciful with those. But not right now. Definitely nothing else in here? Cool. Huh. I don't know what I was expecting. Like a fight or something? I don't know. And we can't get the shells back. Which is a mite tricky. Um, so, 
yeah, like I said, I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, Alex Wobry, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry about this one. The uh, the mouse pointer being off is an annoying uh, side uh, subset. Um, I haven't got a, a resolution for that right now. So I do apologise if that's uh, overly infuriating for individuals. Uh, Great Odo saying, how's your hand? Still here! Uh, I find out on Thursday whether or not it's just going to be a, a brand new cast... Or whether their uh, medical science is going to have to rebuild it. Oh. Yeah, Flo, I'm with you. Like, that's it. I I was expecting more. Alright. Who wants to go rob a wizard? Who wants to go rob a fecking wizard? No, that's Cliff Steps. Uh, old city ruins, that's where we want to be. Um, Kiwi saying that I'll be fine, that I won't need the surgery. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping. Um, and if I do, from what I've been told, it's it's dead simple. Um, like, they basically just poke the bone back in place with a, with a piece of metal. It's not like a... You know, they've got to pull it apart and reconstruct it. I'm just hoping, you know, I'm just hoping. But, here's the thing. This isn't going to stop us. I mean, I severely mean no disrespect by this, because I, you know, we have, we all have a lot of good friends. But, no, I... Funny and difficult to, to put my thoughts and feelings on this together. When I say that I am dedicated to, to doing this and hanging out with you all, I mean it. You know, if I if I have to miss a day on the schedule, then I want you all to know why. And I I don't take days off lightly. They're usually Oh, this person's still here. Dario said there was a whole temple back here. Yes, he did. So question, do we want to go see Dario and tell him what happened? Tell him that we won't do it. Or should we leave it for now, see if he sends any retribution against us, and then when he tries to kill us, because we didn't give him a shell, then we are totally free to do him a massive murder. What do you think? And Alex saying, you'll be plenty more piratey with a hook. Ah, that's you right. I might just go full pirate for um, Halloween, because I think I can just shimmy together a, a costume... Oh, that tea is amazing. Uh, if any of you see Jack's Gulch, yo, Jack's Gulch knows tea. All right, avoid the team killing. Uh, yeah, we need to go there. Avoid the team killing rope, and go from there. Oh, Avarch is saying we're going to the bathhouse. Yes, we are. Bathhouse, then um, basically uh, Ocean's Five. And it's DX Man says hopefully I won't be joining you in your predicament soon. Hands been acted up, so I'm probably going to see the doctor. Uh, possible RSI. Um, so DX man, I was having a, uh, I was having the onset of that, and um, uh, the thing that I got told was that there's a series of exercises you can do with your hands, so, like the stretches up and back, and there's like a, there's one where you do like a hook and then roll. If you look them up on the interwebs, they're good, um, but uh, while they're not particularly pleasant, they do help overall. So that's. Yeah, that's what's been keeping me going. At least, I mean, I don't have to worry about RSI now, do I? Uh, also, if you're doing a lot of gaming, um, I find that uh, control pad gaming is a lot easier than mouse and keyboard. Uh, when, yeah, when the backs of my hands are starting to cane a little bit. But I am not a medical professional. <laughs> I am not a medical professional, and please do not take my words as uh, gospel. But it's a little something that helped me. So, Joe about a chat. Um, yeah, saying, alas, hopefully it's good news on Thursday. Um, and the thing is, Friday's going to be out, because either Friday will be... Um, 
recovering from Thursday or Friday I have an off-site thing that'll be going down which hopefully will be awesome. Uh, Ember! Thank you kindly for the follow. Because I was quite tempted to go with I'm going down, I'm yelling Ember. But I just, I didn't have the, the forethought to, to cue that terrible joke up. A giant? One of the raffoon? No, much bigger. Such is the rumour. Sounds like sailor tales to me. We haven't been to the Luminous Audra Mill yet, have we? I can't remember if there's a reason we need to go there. Uh, Avanch is saying, uh, you got to love it when the world turns you into a creature animal thing. Um, and Clang saying, medical leave is a legitimate thing. Hey! Uh, Ember... So firstly, what ho friend! And then say, much blessing on Dan's Monster Hunter World videos. Hell yeah. Floydo's a joy and a tra a joy and a treasure. Uh, I didn't know that you streamed. Uh, woe, uh, woe me before today. Well then, Ember, it's lovely to have you over. Um, we've had Floydo on this show a couple times. Uh, some of the really good VODs are over on YouTube if you want to catch them. Uh, as someone reminded me uh, a few, Jesus, a fair few weeks ago, Myself, Echo, Dan Jones and Dan Floyd all raced uh, trucks against each other in uh, Euro Truck Simulator. And it was, I'll be honest with you, feckin' marvellous. Um, so yeah. Shiny Kiwi, but Dan, Dan, Will and Echo. <laughs> that was a good day. And we've had... Dan Jones on the show, we've had Floydo over here, um, there's actually been a few requests to get uh, Lily on the show to discuss uh, art and video games, so that'll probably happen. Um, so jumping back in, Jenra said, this might sound weird, but I kind of miss wish my wrists were in worse condition, uh, the kind a cast would fix, but I have this uh, ganglion cyst, oh dude, uh, oh, I'm right in the crevice of the dominant wrist, oh feck. That's, like, I ain't got anything useful to add to that. That's just real. And DX Man, wherever you are in the world, I hope that people are able to, to help with that. Anyway, we've done a robbery, and we're going to do some more. But first, without further ado... Hot razor skewers, crested swordfish. It's time for a little trip to the Luminous Bathhouse. Uh, Zenro saying that um, it's not uh, agony, it's just annoying. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear. Um, I knew someone who had a uh, who had a, a more extreme case of that from a motorcycle accident, where um, someone had cut them off, and where the bike had kind of been um, yanked out. Uh, so where their bike had crashed into. Uh, the person who pulled out in front of them, they were holding onto the bars, and where their hand had been pulled off forcibly, it smashed the... it did a bunch of damage to the stuff in the palms. Sorry. Uh, enjoy the baths, but don't cause any trouble. I think I can afford us to... Alright. You are greeted by a tall, carefully composed man. The crescent moon in the centre of his forehead glows faintly. Uh, up close, the careful tailoring of his opal-adorned robes and their immaculate cleanliness speak well, uh, speak a well, a deep well of vanity. Welcome, I am Ganor, owner and proprietor of the Luminous Bathhouse. Oh, he's nice to us because we're also a godlike. You are the first of Margaret's children to visit my establishment. He stares for a moment at your flaming head, pursing his lips. Mind where you stand lest you set the linens aflame. They will cost you a pretty copper to replace. Don't be an ass. Now, uh, what have you got for sale? Uh, so we can go to the Moistured Cave, uh, the Barthelian Drop, or the Abyss. We can recruit some adventurers, retrain, or party management. Oh, more important, let's get a soak in the tub, yo! My friend, you return. If you require anything at all, you need only ask. Uh, 
Oh, so his small smile is tight with suspicion as he bows. So because we're both a godlike, which I assumed he would be cool with, and a barbarian, he's like, yo, what? Of course you would. Just speak with a steward near the stairs. He will make certain you are treated well. All right. Warriors. Have you tried the bathing pool? Oh, Kira, its waters allow you to absorb the powers of the dead. <laughs> you are too These are some very naked friend. people, everybody. I'm going to zoom out ever so slightly, but... Been blessed by the gods, and it is ah, yes. This bloke. We need you. to mess with him. Is this your first time to the baths? I haven't been in the waters yet. Ah, the cost is high. But so are the delight. Don't be weird, old dude. Do not be weird. I might have the skin and bones of a retired scarecrow, but the waters bring youth back where it counts. <laughs> no! So I'm giving me a bucket of cold ice I can throw over this guy. Nope, you can stop that right now. You genuinely believe I need to hear this. Right. Uh, nope, you can stop that right now. No matter. I won't let this energy go to waste. Oh, no! Creepy old mother hobbit. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, the cost to get into the baths are quite expensive. The cost of enjoying the bathhouse's unique offering is 1,000 copper per session. Uh, you know what? You know what? We have worked very hard to get here, so if ever there was a time we were going to splash out a thousand copper on something like this, this is the time. Compliment Cap, I will destroy him later. As we said, we can always murder them later. Come, Beef Jerky, I have need of you. Um, yeah, Mr. Ghost, you deserve to treat yourself. Treat yourself. Beef. Ow. Beta Positive says... Pretty much what natural bathhouse is like. Full of creepy old dudes. Creepy white old dudes. Alright, let's go for it. I mean, if we've all got to get naked, we've got to get naked. She laughs awkwardly. Cheeks burning as she glaces at Elder. Oh good, it's time for my weekly cleansing. Alrighty. Oh that's cool. Uh, everyone gets plus one max and power points and casts um, extra spells. Cool. Hey, Undyne! I see you brought your pain, but you need come to ease it. Pity. Uh, you're Undyne, right? We heard you know where we can find Romano. Oh, what brings you to the bathhouse? It eases my pain. More than that is an awful long yarn. And they entered lickly. Excuse me, what? Where's Greenfile? We need to translate feckin' Welsh. Oh, by Beriff's bulging ball bag, spare us a tragic tale, you poxy old salt. Tell us a Romaro and we'll be leaving you to your misery. Wow! Seraphin, we're just we're just gonna go with like that, are we? Okay. Seraphin. She smiles, an expression both sad and kind. Romaro described you pointedly. He told me that you would come were you in danger. Hey! Jolt jab! What ho, friend? We're hanging out in the baths. We've done a crime. We're going to do a murder. So we're having ourselves a little spa treatment before we eat the rich. Danger? Nay, not I. But I do seek him, though. And I feel that he needs me. Feel it in the deep depths of my furry fun sack. <laughs> if you care for him, you'll be telling me what you know. 
And I quote, In the deep depths of me furry fun sack. And you wonder why I love playing this game. Also, I'd like to say I'd like to say hello to uh, Loriath Bane. Thank you kindly for the follow. It is sincerely appreciated. And uh, if you are one of the individuals that's come on over from uh, Dan Floyd's uh, Playframes video, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. A Doom Brigade with hashtag poetry. Uh, Zenro says, does eating some really rich cheesecake count as eating the rich? Um, I mean, dessert the rich kind of works. <laughs> If we found cheesecake in a rich person's house that we had murdered and consumed, then yeah, I think that would that would come under it. He beat me not tell anybody of his plans, ye included. He's left this area. A fear to the danger he fetches on those near to him. Um please help my friend undying. He loves Romero like a father. Please tell us where to find Romero, or your life is forfeit. All right, he loves him like a father. Let's let's go for the the pity strings again. Extreme violence is always a last option. He's the nearest thing I got to kin. Why didn't he trust me? Vanderbeest saying, "Do brigade." Was that a request for cyber poetry? No, no. We leave cyber poetry right where the feck that it deserves. Oh, that was a. Feck and feck. Uh, I wish that uh, video still existed, but yo, that stream of um, Bloodnet was something else. One of these days, what I might do is find someone who'd never watched that, never encountered it, and take them through Bloodnet, but tell them nothing. We can all sit and smirk as they are exposed to the anguish agony that is that game. He did trust you. He trusted you wholly. I'll tell you. And trust you to go on best with to make of the conan. Romero treated me as galleon for mine clipper. A stuggy trade, surely. But he insisted that he needed the speed. Alright. Oh, traded you a galleon for your clipper. Hmm. Also, Pig, get out of the baths. You know, actually, you know what? Pig, Pig, go nuts. Have fun. You've, you've worked hard too, little Pig, Pig. I can't tell you what he intends, but he set sail for Sayuka, intending to replenish there. That's everything I can, for whatever good it does you. Don't mind me, just stop at my face on a jerky. He gave up the sorcerer? And for what? An elven clipper? Makes as much sense as Doug's on a drake cap. He'd be easy catchings for any freebooter after his eye. Hmm. Yeah, that salty cock must be the biggest threat, sure as shit. But others will want that bounty too. Not to mention a favor comes with it. Aye, oh, Cap, you've read my mind. And here with me thinking that were my skill in particular. He winks. Uh, thank you mightily, lass. Enjoy the baths. Soft travels. The wages of war catch you up soon or sign. Alright, we'll just quickly nip upstairs because I think there's more pets to save. And there we go. I still think, as a fire type, when we walked into the water, there should have been loads more steam coming up. Right. So, on top of the usual nonsense, let's rob some folk! Leave it to me. Everybody in! That would be a no. Close the bloody door. Fine, just, just steal something. Nothing else? Cool. What we got in here? Uh, bathhouse occupant. And just gonna steal whatever's in your chores. What are you? Get out! Sure. Already took your stuff. 
And what's in here? Not a lot of things. Wait, where's the masseuse? I'm pretty sure there's a masseuse in here who wants to come with us on an adventure. So Gavin says, not sure uh, this is tea heresy or not, but I've taken to using the last... Oh, crap. Um, uh, bear with me all just a second. I'll be two seconds. Oi, That's the you. Will's Gonna Take Drugs About Alarm. Earlier, uh, and me saying I ain't seen nothing in your thoughts. You saw the terrors in my head. Apologies on the bent truth. It can't be what I do. Suppose I can forgive a friend a time or two. If you're willing to help me, in exchange, I mean. Well, I ain't one for knowing gods and prophecies. But I can be sharing with you the ancient pirate secret for sleeping like a babe. <laughs> if that be of interest to you. Of course. I wouldn't mind a reprieve. Just for a night or a few. If you got something, tell me. It's shitloads of rum. Barrels of rum. Call it! Drink it till you see free of me, and you'll be sleeping through cracking attacks. It's not wrong. Of course, next morning you'll feel like a kraken. Right. And Avanch saying that was your mead alarm. Oh, med alarm. I read what I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be back in two seconds, people. I apologize for taking two breaks in a row. I'll just neck me pills and I'll be back in a sec. Hey, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. I feel a little bit guilty because it's like we just get into the the new go. We're just getting to the new stuff, and then it's like, yo, you're fucking out of owned. Uh, the. Oh, excuse me. Uh, right. What was I doing? Uh, turn off the BRB needs tea, and continue ever onwards. Let me get my moose. Okay. Oh, we found Noah. Postinago, you have truly put your foot in it this time. The bathhouse patrons is quite a lot of them. Postinago, you have truly put your foot in it this time. Legit. Oh, I think that uh, that lad's kicking off some plot outside. Nothing says, uh, I've got a quest for you! Like someone uh, exasperately uh, discussing their uh, downfalls. Right. So, what's next on the docket? Alex Swavery was asking, is that Noah Court? Possibly. I hope we haven't spent too much time in the baths. Oh, it's fine. I don't work here. I see. My thanks for clearing that up. 
In any case, we hope you enjoy your time. Her companion suddenly tips her head to shoo you away. Uh, what brings you to Barfhead? I am helping Herwina to conceive. She came all the way from nope. the Dillwood, and I nope, will nope, see nope. that she returns nope. Nope, nope, with nope, arms nope. laden with young. I, w I regret asking, and I am sorry. After the Holoborn crisis, I wanted no child of mine born in uh, this blighted land. Richard Darby! Also, thank you kindly for the follow, yo. Lovely to have you with. This place is a miracle. Every day I emerge from the baths as a new woman. And my first child will be as strong as an Adra pillar. Uh, but because we have strong arcane and metaphysics, we're like, I don't think it's a guaranteed result. Is that true? She blinks at Senyu. Do not listen. Luminous Adra is the life of the Deadfire. It can bring life to you, I say. She rests her palms on Hari's shoulder and dismisses you with a look. Uh, whatever you're peddling. Whatever you're peddling, we're messing. Oi, everyone! My pig just weed in your bath! Later! <laughs> uh, I enjoy myself. You're playing my jam. Uh, Postinago. You have truly put your foot in it this time. All right, I'm going to ask you just so you stop Adolf saying Entry. that so loudly. You go to visit the luminous bathhouse, yes? Perhaps. Why do you ask? My satchel. Like a fool, I left it inside. My ship is due to sail from Nekataka with the next high tide. If I do not find it, my casita will surely throw me overboard. Merla, I cannot swim. The look of horror spreads across his face. I would go by myself, but... Uh, the guards, they bar the doors to me without my casita present. They think I am a thief. Why can't you ask your casitara to retrieve it? I would rather her not discover my incompetence. I'm sure she's well aware, numbnuts. I would go by myself, but... Uh, the guards, they bar the doors to me without my casita present. They think I am a thief. Are you a thief? No. Of course not. His eyes widen with fright and he waves frantically before you are in a warding gesture. I would go by myself, but uh, the guards, they bar the doors to me without my casita present. They think I am Shut a Shut up, I'll let you know if I see it. Uh, you notice uh, a light sheen of sweat on his upper lip. He shifts his weight from foot to foot and stares at you intently. There is uh, one thing. Madiko, how could I have forgotten? Don't hustle a hustler, and you don't try and mess with an actual cannibal, you dingus. If you could, do not open the satchel. The contents are... The information is... Gone. No, no. Ask me to help you out, and then ask me... Ask me not to look at the thing. Now go for it. Propriety. You understand? I can lie and say, I would never! When I first saw you, I knew you were a trustworthy sort. I ah. knew. Please, when you find the satchel, meet me at Peddler's Canal in Queen's Birth. Yeah, not happening, dude. Alright, let's go find it. Hmm. Jolt jab. Thank you for stopping in, yo. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been the most communicative of peeps of late. I'm very happy that we're going to get to hang out at TwitchCon. And I'm sorry that I hadn't responded to your messages. Uh, it turned out that the sore hand um, was actually a broken hand. So that's why I've been a little off the grid. But... Thank you. Your exchange with Amrio was... Observed. Such behaviour is my responsibility. I've tripled his rates until he learns to conduct himself. Good. Alright. Do you know a boy named Darius? Sita Vetter's servant? The irritating one? Yes, he was here attending her just a few days ago. Uh, Ganor waves his hand dismissively and rolls his he eyes. He tried to sneak into one of my rooms. 
and told me a pathetic sob story when he was caught. Ah. I had the guards toss him out on the street. Farewell. All right, let's see if we can find his bloody satchel. Uh, Mataru, Mataru. Rato. Oh, cool, there's a little fish tank. Let's go look at the fish. I'll see it done. Rare and colourful fish swim from end to end in the watery enclosure. Oh, look at that. It's like a little ocean. Oh, we need one of those for our ship. We do! Uh, do I have any... Is there anyone here who knows how to uh, look after a, uh, a proper fish tank? Because I don't. Oh, let's have a look in the boiler room. <laughs> El Elder, no. We could, we could have tiny fish! Little colourful fish, they don't hang out. We can name them. Be great. Oh, hello. Leave it to me. Uh, the crack in this wall appears to be just wide enough to accommodate an uh, aluma squeezing in sideways. The passage seems to widen as it goes deeper. Squeeze the crack. Wait, no, hang on. We'll come back here. We'll come back here. Alex says that they had a proper fish tank when they were 12. So, no. I might prefer dogs. I... I love dogs. Don't get me wrong, like, cats are lovely. Dogs are just wonderful, good natured creatures. Would you care to enjoy the bath's offerings? The price is one thousand. I'll pass for now. We already had dip. <laughs> also, Alfred the Deluge. What, old friend? Welcome back. You'll excuse me. I'll try to, creepy old dude. Dry, chewy meat. Right, here we go. Done. Hmm. So that's his satchel. And let's have a look in the inventory. Let's, let's open this sucker up. Okay, addendum added, sealed fate. A Ritawa hat, a suspicious letter, and the Avata seal. Suspicious letter. Uh, Deragos, it's been arranged. So long as your captain sticks to her route, our ship will meet yours at sea in three days. Don't forget to dump your powder before we arrive. Every cannibal that strikes our hull will be one less limb we leave with you, understand? And be sure to wear a red bandana so we don't kill you by accident. If all goes planned, we'll spot your ship and a fair share of plunder will be yours, as promised. Talfor. And then what's this here? Uh, a Vetter's seal. And a Rataru hat. Well, matey boy, you're about to have a very bad time, aren't you? Anyway, we're going to stop by the uh, Pillar of uh, Gorn uh, up in the uh, serpents areas so that our so that Jody can feel better then we're going to rob some rich folk murder Mr. Mr. McMutiny I'm going from there and I'm going to continue stuffing meat in my face read into that how you will And Beta Positive was saying that they have a chinchilla, but they are the opposite of fish. They really are. Alright. Uh, 
Oh, I wonder if we could find the, the captain of his ship first, then rat him out, and go from there. And Wraith saying, Sounds like the first person to be killed in that encounter would be the guy in the red bandana. Yeah, I, I don't fancy his chances, Wraith. I do not fancy his chances at all. All right, let's see if we can find the uh, the statue of Guan. Uh, Jody sways on her feet. Sweat trickles from her temple. Uh, she hunches it forward inward as the as her muscles shiver and seize her. Uh, watch them. All right, lass. Back to the surface with you. Uh, the fingers of his left hand at his temple. Seraphin snaps with those of his right just before Jody's eyes. Uh, Jody sucks in a ragged breath, rubbing her eyes as if awoken from a fitful sleep. Right easy to forget how terrifying in Gotti and Mira and that lot be. Till you watch a lass's dream of them, eating up every man, woman, and babe in the dead fire. Oh. I saw the gods, all but gone and Barith trapped in hell. Starving, wither into dust and bones. They were eating souls to survive. Sounds like a good time. Uh, did you learn anything, Seraphin? I oh, don't be thinking it were a normal dream, neither. Interesting. More like something lurking on the edge of your thoughts. Something I can't rightly grasp out of. Like the correct answer in a pub quiz. Apologies, lass. Wish I were of more help. Why well, apologize? It's not your burden to bear. It's mine. Uh, oh, Avandra's asking, what's a chinchilla? It's an adorable, adorable little bundle of fluff. Um, like a... Like a good-natured guinea pig that can bounce. Guinea pigs can be good-natured, but most of the ones I've met have been... Not lovely people. Not lovely uh, creatures. Uh, Temple of Berith. No, we need the Temple of Gorn. Though, we'll stop in the Temple of Berith in a sec, because Berith's the one we're working for. Ah, yep. Look! A monster! I'll mess you! Me. I'll mess you up, you wee little shites! So you defeated this ship-devouring beast all by yourself? I'm telling you, you just have to aim for the eyes. I thought that was a child, and that was terrifying. Interesting. We can use the tree to grapple down the side. That's awesome. Hmm. So the runes are a memento mori, depicting the inevitability of death and the immortality of the soul. The door shudders and groans as you approach. Inspect the door. An elaborate etching spans the stone's width, carved faintly beneath several runes. It depicts a small crowd praying to a pair of giant eels that have coiled above the large door. An anima... An... 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 Uh, Arumano priest holds a disc near the door's face. Uh, a religious artifact blessed by birth, it is likely necessary to open the door this way. Alright, cool. So, jumping back into tact, uh, uh, Umra, welcome, what ho, hello, how goes it? Uh, we're trying to find the statue of Gorn. It's around here somewhere, I assume. Uh, lot of ironclads, though. Lot of ironclads. Because Jody's been having a hard time of it, so hopefully we can find the, uh, the statue of Gorn 
can hang out with some people's find a bearings, feel a little bit better. Free resources. And our little pig pig can have a little run up the stream as well. Sacred altar. Oh, there we go. Temple of Gorn. Done. Jobs are kidding. Okay, so Jody's been having some seriously tripped out vision, so we're, supposedly this will help her out. Or we'll trigger a massive fight, one or t'other. Either way, we can summon dragons. Oh, that's a person to talk to. So it is you. Huh. I could not think of a reason why your ghost should haunt the dead fire, save to haunt me. And that smacks of arrogance. Whoa! Adric smiles crookedly at you, something which causes the soldier beside him to regard you with bemused curiosity. You want a gourmet! Sister. Uh, Adric turns towards Jody, bowing her head. Uh, blushing, uh, Jody tries not to preen. Uh, Adric gestures and the soldier turns away. He steps closer to you, as if to share a conspiratorial whisper. But you notice that he is looking elsewhere, behind you and around you. Another collection of spirits? The rumor was that Cat Nua was destroyed, and you with it. I was sorry to hear it. Uh, don't tell me you had another vision. I have no idea who you are. Uh, I should have known you'd turn up once Aethys did. I'm going to pretend like I know he is and go for that one. A safe assumption. But then I might say the same. Wherever the gods work their intent, there you find the Watcher of Cadnua. I'm a popular bloke. What are you saying? I'm also partially made of fire now, so feck off. I think he's onto something there. Maybe all this is happening because the gods are playing a joke on you. Huh. <laughs> I would not say it is a jest. We don't know if this guy is rich or not, but we can definitely kick his ass, so there we go. Uh, Wraith saying, uh, uh, I think he needs a, a smack of arrogance. And by arrogance, I'm in the back of our end. Yeah, DX Man is probably a, a Path of Exile 1 character. No, um, Pillars of Eternity. Goddamn POE! When the priest spoke of Aeoth's return, I volunteered to come. Sure you did. Along with a few of my men. I think the Morning Council was content to have me out of the way. I'd be content to have you out of the way. That's putting it all very simply. But then... I suspect few of us have simple reasons for coming to the dead fire. Dead fire is home for me. So back off. Of course. I did not think. It must be difficult to see it so changed. Sorry, Aldric. I lost your sword along my castle. Any news? Still fretting about your watcher abilities. Uh, Aldrich's jaw tenses and he looks away, shifting uncomfortably. I don't know. I came here on a pilgrimage of a kind. Nikataka is full of spirits. And the sea. Where to begin? Ooh! Self loathing is a blight on the soul, Adric. Don't make your journey through hell darker than it has to be. I. You're right, of course, sister. I don't get this guy. He's splitting between concern and being an ass. You are a watcher still. Yet you are neither mad nor killed. It's good to see. <laughs> and you aren't menacing around innocent townspeople anymore, I hope. Ha! <laughs> no. The Iron Flail has no official business in Nekataka. No siege weapons. I'm here as a man of the faith. All right. And to make good on some of my mistakes. Is one of them being an ass? Because you're being an ass. All right, so give us some news about whoever you want to talk about. Each missive from the dead fire raises new tumult. Some believe our Lord restored, while others doubt. We've done penance for many long years. None of us know what forgiveness ought to look like. Continue. It doesn't seem like Aethys has his mind on forgiveness these days. Alright, anyway, see you around. Take care. 
and may the sure. Here's where I do the ritual. Right there under the statue of Gone. Alright. I can't believe it. Is that really you? A solid meal and a decent sleep have filled Withen's lean frame out somewhat, but the man's remains fox-like aspect around your face. He greets you with an indecisive smile, unsure whether to be nervous or pleased. And Adair, you made it out of Gilded Vale for good, then. I'm glad. What is this, a reunion hour? Jesus! A lot more might have made it out if you hadn't left them for dead. Oh! Elder's fists clench and unclench several times. I haven't forgotten. It's why I'm here, Adair. Which seems I was hoping I'd seen the last of you. Well, it was a close thing for a while, if that makes you feel better. Didn't Little feel bit. like I was doing much good back in Gilded Vale or anywhere. Not until I caught word about the Dawn Stars. Go on. Took some getting used to, working shoulder to shoulder with Red Sarens, but it's not so hard as you'd think. Feels like I'm on the right path. Toward a little piece of redemption, maybe? Uh... Everyone's... I guess everyone's chasing, chasing after Aethys these you days. You too, eh? Guess we're all making up for something. Yeah, it's, uh, Shiny, I'm having the same thing, which is every time they say Dawnstar, I'm thinking of the Dawnstar in Skyrim. Very different organization. Would be nice to get some answers, maybe. Or... Forgiveness. For getting his people killed. I don't know. You got your people killed, and I don't like you. Keep out of trouble. Doing my best, Lord. Ship. All right, let's talk to the acolyte. Hungry? Come on up. Don't be shy. Uh, actually, I'd like to make a donation. The Shining God will bless you for it, sir. That coin will help those in need. Uh, so how do we help Jody do the thing with the thing? Okay, rubbing the back of her neck. So, uh, so her back of her neck. Self-subconsciously, Jody casts her gaze to the side. <sighs> Nothing like a homecoming to make a girl remember her roots, even if they are dried up and half dead. She sighs, nudging a bit of mud from her boots before she lifts her face to settle on you with a big dark eyes. Elder tugs at his beard, sour look on his face. Sometimes I wonder if my brethren don't think I got black ichor running in my veins. People often feel that what they don't understand. Uh, they just don't know your value. Yeah, people often feel they don't understand. Suppose they do. Suppose sometimes people do bad things in the name of their gods. Elder Glower's nearby. Dude, I'm, what is wrong with you, Elder? We're helping! But my brethren do more good than bad. And more good than most. Now he's smiling. Elder, are you okay? Do you smell burnt toast? Besides... I often don't understand you, Watcher, but I ain't afraid of you. That's reassuring. Is it? <sighs> Sakes alive. Her cheeks flush brightly. Are we flirting? Is this is this a flirt? I'm made partially of fire. You shouldn't be so fine to me, Watcher. It makes me think untoward things. Gives me notions I don't need to be getting. Is this... Do we have a flirt translator on... Is there a flirt translator in the house? Is this flirting? Do we have a confirm... Do we have a confirmation? I don't know. I'm very confused right now. Caffeine says it sounds like a heated romance. <laughs> Shiny with... Uh, Judy, you want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, Flo, this dialogue is weird and I'm loving it. It is... Very, very, like, uh, awkward people trying to flirt. Uh, as to paraphrase some of Kiwi's, uh, uh, Kiwi's, um, she is thirsty. Thirsty for the fire. And we do bring the flames. I can't risk straying when I got a duty to gone. Uh, we came here to cleanse your soul or speaking of gone? Speaking of gone. Yeah. Lay it on me. Oh. Um, why are you gathering souls in your lantern? Remind me the difference between gone and Aethus. 
The Dawn Stars are all about uh, goodness and light. Why are you concerned with death and darkness? Uh, I guess let's let let's have let's get a little bit of exposition from Jody and move away from her thirsty thirst. I was born to reap souls and lead them to the light. Cool. Could you talk in longer sentences so I can get beef jerky out of the bloody packet? Now with Aethys dead and these dire visions, I think. I need to shield them from a hell gone dark. But the more I gather, the more my mind turns to tatters. Uh, what if you didn't collect souls anymore, or... The beyond hasn't gone dark, it's well lit with living Aldra. Which, we've hung out there, it seemed pretty bright and shiny. Not yet, no. But soon. Subconsciously, she clutches the hilt of her sickle. Gone has shown me the common end. Then, what if you didn't collect souls? Let's... Okay, maybe this is messing you up, but what if you didn't? <sighs> that ain't gonna happen. Gritting her teeth, she shoots you an incredulous expression. You'd ask me to turn my back on my god? Uh, remind me of the difference between Gorn and Aethys? Aethys is dead. And Gone is the death before life. Huh. He's the ripeness before the fall. Hey. But we know Aethys isn't dead. That lumber and hunger Audra might claim to be Aethys, but that doesn't matter a whit. She shrugs. He died, so he can't be Aethys anymore. Death changes every soul, even a god's. I mean, you're telling me, but I had a conversation with him and he was an ass, so I feel we might be on different planes of information here. And if it doesn't, it should. Why do you think the god of rebirth held an aspect of death within him? You can't have life without dying. There's a bundle of joy today. There ain't no beginning without a prior ending. Ain't no day without night. No spring without fall. I can't think of a funny, uh... Uh... Oh! And, uh... Uh, Zutaka, thank you kindly for the follow. And I was trying for a joke there and completely failed, so your throwing a follow there was beautifully timed. Thank you. You can't grow crops if you never harvest for seeds. Okay. Anyway, we came here to cleanse your soul. Which is not a sentence I would say out loud. Alright. Yeah, I'm ready. I've done this before, but never with such a full lantern. You may want to stand back. The uh, experience can be somewhat intense. <laughs> no one. Basically, this is going to be like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Like, none of them apart from our party are coming out alive. It's going to be a carnage. Okay, so. <clears throat> Kneeling before the statue of Garn, Jody sets her lantern between her knees. Head bowed, she presses both palms against the copper cage. A low chant lilts from her lips and grows louder. The light from her lantern grows brighter, as does the lantern in the statue of Gone that holds it holds in one skeletal hand. The two lights pulse in rhythm with the chant, resonating with each other, twin heartbeats that pound faster and stronger until the light from uh, Garn's lantern bursts outwards in a shower of violent hued rays. The essence uh, bathes Jody's form. Uh, making her jolt upright uh, as a cry escapes. <sighs> Don't know if I feel cleaner, but I feel something. Blessed, for sure. Jody offers you a half-smile as she retrieves her lantern, trembling fingers curling against the gleaming metal cage. Let's just hope it lasts, because my lantern feels as heavy as ever, full to brimming with essence, like dark water spilling over my mind. You mean like the pirates of dark water? Damn, that All show right. was good. I'll be right. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to meet more... Hears your prayers. Surely as I do. I have a feeling we're going to be encountering more pure... Uh... Neil, just get in line, dear. Ain't no trick to it. Hey, there's a lady I'm looking for. Came from Deerwood. Ooh, Elder waves a hand in front of the old woman's face as though expecting the cataracts. The cataracts, she does... Not appeared to have. Short, got a bad temper. It goes by Alava Mazzy. Heard of her? I know an Alava, but that ain't a surname. <gasps> she got married! 
I should have sent a gift. Not real warm, that one. Stop by unannounced, you get a pistol up your nose when she answers the door. I don't know, that sounds like the kind of person we could get on with. Uh, jumping back into chat real quick, uh, Dreamer said, uh, I tried to start this game but it took too long to load, and I couldn't get through the opening where uh, I could save my game before my the mum called and asked me for pesto. That that was a complete arc. That that was a that was a story in its entirety. Uh, I had to quit and go pick up eight cups of basil. Basil. Right. Um, sounds like she's expecting you, Elder. Yeah, that's a that, that's her. So she's living with her uh, husband then. Not that I noticed. Elder exhales a surprising amount of air. Huh. Well, must be laying low. Just that boy of hers. You got a son! Elder's body goes perfectly still. It seems to waver in the breeze. You are the father! <laughs> She's got a son? Uh, how old would you say? Like a, a little boy? Groaning, Jody pulls her hair forward over her face uh, as if she can hide from the moment. I'm like, oh, this is getting good. All I couldn't say. It's been years. He must be a young man by now. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's something. Well, thanks for your help. You the baby daddy. You the baby daddy. Don't you want to know where to find her? Yeah, I was... Uh, just about to ask. <laughs> this is amazing. She's in her song goat last I heard. Got a little plot of land out there. Oh, we are making a beeline for that. I know we've got some, like, piratey business to handle once we're out of Neck Attacker, but, yo, that, we can't... Oh, that's gonna be fun. I guess we'll look that way, then. Much obliged. Beta positive with Elder. Time to move on! Nothing to see here! Don't you wanna know where she is? Nope, 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 nope. Uh, to dream a whiz. What? Are you expecting uh, be expected to name her? Oh, I killed the joke. To dreamer, I'm so sorry. I killed that joke outright, and it was a good one too. All right, let's talk to the high priestess and keep going. As you approach, the wood elf straightens over the altar. Uh, the altar gone. Her robes mark her as a high priestess. She arches and cracks her back loudly. A satisfied grin spreading across her face soon after. Jody, I do hope you're not getting into trouble now. Who, me? <laughs> no, I wouldn't dream of it. Elder gives a nod and a wink. What are you... Elder, please! She smiles at the sign of the stranger. So you're the high priestess of this temple. Do swine stink like shit? Uh, she hits you with a toothy smile, eyes glittering with amusement. I'm guessing you're not here to worship. Then what can I do for you? Uh... You must be getting a lot of people these days. Oh, yes. People are afraid. Angry. Change can be frightening. But what did any of us come here for? If not a new beginning. <laughs> Shiny Kiwi with Elder. I'm tired of your shit! Go see your kids! Wait, do we have to... Because if we're Elder's technical captain, thus employer, do we have to pay his, like, you know, child support? Feck. Uh, does this place get a little damp? No more than anywhere else. No sense fighting it. The water sustains our faith. Surely as it does these trees. I hate that fair. Uh, are you devotees are gone? Oh, are the first man of our Gone's the only one that matters. Jody scoffed. Uh, Swellen shuts her eyes, exhales deeply. And then opens them again to regard you with a patient smile. The shining gods got many faces, but they're all his to wear. Divine King Widewin, he saw the dawn stars, telling him of things to come. But it's gone with sickle and lantern that's come to the dead fire. Oh, heck! Our gods returned, and he's gonna bring balance to the world. He's gonna right all the wrongs we have suffered. Gone will bring a new beginning for all of us when that hour comes. Um, anyone getting any like apocalyptic vibes off of this? I am. Ah! 
Leave it. Kitty! We got a kitty! Frau Nils. Got a kitty! <laughs> okay. Alright, well, that was interesting to say the least, but hopefully now Jody's gonna feel better. Because that was our goal. I'll see it. And we got some Out for the deluge with Will. Is anyone else getting apocalyptic vibes off this? Oh my gosh, a kitty! Kitty! Go with us! Uh, so where else is there to check out? Uh, so we can have a look upstairs. Let's see what's about. You know how I've been saying there's nothing more important to me than us freeing you from Barith's bonds? Yes. Well, I meant that. I did. But... But there's this other thing I need to see about. On the way, like. I was gonna tell you. Uh, uh, it's about love. You don't have to explain. Thanks. I'm not sure I could anyway. Cause you the baby daddy! You the baby daddy! You the baby daddy! You got a kid! Sorry. This woman, I, uh... Well, love's not the right word. But she was something to me once, back in Gilded Vale. He pauses. Once Theos was gone, there wasn't much keeping me in Deerwood. Thought I'd be happier in Adir, where my folks had gone. Okay. It was nice seeing them again. Been almost since the war. All right. But I didn't belong. Found I couldn't talk to anyone. Not just because of the funny way Adirans talk. But over there, across the ocean, it's like nothing I'd been through ever happened. Not the war, not the legacy. Even my parents missed most of it. And I'm glad about that. But all we had to talk about was stuff from when I was a boy. Dude, you went through a war with gods! How are you so boring at dinner time conversation? Then I thought of somebody I knew I could talk to. Maybe the last person. Just like that, I was back on a boat, going the other way. All right. Last I saw her, she was going to New Hayamar. Went looking for her there, only to find that she'd left a long time ago. Okay. Anyway, I don't expect you to understand, but I gotta know she ended up all right. Sounded like she ended up with a son. Yeah, that's... that's something. Coming out of Deerwood during that time. When I knew her, she had another little boy, just a baby. But the legacy deprived him of a proper life. Okay. I never found out what happened to him. But with the Hollowborn, he didn't have to ask. Grim. Guess he got a brother, though. Uh, are you sure you want to know where this leads? No, but I don't see a way to let this go. Least a ways not now. Okay, dude. Beta Positive was saying, uh, I was wondering about that in uh, Pillars of Eternity 1. I grew up in a tiny village and- DUDE! YOU KILLED A GOD! TELL ME ABOUT THAT! And yeah, DX Man, he couldn't start this fecking conversation indoors. No, he's gonna wait till we're outside in the pissing rain and just be like, It all started when I was a boy back on the farms of Deer Woods. I had a tiny duck that I named Hedgewaldo. We're in- can't you wait till release in the pub? There's a time and a place for your emotional bullshit. Also, we entirely support you emotionally. Last Not in the rain. Saw a lava, we got friendly. Now she's got a son. You the baby daddy, you the baby daddy. Sorry. All right. Let's get moving. Guy squatting in a stream just went. There's a lot of superstitions around your kind. You must be tired of hearing them. The feck is wrong with you. Uh, Wraith is saying the Summer Games Done Quick 2018 panels are up now on YouTube. Uh, not sure which one Rogue Link was in, but it should be up there. Ah, yes. You lovely, lovely... <gasps> Kitty! Mm! Pause 
<coughs> Sorry, uh, serious face. Mm, yes. Mm. So Rogue Link, who's one of ours, um, did a panel at uh, Summer Games Done Quick. And now it's up on the YouTubes. We actually have a way to... Oh, excuse me. Uh, I got overexcited, so I got tea burps. Now we have a way to actually listen to him. So that's a that's a bit of a good one. We haven't killed any rich people for a while, though. All right, you find a man in the middle of his years uh, inspecting a metal tool unlike any you've ever seen. He has several strange, uh, similarly strange items on his belt, all quite clean and orderly. They look like the tools one might use to pull a tooth or a shoe from a horse, but much more delicate. He wears a pristine cream-coloured robes, and the muzzle of a thing that I can't pronounce, but it's a rifle, is visible just over his shoulder. His eyes brighten when he notices you. Uh, and because we have Arcana, the man's robes shimmer with a faint trace of arcane energy. Glyphs stitched into the hems and sleeves seem to be the source of the effect. A good day, traveller. I see you've taken an eye to my instruments. If you've any interest in the medical sciences, you need only ask. Oh, this will probably be someone who teaches us uh, skills. Oh, well then, any questions? <sighs> Tell me about yourself. I'm a researcher in the medical sciences. And before you ask, no. I don't mean animancy. Neither do I mean magic, nor, gods forbid, necromancy. Medicine, medicine. So nothing Study interesting. Of the kith body, its inner workings and such. In a world where, look at me, look at me. My beard is made of literal fire, and you're like in a store full of infinite flavors of gelato, and you choose vanilla wall paste. Are you kidding me? I've misgivings about magic use. It's useful, I'll grant you that. But it's a crutch. Stunts our scientific development, you understand. Makes me a bit unpopular, as you can no doubt imagine. Which is why I've got this arquebus here. Oh great, a, per a, a persecution complex. Delightful. You would have one too, if you'd experienced the things I have. No, please, affluent... Uh, well-learned white man, tell me of the troubles you have gone through. A patient of mine died under questionable circumstances. One morning they were fine, and the next they were dead. Someone is trying to discredit my work, I just know it. They had a... But they won't succeed. They had a great big, what appeared to be a gunshot wound in their chest, but I still don't know. I came here to the archipelago to evade my rival's attempts at sabotage. And there certainly is quite a lot of work in the dead fire, I must tell you. <laughs> Wraith. There, that's a joke I haven't heard in a long time. I've told you of my troubles. I suppose it's the least I can do. It haunts out me. Nope! Should you change your- Nope! A high Priestess Hati. God, please don't- um, The Magister Priest has the build of a boulder. His thick- uh, his thick-set frame stretches his fine robes at the seams. He regards you with a steady, calm gaze, nodding in greeting. Well, thank you. Whatever, whatever your story is, buddy, it cannot be as dull as, you know, vanilla, vanilla wall paste over there. Be welcome. We gather to honour the goddess. For we must earn the strength to endure the darkest of life's battles. Oh, God! Why can't someone... Uh, I'm going to need to go murder some rich people after this before my brain leaks out of my ears. Uh, Magran and I aren't on the best of terms. Is this your temple? Uh, is this your temple? Akira, rain and wind is a better teacher than any priest. A fighter accustomed to comfort earns only bruises. Uh, all right, we one. Each obstacle is a challenge we must answer. These are whetstones that sharpen us into fine blades. Right in a bin bag. Do you believe so? It is not in might alone that Margaret holds influence. Oh, Christ in a bin. All right, people, we're out. We've got a boring one. Oh! I thought this was the Temple of the Gods, not the Temple of the Incredibly Dull Mother Hubbards. Uh, we could go to the Death Temple. As I like to call it, the Temple. Yeah, let's check in on Bereth. Caffeine's like, all I'm hearing is nom 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 nom.
Hey, up, Chuck. Oh, thank you. We work for the dead god, so. That means we get to help ourselves. A lot of fighters in here. Leave it to me. Each tablet has been painstakingly engraved, recounting the myths and parables in the Juana script. Uh, an ailing Juana priest regards you, uh, your approach with curiosity. He coughs into a sleeve, stained with a spatter of silvery flecks. Come closer to the altar. Chosen one! Inside. The temple welcomes all to worship, most especially you. You've heard of me? The priest peers knowingly at the center of your chest, lips curving into an ardent smile, hands trembling. He touches a length of chain around his neck. I ask only for no talking. Not until we pay our respects to Bereth, to Rikuhu. Let us pray. The one thing he has asked me to do. Don't talk. Oh. Hey, uh, Caffeine, you're chilling here. Do you remember, remember when I got that megaphone? When I got that megaphone in uh, The Miscreated? I think this would be a time of like... Hello! I am currently the servant of your god! I am doing... I literally talk to your god all the time! Don't tell me to shut up. Also, your temple smells like old stale farts. Drop the microphone. Done. Good night. Oh, wait, no. Compliment Cap's actually heading out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and a bunch... I haven't found all the non-story NPCs to be boring. We just got... We just got a run of dull-ass Mother Hubbards. Oh, and Isocrid says, Huh, I just found out who made a guest appearance in Playframe. Who could you possibly mean, Isocrid? I don't know what you could possibly be talking about. Uh, Wraith, that's a very good point. Um, we did actually mouth off to their god. So, yeah. I've actually, I've got that picture saved, which is, um, what is it? Your opinion is neither, uh, is neither wanted nor requested, but it is heard. Caffeine's like, wait, when did we switch the miscreated? Yup. Alright, so I can bow my head, cross your arms over my chest and watch, or thanks but I'll pass. Alright, I'm actually gonna... I'm not gonna be like, ha 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 ha. But I am going to watch quietly, for once. See, it is possible. Deity of life and death, the endless devourer who encompasses all existence. Hear this prayer, this voice... Chiming. But I reserved the right to go ha! at any point during this ritual. Ah, jerky. Jerky good. I beseech you, Kohopa and Tangaloa, to ready this shell for sucking. Purify my soul in preparation for the coming of the next cycle. Dude, what are you talking about? Why can't anyone in this fucking religion be, like, just, not weird, but like five minutes? Yes. You were doing so well, you gross old Mother Hubbard. Digest all of my devotion. No. Nope. Swallow my sorrows. Even the smallest swell, oh. so I can be spit on the morrow. I should not have stuffed my face with jerky. Congratulations, High Priest Kasu. You made death gross. And Rikuhu, Bereth, my god and goddess both. The eels that churn in ceaseless cycle. The new and the next... And... Alright, I can interrupt him with From life to death and life again, blessed be the end! Nodding fervently, he accepts your ending to the invocation. Presses his hands over the centre of his chest, touching them, tucked beneath his shirt, then raising his head, he cracks a frail smile. Alright. I will address your inquiries best as I can. So oh, cool! Ask. Who wants to wake up a dead paladin? 
All right, first things first, we're looking for Yester's tomb. Do you even know what it takes to make it deep into the hanging sepulchers? To make it alive? I mean, do you not see? Uh, do I have to explain myself to every Mother Hubbard in this place? I know the way, but... His words catch in his throat as he curves forward in a spine-racking fit, hacking until he's flush-faced. Fumbling a goatskin flask to his lips, he drinks until minnow silver liquid dribbles over there and slacks of his chin. Better. Oh, this explains why he's so feckin' weird. He's huffing mercury in a bottle. The timing's Christ, getting been tighter. Back. And there is one thing before the end. Something only one touched by Bereth can do. Bereth and I have a history. Bereth and I have a history. I know you do. He tugs the chain in his neck. My eels. My infinity coil keeps rattling. Pendants resonating with your chime. No more of the silver stuff. I don't... Like, all of you, I do not know how to handle a situation that doesn't involve excessive amounts of dragons. The priest presses the palm of his hand to the front of his chest. He stares, scrutinizing your face. He shakes his head, disappointed. The coil resonates, but it's weak. You could unseal the way, but you'd die inside, I think. My chance would be lost then. <laughs> lost with your remains. Stare him down. All right, so our choices are, I will not fail against adversity, I promise you. Two, Kith's, uh, bearing, Kith bearing births chimes are rare. This may be the only chance you get. Stare him down, or I can handle myself. I'm quite tempted with three, because this guy has been gross, weird, and gross again. Like, he needs us. We don't need him. Shiny's saying two. Isocrid's saying three. Isocrid says, do we need to open a door or something? We don't know. Maybe, but we've got a way to break in if we need to. Um, you could unseal the way, but you die inside. Like, yo, what? Isocrid's saying, I don't want to eat him because he literally crawled out of the garbage. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of resounding votes for three right here. Isocrid says, but I won't say no to a scrumptious amount of fire. Right, yeah, three. Let's stare this Mother Hubbard down. As the silence stretches, uh, Katsu sighs wearily. He, weaver he wavers on his feet. He releases his grip on the pendant with a feeble nod. I best not let this chance pass. There's a sacred text. The eulogy to Isaiah. It's been buried in the catacombs beneath the temple for centuries. Next to his champions. Yep. I need it. Of course, the tombs. They only open to the dead. Or those bearing Bereth's chime. Uh, why do you need the eulogy? It never was added to the tomes, but it holds the final clues for my death. It's my best chance. I prayed for decades, night to day and night again. Now, here you are. Stop Just making it weird, dude! Time. Means Bereth sent you to see to my success. All right, all right, let's go have a look. The priest bobs his head from beneath his shirt, untucks a stone carved circlet in the image of an eel. Uh, the pendant vibrates on its length of chain. Gross. Thrumming harder and closer as he holds it to you. D double gross. My best chance. Or only, maybe. Take the coil. It'll open the crypts. Bring me a sayer's eulogy. And I'll teach you all I know of Bereth's Arcana. 
Uh, I'm just going to quickly skip through these other ones. So, this is Attempt to Bareth, who are the other ones? Blah, 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 blah. Impressive altar, blah, 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 blah. Protected by Bareth's best. Roaming. Oh, shush. Tell me about the writing. I'll tell you what I can. Story of the Seer. He's no Juana, nor a death god like neither. But he was a... Blah, 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 kept him alive. Till he could oh, make it yes, it was the buried with a weapon he took. I don't know. The S talk was an affront to Bereth. That I did read. All right, how do I get to the temple? To go outside. Yep. Before me. All death godlikes could All right, just blah, 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 blah. Oh, let's go. All right. All right. I will address your farewell. Good. Oh, I feel gross. Oh, there, what's this? All right, whatever's in there, we are definitely gonna jack that later. Right. He's gross and weird and creepy. He's an old guy. I can't be. I can't wait to be done with this area. You know what I'm saying? The dreamer says a death godlike. I play a death godlike. I have to remember that. Yeah. I'm also so group choice. We can either head in through the main door with the coil we now have, or we can bust out some sick moves and um, we can swing on in on this branch into one of the lower areas. So that's our kind of our choice. Indiana Jones it in, or open it the old-fashioned way. Uh, and Avanche is going to bed. Well, have an excellent sleep. And thank you for coming and chilling with us, yo. Today has been unplanned and entirely impromptu. And you know what? Couldn't be happier, yo. Isocrid says go big or go home. We're just gonna pretend that never happened. Never happened. Right, Indiana Jones are way in. Peer over the precipice. Okay. Rope. And grappling hook. Secure rope and grappling hook to the tree. You try it around the tuck of the tree. A couple of firm tugs confirm that you will stand your weight as you climb down. You've lost the rope and grappling hook. Descend into the tomb's opening. You grab the rope. You grab the rope, planting your feet on the edge of the precipice as you begin your descent. Gusts of wind sway you from side to side, forcing you to tightly grip the rope. It digs into your skin with every move. Complete success! Everyone managed to reach the toe at the the tomb without exertion. Uh, follow the passage in the tomb. You follow the passage to Wind Rage outside, deep into the mountain. You walk steps down, every stride echoing through the cavernous package. Skeletal remains poke out of niches of the wall, lining up in the way until the steps land in the narrow corridor. Oh, okay, so this is this is traditional. You stand before a hallway. Its columns frame dozens of tombs hollowed into the rock. Cubby holes lie in the walls and skeletal remains and lesson has followed. Lesson has followed us from the skeletal tombs? Hello there and thank you kindly for the follow. Um, uh, skeletal remains litter every alcove and spill onto the stone slabs that tile the floor. So, inspect the hallway, cross the hallway, inspect the hallway. You carefully scan the corridor and focus on every detail. Skeletal remains probably dislodged from their cubby holes over centuries. Litter the edges. Uh, some of them are etched or buried. Oh! A faint sparkle catches your eye. Under a pile of bones collapsed inside an alcove, you discern something glittering. It seems to be within easy reach. Retrieve glittering object. You reach inside, digging into a pile of bones and stones. Your fingers touch something cold. Surface is smooth as glass. You grab it, surprised at its weight, and pull it out to reveal a large ruby resting in the sub of your palm. Gained a ruby. Alright, cross the hallway. We stand in a dark, narrow cavern. The path ahead twists into its descent. Continue down the twisting cavern! We continue onward, following the turns in your path with careful but sure stride. As you round the bend, 
A drift of cool air announces the end of the narrow passage. Its exit appears ahead, flanked by half... Uh, interred bodies. You step out into an enormous cavern, its walls and sharp cliffs riddled with tombs, leading to places unknown. Is it a fight? Oh, I quite fancy a fight. That'd be right good, that would. Alright, we're getting down to the... The flavour-filled small pieces of the jerky world. Which is how I describe myself at parties. Woo! I'm just going to quickly save. I realise we haven't done that in fucking days. Alright. Come, pig. Let's continue. Ooh. Somebody wants to fight. You fancy a scrap, you villains? Oh! That's how you break a bone. Am I right? Oh! Some Jason the Argonauts type nonsense going on. Oh! I didn't even know skeletons could explode. Oh! Take that, Bonio! Now, oh, who's Matey Boy here? Well, whoever Matey Boy was, he gone! Alright. No, there's still some more. Let them come to you. Don't chase. Remember, don't chase. Bring them down. Oh! Man, that sword I gave Elder is kicking ass! Oh, who the bloody hell's that? A risen mage. Oh! Feckin' hell. We call that one the Hertz Donut. We good? Alright. Two-handed exceptional rod. Risen wizard scrivoire. <laughs> just a risen wizard in a blizzard. No, what can no. I do you? Uh -huh. No, just... Oh my god. Alright. That's a lot of goodies, one and all. I'll see it done. What have we got? Some exceptional breastplates and swords. A sword, a sword, a lot of bones. Bones and swords, bones and swords, two for pan, two for pan. Do you ever wonder that there might be like a skeleton crisis in some of these fan fantasy worlds? Like, there can only be so many skeletons left undestroyed. Like, I wonder if there's like a viable bone trade in this. I see something. All right, this is your this is your doing, Elder. Matey boy's right good at doing traps, I tell thee. Uh, jumping back into chat. Oh, God. That would have been very bad. Um, <laughs> Caffeine said the uh, preferred method of bone breaking was to play IRL. I know you two are going to spring to life. Symbols of death. Uh, Alright. Alright. We're going to leave these for a second, because as it's clearly seen, this is where we open the door, and then those skeletons spring to life, and then we have to pretend like we haven't been fighting skeletons all bloody day. And I have to be like, oh no, the, the skeletons are attacking, uh, whatever will we do? And then everyone else will be like, oh, skeletons! And then we punch them so hard that bone fragments end up buried in the bloody walls. Oh, we sure did handle those unexpected skeletons. Where's Vera's temple? We should get like a free pass and like a slushy or something. I'm not I'm not trying to make light of the god of death. You know, Beris something I had. It's a risen armsman. See 
Boy, I'm making some friends here today. Oh, Mr. Viking took a hit. Uh -huh. Jody, get back here. Alright, Jody, we need to bust out some spells. Uh, this is what I was saying earlier, is like... Uh, this game is real easy until it's not. You know what I'm saying? Just a little blood. Feck! I'm nearly down. Uh, Jody, what else you got for healing? Uh... Heck. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I already popped my heal, so let's see if that works. There we go. Bloody hell! We just got in over our heads, didn't we? And guess who didn't have a sleepy sleep? Wow, that's not... Fucking hell, that Risen Champion's brutal! We can't eat them because they're not alive, right? Let's try that. Boff! Oh, all right. We're starting to gain some ground here. Come on. Perfect. We've got to bust out some skills. All right. What have you got? Uh, force of anguish. Torment react. I see you down here fighting the risen mage. The risen armsman. Feck. Alder. What have you got? Uh, tactical barrage. Knockdown. Knock down that champion, because he is kicking my ass. Uh, Jody, you got anything? Uh, Pillar of Faith. Nice. And I've got nothing. I can summon some spooky skeletons. And I can't use that to charge me up. Feck. I think we're all right. Yeah. I don't have dragons because we forgot to take a nap before we came in here. Alright. Oh. Feckin' Jody's taking a punishing! God darn it! Oh, have you got anything left in the tank, Jody? Heal your heal yourself. You blind the champion, and it seems like I'm just fighting this bloke over here, I'm not doing as good a job as I should be. All right, what have you got in the tank, Seraph? Uh, oh, I know. If you bind, wait, no, I want you to mess up everybody. Give that a shot and see if it helps. And Jody's down. Feck. Alright, that's one. Alright, now let's get that feckin' champion down. Yes? Feckin' hell. I'm sorry, I'll be back with you all for, for conversational awesomeness in just a second. But we are getting wrecked here. Let's try a soul strike on the champion. That might work. What have you got? Uh, it's bugger all, apparently. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Oh, and our little kung fu, uh, kung fu drunkards down there. So, give yourself a heal. Oh, man, I am fucking useless. No corpses means no powers. Alright, the gang's all here. Mess him up! There we go! Oh, bloody hell! That's the thing with this game, is either you ruffle stomp your opponents into next week, or stuff goes sideways. 
Oh, that got a little. That got a mite dangerous, my friends. Exceptional scale. Exceptional great two-handed sword. Exceptional armor leather. Exceptional one star. Any more for any more? Some more wizarding stuff. As you wish. What is Ooh. it? Uh, we might have to make camp inside a spooky ass oh, Beckett. Whoa! Would you look at that? Beck. You know that thing where I was just saying, where I was like, no, we're probably going to have to make camp inside her. Alright. Should be able to handle it if they're coming at us one by one. Alright, that's one. And then in any luck, we can zerg wave the other one around the corner. Oh. Right, so maybe a good idea to have. No maybe a good time to save. Not a bad shout. Never you mind that miss. I'll land the next one. Even the pig's getting stuck in. Leave it. Alright. So, it's not necessarily the healthiest place to, to take a night off. But, we're going to lay camp. And we're going to let everybody heal up. Uh, have we got any of that porridge left? I don't think we do. What can I give? Because we've still got loads of silverfin for the wizards. Got a nice bottle of rum there. What an account of it being real good rum. Uh... Alright, and some fresh fruit for you. Sorry. But them's the bakes, my friends. Them's the breaks. Oh, so we have a little campfire, and what will allow this what this will allow us to do is recharge our dailies and then continue ever onward. Which should be pretty good. Oh, bear with me all just a second. Uh bear with me just a second. Right. I do apologize one and all. I do apologize. Alright. Shall we continue? I think we shall. Let's see what Jody's got to say. Uh, adrift in dreams, Jody lies curled on the side, sweating and muscles quivering. She whimpers. Uh, should we wake her up or let her sleep? What do you reckon? I I would be inclined to wake her. At least give her a little respite from... <laughs> Caffeine's just like, save you numpty! I'm gonna! Good! I'm going to wake her up. Jodie groans, slow to rouse, and at first she curls tighter in on herself. But then as the tension eases from her muscles, she sits. Confused, her eyes study your face. I reckon that's the first time I ever bore witness to my own demise. It was not pretty. Oh dear lord. Never woke with such a driving need for reaping before. It's making my hands shake. Um... Maybe the desire would ebb if you killed someone close to us. Jesus Christ! Uh, didn't the cleansing work? It did for a while, but then it wore off. All this essence I've gathered, it soaked the blessing right up. Left me with hardly none. Ah, you're losing your light into the darkness. Rekindle it by helping the living. It was just a dream. And like, yo, maybe the desire would ebb if you killed someone close to us. Yo! What? Alright. Rekindle it by helping the living. She sucks in a deep breath. You sound like my high priestess Samhain. She never shuts up about the living, when she ought to worry more about the dead. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a philosophical question. Seems the more souls I gather, the better I see Gon's will. 
And the less I get a wink of sleep. Your nightmares are so your nightmares are getting worse. Night or day, sleep or waking. It's getting harder to tell what's real from what's just yet to come. In all fairness, we are filled in a spooky temple full of crazy skeletons, so you know that I does that's understandable. There is something I'm meant to do though, once I gather enough souls. Us Gaunites, we're supposed to shepherd lost souls, not just gather them. The harvesting's only the first part. Wait, 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 what? If I were to dump the souls, it might make me dream less, like before. Or, darn it, who knows. Now, as I said, I don't know this storyline. I don't know what happens. I don't know what the right choice is. So this is kind of fascinating. Maybe it'd just make it all worse. Either way, I've got to find my purpose. She turns her face away, bottom lip trembling. Slowly, her fingers reach for the hem of your shirt. Will you help me, Watcher? Yes. Um, yeah. I was hoping you might would. Sometimes I feel like, with you by my side, I can stand against gods. I mean, and we're going to. Just, I just want to let you know that's the fighting against god thing is a very severe possibility. Uh, we'll find an Audra vein and release your burden. It's the best way to ensure the souls reach the beyond. The more souls you gather, the more strongly you'll see your god's will. Keeping them would make you a better priestess. All right. What do you reckon? Uh, dump him or uh, double down? Try and get her like a uh, an inordinate collection of the dead. I do wonder. I do wonder, one and all. I do wonder. Hmm. Was there an additional round of hmm? Uh. I mean, the dream is pointing out that, yeah, a huge collection seems... Uh, the huge collection seems like a huge problem. A uh, Wraith said, well, that escalated. Yeah, she went from dream of her own demise to some... I mean, it's not... It's not flirting. There is some genuine romantic intent there. Keeping the souls might keep them safe from Aethus, though. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, from I Caught Fire once, sorry. Um, that is an excellent point. Hmm... Decisions, decisions. Alpha Dungeon 4. Were any of those souls rich people? We could try and revive them, and then I wouldn't be hungry anymore. <laughs> oh. Necromancy for us is a reheated snack. Right. What is. What do we say at the longship? We look after our own. We'll find Nord Jane, release your burden. If the souls end up getting chomped on by matey boy McChisel buttocks, then so be it. But we look after our own. It'll need to be a potent source to overpower the draw of my lantern. It's gotta be luminous for sure. She nods, clearly devising a plan of action. That's one problem solved. But what about the itty bitty issue regarding the god of rebirth not actually being in hell? The souls will make it safely, but who's to see to their proper reseeding? That's an over there problem. This is a huge risk of Aeora's balance. You really trust Malgrin not to rebirth Aethasians as warriors of the flame? Think Gollowain won't be greedy? Hey, Metal Swan, thank you kindly for the follow. Welcome! We're continuing to smash our way through uh, Pillars of Eternity 2 and having a ruddy good time of it. Gone aside, the gods' past actions don't instill me with the greatest confidence. <laughs> Uh, so what else would you propose? Normally, I'd simply safe keep them until the god of rebirth could return to hell. But... I, you're right. I ought to deliver as many souls to hell as I can. Before it's too late. Dun dun dun! We need to empty my lantern right away. Is that a euphemism? Gods, but you're clever. This is why Gon directed me into your path. I just know it. Yes. The god of death... Took busy it took time out of its busy day to play matchmaker. Oh, sorry, bear with me all just a second. 
things blinking at me in the background. I do apologise. I do apologise. Uh, Raid says, uh, sounds like we're hoarding souls till we've sorted the gods out. Yeah, kinda. Also, I'm saving. Look, this is me doing a save. Wraith says this entire conversation is a euphemism. Probably. Alright, so first things first. Let's get that trap disarmed. And let's check out this torch. Get all the thing I get, Woo! Find some secret goodies! Oh, the Azure Blade Stiletto One-Handed. Oh, we know he's getting that. Are we grave robbing? It kind of feels like we're grave robbing. Hang on, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> and Wraith with Secret Tunnel! Secret Tunnel! Uh, Scotty Doggy! Whoa, friend! Welcome! I was just singing secret, 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 tunnel! <clears throat> or, you know, something along those lines. The Azure Blade and the Puke Stabber. Two legendary weapons of repute. God bless her. God bless her drunken self. Right. So what is this place? Right. Uh, a robed figure holding a lantern features prominently among the etchings on this sarcophagus. Let's have a look inside. Uh, male armor, eulogy of Yessa, the vigil, and Ardra. All right, let's just have a quick read of this. Eulogy for the dead. Something really boring. Leave it to me. All right, so I guess this was Yesla's tomb. So let's have a look around because there's plenty to be found down here. Uh, and on the plus side, we can now summon dragons, so yo! Ahoy! Ready to brawl. Ready to brawl indeed. Alright. <coughs> oh! Wow. Bit of food and a nap, and everyone's fucking kicking ass again. I wish you lot had been doing this against the champion, but there we go. Oh. Exceptional gear. Right, let's have a look. Uh, grenade. And some copper. If you want to be a grave robber, you got to steal everything that's not nailed down. No offence, Miss Croft, but uh, tomb raiding... Uh, it's more it's more art than science, really. Keep your weather eye open. Just struck me, we still don't have a spyglass. Ooh. Hi everybody. Oh, slow and low, slow and low. Skeleton. This is skeleton. Right, I'm keeping what's in there. Well done. Uh, fancy shield. Nice. Uh, according to uh, the advice of Tenwin, the best thing that we can do is once we've cleared out Nekataka of quests and adventures. Ahoy! Ahoy! Boy, look at that. Ahoy indeed. What have, you had? have you all noticed our little drunkard is really, really good at finding hidden switches? It's a very particular talent you've got there. Ha! Right, so what's in here? Uh, exceptional mace. Uh, gauntlets of discipline. Not a lot else. I mean, it's not the worst thing we've seen. It's not the worst thing I've found, Master Bruce. Hmm. Right, so that's, that would have been the entry in. So this is where the game would have dropped us. I 
can of finding old folk. Alright, so let's go around to that creepy looking, like, hippodrome doom tower thing. What's that? Right, let's go chat with some skeletons. And don't feck with me, lady! I have to drink with skeletons. Oh yeah, Scotty Doggy, right you are. The sky glass was um, 5k, and we passed on it. So Scotty, to catch you up to where we are, we finally got both conch shells. The thing we were trying to do when you joined in before. We opened the door, and we found a secret area. But so far, nothing majorly beyond that. We lost both the shells. Uh, now we're going through, you know, temples of dead gods and all that like. Alright, inspect the skeleton. In skeletons. Chest is bowed from pride. Above the skull. Uh, Danny Tramp at a great gate. Okay. So that's skeleton number one. What's behind? Skeleton number two! Okay, inspect the skeleton. Uh, okay. Above the skull, it wrote... Wall depicts a woman kneeling, raising a lantern. Call out the name, Lady of Vigils. Your voice clangs through the caverns. It echoes again and again, and the air around you grows heavy. Uh, Fadewin, a toll, a death kneel. Fadewin, Lady of the Vigils. A dark essence plumes up, uh, coalescing the air. Then it curls, sifting slowly into the skeleton's mouth. <laughs> A skeleton eating darkness. Oh! Empty eye sockets are light with flames. The skeleton is now a prog rock cover. It's soul. Damn it, we don't know the other word. Feck. Alright, we must have missed something, everybody. Must have missed something. Damn it! Uh, I got Vaughan saying, so you mentioned grave robbing, but that's an incredibly common trope in RPGs where you are actually expected to loot every single thing that's nailed down. And it bugs me because it's very immersion breaking the type of game which is supposed to be about role playing. Good point. Um, if I wanted to role play, I probably didn't want to vacuum up a constant loot from deceased people's homes. Defenseless people's homes. I find the grave robbing being, um, I find the nonchalantness towards grave robbing to be very odd. Uh, Wraith said, is the answer in there or do we need to find it somewhere else? I don't know, Wraith. That's the thing. Uh, all I can tell you all for sure is that we need to find another verse to speak. To open up whatever that uh, tomb is. And I was pretty sure we picked all of this area clean. And it's also worth noting that um, the little uh, tab button lets me know uh, if anything's nearby. So if there was an item we'd missed, it highlights in blue. It's grey is something that we found and already looked at. Like for good or ill, it's something we've already chosen. Yeah, we came through here. Do all of this. Uh... Oh, here we go. Well, of course. Oh. Keep your web open. Ah. Oh. I mean, a couple of poisons aren't exactly a bad thing, but there we go. I mean, here's the other tomb. We didn't find anything. Or, unless we had to read it. So there's the eulogy. Hmm. With an additional round of hmm! Alright, let's return up to the sacred altar. Maybe creepy old guy's got the other bit of the thing we can read. So we just need to know the name of the skeleton or something along those lines, which will summon forth!
Huh. I worry about you, Adair. There'd be a finger free out here that you shouldn't be aiming at pet. Hey, it was dark. I only saw the back of your head. I thought you were some huge island squirrel. <laughs> this ain't about me, farmer. I mean, beta positive, you couldn't have quoted that at a better time. Like, yo. And Wraith's saying, I need to give Pillars 1 a proper go. Started it, but never got past the opening. I think it's entirely worth it. And much like how Mass Effect 1's combat is entirely unplayable, but it's worth it to carry through that game into Mass Effect 2. I'd say this is about the same. I, at least in my humble opinion. Alright. Uh. Uh, Coming along well, it yeah. never went yet, but I will. You mentioned something about I the undead. Dead. Not everyone's born so blessed. End of the turn. But first, I've got a leap for you. I'll happily listen. Speak a bit. I'll tell you what I can. All right. I will address your in liturgies. All of this, it's... Okay, but I found the thing that you wanted me to bring you. Coming along well, is it? I never went yet, but I will. I've literally just got the thing that you asked me to get you! Alright, I've got an idea. What for, Cap? Done and done. More than my eyes be open. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, I don't think this is going to work, but... Oh! And Flo's saying, well, I have to go. Uh, almost midnight here, so good night, everybody. Um... Flo, I might have to, I might have to tap out in about. I think I maybe got like another half hour in me. This is, my hand's starting to hurt a wee bit. I'm right sorry. Bye. Damn it. Coming along well, is it? It can be. I never went yet, but I will after I die. Farewell? Well, look, we did the thing. Where's the. There we go. So, Eulogy for the Dead. Uh, search the hanging spelters for Ulysses' eulogy. Uh, I found a way inside. The eulogy was split into odes written by Ulysses' champions placed next to their tombs. Finding those tombs would be the first step. I read. Part, champion Fade Wind Lady of Vigils. I require the part of the eulogy, a section referred to as the Vigil. Ah! Couldn't just let me have this, could you? Couldn't just let me have this. That's something is happening. Note to self: punch a priest in the gob. Oh, and as Clank saying, save. Jeremy here, Spokio! Spokio! Yeah. Oh. Although the thing is, as soon as I tap out one and all, I'm going to thoroughly regret not being able to hang with you lot. So I could have some painkillers now, and that would mean... Oh no, I wouldn't be able to have any for feckin' ages. I should really save those when I desperately need them. I don't desperately need painkillers right now. Uh, what is the Spire of the Soul Seers? You know what I'm going to do? After this one, I'm going to bust into a place, murder a... steal all the rich dude's stuff, and just go on a spree. The dreamer says you get lonely. No, you know what I mean. Like, I get to hang out with you lot and chat with you lot. It's not the same as... You know, playing a game solo is not... It's not the same, you know? I'll see it. Also, all of your shit. This writing is a mess. I mean, amateurs. Uh, I guess we're going up to the roof. Oh, 
Uh, Beta Positive says, you, uh, if you need painkillers later, then the only difference between taking them now and taking them then is feeling the pain first. Well, it's more a case of, like, I can grin and bear it now. I'm, I like to think I'm pretty hardy. Um, oh, okay. So we might be able to use this to, to clear out Jody's stuff. Oh, and that's not even stealing. Nice. So you uh, come up here often? Shut up, NPC. All right, let's talk to these named characters. From unkempt hair and agitated pacing, Flatoon Alette gives you off an air of restrained chaos. She waves you over for a few quick motions. You're early. I'm sorry, but we aren't ready to look into your condition yet. You can have a seat over there. Hope you don't mind heights or birds. She narrows her eyes at you. You aren't one of our patients. Ah, Madiko, you, you that watcher. Sentere, I'm sorry. It's been a busy time here. Better apologize. You don't mind yeah, if I Braith, talk and word to you. Uh, rude what much? Do for you? Uh, you work Not here? Not the coziest place for it, is it? But the open air, the lightning specifically, is a boon. Let's our mages have a rest now and then. All right. Good test of the equipment too. We're working on making it less delicate. Our junior researchers are still a little soft. Oh, so the notes that we stole from the governor back in the day? Let's pass them over. Let's see if we can make some good. Ecosi, are these other races? I never thought I'd get even a glimpse of his work. Let's see what you can do with them. Fascinating. Inaccurate, but fascinating. Ha! <laughs> you do not mind if I hold on to this? Of course not. Here, take this. Oh, we just made back all the cash we spent uh, looking at all those naked people in the baths. Good work, team. Job's a kid. What is it? Uh, so let's just quickly find out. Come to watch us work? It's uh, not as exciting so what are you glad working you on? Ask, Amico. Very glad. We've catalogued a number of interesting properties unique to Luminous Adra. But there are qualities that a watcher happens to be uniquely suited to exploring. You're just what we're missing. No, I'm happy to Do help however I can. What a relief. Luminous Adra has special effects upon Keith. But what about those who have already harnessed their own essence? Luminous Adra holds enormous quantities. Oh Christ in a bin bag, we get it. This connection and your natural abilities to transport a person across great distances in a moment. The theory is sound. I've used Adra to track someone before. Oh, good. All We've right. collected a number of illuminating readings and oh, our machines are ready Christ to harness the Adra's essence. Now, if someone were capable of sensing that essence in the in-between, even of manipulating it, someone like a Watcher, ah. for instance. What do I have to do? Ah, well, this is a little like describing a muscle I don't have. The idea is for you to focus on the next connection point. Alright, so we can really use these as teleportation points. In board, so you'll be thinking have ultra pillars inside of them. The next pillar is due east of here, in the middle of a farm. It's not as tall as this one, but you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. Alright, I have something to oh, take care of first. and we'll get everything ready for... Show... Don't... Alright. Mela. Burned. Alright, and who's this? Well, Bloody hell. So, TLDR, they want to work out a way to use the Ardra Pillars as a teleporter. That's cool, but boy was that a lot of words to tell me that. Whew! I'm gonna need another cup of tea very so very, very soon, my friends. Um <clears throat> the woman uh spins onto you, blinking rapidly beneath a pair of uh brim rimmed spectacles. Her bright carmine eyes and paper white skin mark her as one of the glam felon. Hello, my apologies. I didn't see you there. Hey, right, you're right. I am fine. Is there some reason I shouldn't be? Yo, I eat people. Which is not to say I do not appreciate your concern. I do. Good recovery. Uh, she settles her spectacles on her nose. She does, as she does so, you notice her hands are shaking. Ooh. I. Oh, feck! You burned yourself. You're bleeding. Indeed. I apologize if you find the sight of blood unsettling. Though, from your appearance, I would expect you to be well acquainted with it. Oh, that's rude. In any case, why are you here?
Uh, oh, I can attack her outright. Your accent isn't Valian. Why are you dressed like one? Just a bit of culture I've picked up along the way. Her clothing is spotless and well tailored in old Valian style. I admire their tailoring tradition immensely. It's much grander than clothing one finds in the white that wends. Hmm. It's marvelous. Who's your tailor? I am, of course. You're an anamancer and a seamstress. A curious mind is an agile mind. Besides, the two practices are more alike than one might think. I find that hard Both to believe. Both deal in the details in the warp and the weft. A delicate hand is required if one is to bend either to one's will. Heh. <laughs> That's funny because I'm Will. Right, how'd you get to Nekitaka? It is a mundane story. I sought out the ship with the longest overseas route departing from the Republics and both paths. Hey, Gil, welcome back! Um, so the adventure, uh, we opened up the... We opened up the door that we've been working towards for, I guess, most of the week. Wasn't a lot behind it. Some good treasure, but nothing life-shattering. Uh, now we're trying to help Jody out with some crazy-ass, like, end-of-the-world hell visions she's having. Uh, and then we were going to break into a wizard's house and kill something. How are you? Oh, and we stole a bunch of shit from rich people. I had intended to perform a handful of experiments regarding the nature of souls that could only be done safely at sea. What kind of experiments can I be performed at a boat? The sensitive kind. She brushes your question aside with a wave of her hand. My experiments were successful, and the ship eventually reached its destination. The rest is inconsequential. Alright, I'm just going to say, stop dancing around my questions, tell me what's going on before I attack you here and now. If... If you insist. She takes a step back at your sudden request and clears her throat. With the aid of a device of copper and Audra, I have uncoupled my soul from my body, freeing myself of Barris' wheel. I belong only to myself now. Whew. Uh, well, I commend your dedication to your craft. As a ginger, I can, I can absolutely understand this. You do? She shakes her head. Brows drawn. Perhaps you would be amenable to me traveling with you. On something of a permanent basis? She cringes. Uh, why do you want to travel with me? I have a vested interest in Luminous Audra. But acquiring it here can be expensive. You have a ship of your own and are clearly well-traveled. I suspect I would encounter more Luminous Audra with you than I would on the streets of Nekataka. Um, so, here are our choices. Uh, so, Gil's saying we should bring Cringe Lady. Raid's added, uh, I think the fact that we have the option to attack is telling in itself. Uh, I think they're trying to... I think they were trying to bait us into attacking an NPC who could join us. Uh, Gil's saying, uh, breaking into a wizard's house, robbing him blind and murdering him in his sleep was literally 80% of the last D&D's character's adventure. Um, Gil's saying, bring the Cringe Lady. I'm... I want to... I'm not sure of her. So I'm saying, I agree with you all, we should bring her along, but I'm going to be like, I will kill you if uh, if you give me cause to mistrust you, just so we're clear. Her carmine eyes narrow slightly above the rims of her spectacles. Is that so? Then I will endeavor to avoid your ire. Ha! <laughs> Whoa, you sure about that? Thaklaut, traveler. I am grateful. She clasps your hand in hers and pumps it quickly and releases. Uh, after a quick pat down of her various pockets sewn into her coat, Yardwin nods sharply and rests a hand on the hilt of her rapier. I have all that I need. You may depart at your leisure. Her lips curl into a coy smile and she says no more. Whoa! We got a vampire! So we can have a cipher, a rogue, or a mind stalker. Cypher rogue. Now we don't have an out and out rogue yet, and I think that would be kind of cool. We've got a cipher. Ah! Beck and bag. Somehow I had a feeling that Mindstalker was going to be a very popular name. Gilbot says, what's in the bag? Jerky. Beef bloody jerky. I think I've got some of my eyebrow. I caught fire once saying It's not as cool as a cyber mind stalker though 
Why why must you be like this? What have I what have I done to deserve? Well, I am nothing if not the will of the people. Mindstalker it is. Hmm. So, we could swap her out with Merc, because Merkel's awesome, but Merkel's also, um, whatchamacallit, uh, whoa, feckin' feck, oh god, they're filling my cast with worms, to the gates, to the walls, shield wall, front and center, we are under a worm-based assault, oh god, oh god, my cast is filled with tiny worms, ha, how would you do this? Yes! I caught fire! Use a line of salt! Worms, slugs, and the elderly can't hold up to it! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and individuals of all persuasions from the Go Pirate software stream, welcome! What ho, you lovely folks. Come on in! Take a seat! As soon as the worm assault has, has finished. Oh god! Oh God! <laughs> filling your cast with worms. I'm filling your cast with worms. That's gross. Ah! Why? But but why? Why do you do this? Well, once the the master raider stopped, and to uh, uh, Canahorn, to Steets, and in a few moments to uh, to Roddy Dev. Thank you all kindly for the follows as well. Those are sincerely appreciated. So, welcome one and all, you lovely folks. If we have not met before, that is my place to make your acquaintance. I am Will. I am the uh, human megaphone and flag waver of the of the longship. Uh, we are proud members of the Go Pirate Software fleet, uh, and I think we're one of the only other um, channels that has their own boat as well. Um. It's lovely to make your acquaintance. Uh, usually, I would tell you that uh, we have a penchant here for streaming interesting and indie games, usually um, with an artistic intent, with a discussion of both, uh, you know, video games as an artistic medium, as well as the realities of making video games. Sometimes we do deep dives onto more mainstream games. We try and pick out elements about them that are brilliant or uh, under-realized or undiscovered. Only I broke my bloody hand about a week and a bit ago. Oh god, it's coming up on two weeks ago. Um, and since I got this cast on, I have not been able to play a heckin' heckin' thing. So, I've been playing Pillars of Eternity 2, one-handed, and we've been going through the story. Our overall goal is to murder and eat the rich, and generally progress the story. Um, so yeah, those of you that come on by, and also to, to James S... To, yeah, James JP... James JPK, thank you kindly for the follow as well. So, now the next thing is, um, so to Thor and everybody, one, how's it been going with you? What's What's been going down on your stream, yo? Um, and I guess from my lot, if you don't know, uh, Go Pirate Software is the channel of, um, well, the development studio, uh, who is currently making a game called Heartbound, which is... We played the demo and it's phenomenal. When that drops, yo, we are all gonna be we are gonna be over that. Just so good. Um, Thor's also been a really big supporter of us here, and we've been part of his. Uh, what's the term? Is it stream team? I forget. But uh, we are proudly part of the Go Pirate Software fleet. So yeah. Oh, and to MC Catmaster, sick on the mic. But sick from a hairball, not sick from a... You know what I mean. <laughs> um, to Thunder, and to... Uh, I want to say Tau... Uh, to Tau Kadu? Tau Kadu. Again, thank you all for the follows, yo. Uh, so... Thor showed up with like 8 million people, and there's a lot of people in chat now. <coughs> uh, and uh, now have a, uh, a naturally occurring kit. Uh, Go Pirate says, uh, I want to sub to you. Fix us immediately. I'm trying. Make the government go faster. That's a good trick. <laughs> Make government go faster. It sounds like a great name for a, a punk band. Um, so, yeah, welcome one and all. 
And Great Odo says, I second this! Subs must be in hand! I'm, t I'm going as fast as I bloody can! But anyway, to all of you that have come on over, hello and welcome. It is lovely to make your acquaintance. You are more than welcome to come chill and ill with us. We are a little bit through Nekataka, but uh, we are just about to go to a very rich wizard's house and rob him hecking blind sideways. Um, we're just visiting this little Audra pillar so we can make sure our friendo um, has the chance to... Maybe we're going to device so I can reach out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go, I'm back. Um, we are looking at helping out one of our team with their soul problem. They have too many souls. We're going to sort that. So, yeah. Go Pirate says, Government and fast are mutually exclusive words. They bloody are, aren't they? Um, and uh, Shellfly, just the last one being like, Psst, your cast is full of worms. But I'll say again, it's lovely to see you all. Uh, I don't usually stream on a Sunday. This is a, this is a rare occurrence. Um, but because I'm going to have to miss a few days later next week, and there wasn't a lot to be doing today. Uh, yeah, we, I got set up here. Um, and I suppose I should uh, introduce you all properly now. To uh, This is Ket. Um, Ket has been letting me use uh, a chunk of his house uh, for broadcasting during the day. We've made this little, like, broadcast set up here. It's kind of cool. Mm. It's kind of cool. And um, back when you were, like, working part-time, we were kind of like a day shift, night shift thing going on. So Ket would stream late into the evening and I'd stream during the day. But, you know, now you're all working a full-time job, doing video games and stuff. So, yes. Um, right. So jumping back in, uh, Go Pirate is saying to Beta that, no, 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 they get faster if people don't pay them. <laughs> you ever seen what happens when people don't pay? Things move real quick. Yeah. I mean, you say that, but you haven't paid yet. Yeah. You're trying real hard, but I'm you working. haven't paid yet. I'm working on this. <laughs> to chicken, that's very depressing. <laughs> Saying, this worm, he died. He died today. I mean, we did fight a gigantic worm as a boss fight earlier on in the stream, but... Did that... you eat it? No! Why does everyone think I'm going to eat the worm? We eat the rich. Worms like poor dragons. Oh, oh no, no. Dragons. Not, not worm as in, like, you know, oh, was it actually majestic a... creature of the sky. I mean, like, you know, you know... Like dune, like mm. tentacly predator faced dune worm. Like, it's probably really good eating because they've got like no bones, all meat. Yeah, but it would be all like. Would it? After you cook it? Oh, actually, we did set it on fire, so it would have been partially cooked. It's just something about flame breath. So, um, <laughs> so greetings, one and all. Um, but yeah, so Thor, uh, what were you getting stuck in today? Because I saw you doing some level design stuff the other day. So I think we dismiss. Me when you get thirsty. Yeah. Um, because Murky, while awesome, isn't a conversationalist character. So we've got a mind hunter vampire now. I mean, she's not officially a vampire, but dude, look at look at that face. Yeah. That's a vampire. Um, Rhymes and Moose is asking, was it an earthworm named Jim? And <laughs> Caffeine with Baron remembers. Why? Caffeine, why would you remind me of this? Why? Still sorry. I played that demo like at the beginning of the year and I'm still sorry. Uh, oh, but we'll, we'll get Drunk Stabber back. But it's nice having a character for some... Available for hire. Alright. So you said you can go rob a wizard blind. Is this the wizard that gave you some issues last time? If by issues <laughs> you mean killed me so hard it deleted my save game, then yes. Okay, just making clear. So there's going to be a fresh hot load of vengeance. Alright, first thing first. You aren't wearing a cape. This needs to change. What? We, we have a very clear dress code. Better. So this is obviously not the Incredibles universe. <laughs> Nuckips. Uh, amulet of a little bit more health. Oh, although the Cypher Shackles is a pretty good idea. What does that do? Uh, it's a good move for Cyphers. Plus one to Constitution. Resistance to Dexterity effects. Um, is that like being drunk? Oh, it has some drunk-like qualities. 
Uh, I mean, the Gowl of the Piercing Gaze is cool, but it looks crazy hideous. Uh, Ring of Regen. Minor Fortitude. Uh, max Discipline. We know who needs... I oh, know you've already got hands. Uh, you can have that, Jody. Bit, bit of discipline never hurt no one. Oh, gauntlets. Gauntlets of discipline not usable by a priest. Fine. Uh, so jumping back into chat. Um, oh, G-Man's here. What, ho, friend? Lovely to have you back. Lovely to have you back. Meow, can you secure us asking how goes the rich eating? Well, for that regard, you're just in time. Because we are just about to descend upon a very rich home for good eats. Which is coming back on cable. <laughs> that is not a reference I was expecting. All the bound, he's coming back. He's going to come back. He never left. Or oh, cloak of protection, fortitude, reflex, and will. What am I wearing? I'm wearing better. better. Deflection. You give it to Jody. She just has like a man of vanilla cake. Yeah. And she gets, she gets wailed on quite a lot. Can you do transmog in this game? Uh, if you can, I've not come across it. So that's something for later. So how do you do for food, personally, in real life? Um, I'm all right. Like I've been, there's a there's a bit of jerky left. I see. So I've been snacking. Um, more than anything, I need um, uh, water and tea in equal measure. But I, as we have our lovely guest, I will, I'm going to go uh, sort that out in a little bit. Um, and oh, caffeine! Thank you for proccing all of the uh, the Discord and all of the varying social medias. Those are handsy. Oh, Rhymes Moose says she needs the fanciest hat that you have. Oh, I almost missed that. Uh, crap! I might be out of fancy hats. I have very plain hats. I do have plain hats, but that doesn't help us. No, it doesn't. I mean, I've got this hideous, like, cowl of, like, uh, I, that, that's too on the nose as a vampire, you know? That's like, you know, naming your kid Alucard. What about this one? Nope, that's worse. <laughs> Much worse. Oh boy, that's worse. Um, Any kid that doesn't have voodoo dolls in their kit does not have to wear a mask. I've had a hood. Is that okay? Hood better or worse? I don't think it's. Uh, at least that one matches, but I'm I'm not sold. Okay, so we'll hold fire because, like, usually you know we try and get a, a fancy tricorn. I can't wear one because you know, yeah. flaming hair. So we go for that. Dreamer's saying it's not bad. Wraith says the hood works. So Wraith's been steering us pretty good in terms of like fashion styles. I tell you what, let's give the hood a run, and if okay. we don't like it, we can always take it off. It's it's not like it does anything stat wise, okay. whereas the two creepy ass haunting masks uh, had like stat abilities and stuff. So, all right. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking through weapons because I think I've got a better rapier in here somewhere. And you can around a lot of stuff. Yeah, gotta love games that don't have a limit, have an unlimited inventory. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because our overall goal is to kind of tool everyone up to the nines, uh, and then once uh, once we've cleared all the nonsense around here, oh, and the da chicken, your chickens, your da. Uh, thank you kindly for the follow, yo. Um, so jumping back in. Uh, Ray says, literally the first character who's looked like uh, I've talked about. Yeah, I meant, Ray, I meant in terms of, like, how we've been uh, approaching other stuff. Uh, we don't have a decent rapier. We've got some old ones, but... Yeah. But we'll keep an eye out. I try and... I, this is a thing that I do. I guess it's like a Saturday morning cartoon overhang, but having it so that each character kind of has their iconic weapon... Like, uh, Matey Boy here, uh, Seraphim's got a hand mortar. Uh, Jody's got her sickle. Now, now they both came with those. But then, um, this dude, he's a swashbuckler. So, of course, he's got to have a proper saber. Okay. So, he's got a fancy saber and green legendary. Uh, and at the moment, I've got a gladius and an axe. Okay. I've also got a two-handed axe on my back, but that's in the story. So, you're dual wielding right now? Uh, yes. 
Though I can't even use the two-handed axe very well. I'm just holding it as a as a point of pride. Uh, Odo's saying, all right, I hate to tap out here, but I've got to sleep. Whatever sleep is. Good night, all. Good night, Odo. It's been lovely having you with, yo. Uh, right. <laughs> Wraith says, I don't know why, but that the chickens you da comment had me laughing hysterically. I think, Wraith, because only someone who's been exposed to large amounts of the Glaswegian accent will find that funny. Your da's a chicken! Your da's a chicken, Ray! I'll take care of it. Alright. So, now we've got a squad with a vampire. Right. Now we've got to get Jody... Hang on, I'm going to save it in case I stuff everything up. So, the lass here wants us to try teleporting using this. Now, I'm not going to do that because we've got rich people to murder, but we can do it later. The uh, research that we've got in the first island that the governor wanted, what we did is instead of giving it to the governor, we gave it to this researcher. I also killed and ate the governor. <coughs> just want to say, just want to say. Who's that? Yeah. Did you know the part the shells before? Yes. Wasn't that impressive, I'm afraid. Oh. But I mean, we got you know, that great big um, uh, glowing green shield. Mm. That came from there. Uh, and the pirate that tasked us with finding those, he doesn't know that both of them are gone now. Because we put them into the wall, and then the wall sank. Whoops. And now the wall is done. So... Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> we got a sweet shield. Yeah. Got a sweet shield. So I'm waiting for that pirate to kind of come tapping us on the shoulder. But that's a problem for future Will. Leave this it luminous to Audra ought to be able to take my souls, Watcher. What do you say? All right, let's give it a try. There's no way this can go out badly. All right, so we're going to try letting... So Jody's going to try releasing the soul she has in her lantern into the Luminous Audra, which should let them pass into the the beyond. Or if it doesn't, then what the heck. We have a rule here, one and all, which is we look after our own. Yes, the souls might be thrown into an unknown void or consumed by varying creatures, but, like, Jody's at that, like... I think if we leave them with Jody for much longer, she's going to go like full Cronenberg. So we gotta we gotta save some people right now. I, I caught fire once. Says you did not eat the governor there. I saw it. No, okay, okay. I caught fire once. I'm not one to start an argument on stream, right? But we took him in a doggy bag and we had him later. Sometimes even I can't finish my meals. I'm just a man. All right, all right. It's no need. Like I don't mean to get up in your face about it. <laughs> Even cannibals have to have space in their stomachs. And yeah, uh, Wraith was saying, pig, 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 step away from the gigantic pillar of soul, de soul energy. Our pig's been amazing this whole game. We've got so many pets, but the pig continues to have the best comedic timing. You're ready to witness the feet of Sorry? a lifetime, Watcher. I'm about to no, do they, God's they give you additional good work stuff. Oh. to single-handedly shepherd a multitude of souls straight into the depths of hell. All right. Hands on his hips, Sarah from Grins. Jody's going to do it. She's going to bust it out. So, oh, and Jay Post asking, can we make the pig into a new god? What is a god to a god eater? All right, here we go. She rubs her hands together and drums her palms against her hips. Oh, drubs her palms against a hip. I don't know what a drub is. Uh, snatches up her land and eager. Ready. She wriggles her shoulders and pops her neck. Stance uh, s uh, subtly widening. Alright. Be careful, please. I Don't make me feel like the grown-up in this. Um, oh, flushing prettily, she glances over her shoulder just long enough to blow you a soppy, wet-looking kiss. As long as you're watching my back, I'll be fine. Oh, she's going to have a bad time. She's been way too kind and nice to us. Oh, this is bad. As she exhales those last words, she presses one palm flat to the cooled expanse of the gem-like growth, fingers trembling, and like a firework going off, the light from her lantern flare is blindingly bright. Magic missile! Oh, shite. Electricity, no. Hypercharged soul energy whips across the air, lashing at Jody's skin, travelling the pathway uh, of a thousand branching veins and capillaries. The strike bursts uh, Jody bloody from face to neck to arms to lower. She screams, 
her voice a secondary crack across the sky. Um, she needed either to get them out or... Yeah, let's ditch the souls because she's already injured. She might as well, like, clean house and then we can get a healer back in our... Release the souls! The words rattle from between clenched teeth, uh, ripped from her convulsing body, but she doesn't let go of the order that's searing her palm. The lamp and the lamp trend blah, blah, blah. The lantern trembles so violently it nearly cracks, but then a massive wave of purple essence rushes from the lantern. It swirls up around the order, crashing along the glimmering surface before being sucked inside. Whew! The Ardra pulses brighter, then darker, then even brighter, blinding. There's a howling. Then the Ardra cracks. A jagged shard tumbles to the ground. Ugh, son of a god's darn motherless cur! I heard worse than a back-to-back -back whooping from Uncle Angbert's quarterstaff. And in one sentence, Jodie has told us more about her upbringing than I ever wanted to know. <coughs> Hell, and I only gotta do it again and again on cycle until the day I die? Uh, if serving one's god was always easy, everyone would do it. Eh. I never did want to take the easy route. She nods. I'll keep reaping more souls then. Do my duty till I fall to dirt and bones. Never you worry, though. I'll see to dumping my lantern in the future on my own. Thank you for finding me a way to handle my burden. Even if it does involve the occasional jolt of pain. Jolt of pain. Jesus Christ. Chest heaving, Jody scrabbles for the Ardra shard embedded in the ground. The crystal is slick with blood from her hand. She shoves it into a pocket. Then she shakes her head. You have gained unreal item quest, luminous uh, Ardra mantle. The item was put in your stash. Darn, if I don't feel so light, I could float away. Um, that looked like it hurt. <sighs> Never felt anything so painful in my whole life. <laughs> You've obviously never had a hangover from Aftershock, but that's another story. I don't know if this is what Gon planned for me, but I'd like to think we did right by these souls. Okay. We're bringing light to the darkness. Ensuring spring follows the common fall. Yes. Yeah, as Caffeine says, that'll be the blood loss talking. What is it? Uh, what are these your pills? Of course. Uh, I did my pills at 6. Okay, do 6. Yeah, so next hit is at 10. Uh, I'm putting off um, pain pills because uh, if, if I don't need them, yeah. and while it's nice to preempt them a couple of times, uh, the only time I really need to do that is I'm trying to crash. So um, I know I was whinging about this yesterday, but uh, the the unique thing about this is, have you ever had it where, like, when you're falling asleep, your your arms spasm? Yeah, it turns out when they do it inside this, surprisingly painful. So that's been fun. Uh, and Gil says, grand success! Oh, Scotty is saying, is she related to Egon? Looks like an early prototype of the containment system. Wouldn't be bloody surprised. Alright, so enough of, enough of priests and pillars and pointless plonkers. Let's go eat the rich! That's what we're here for! And I understand that sometimes you have to play the game. Sometimes you've got to see who's rich and who's not. Like, to truly know who to consume. Ooh, we got a level. But... Da -da -da -da. Intimidate 10. Uh, and mechanics 5. Ooh, new powers. What do we get? Uh, so we can have crushing blow or barbaric smash. What do you reckon? What's, what's off? What is the difference between those two things? They sound very similar. Well, one is crushing... One is barbaric. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't flinch. What are you talking about? Um, what, what's that one look like? Is that... Uh, that's a leap. Which actually, I do want to take leap because we've got. I, mean, I played. I played Diablo. Leap is awesome. Yeah. Interrupting blows might be good for later, but yeah, barbaric smash or crushing blow because it, it just upgrades our barbaric blow. Um so they get so that's a cleave. Or get is it What's the so it says instant recovery or get your stuff back? What's the difference? Oh. 
Uh, not a foggy clue, but um, one if it kills the target, rage cost is refunded. The other is if it kills the target, their recovery is instantly refreshed. Yeah, let's do recovery. That sounds. So a bit of survivability is not a terrible idea. And now we can literally leap into the fray. Nice. And Scotty was off making a cuppa, so let me just quickly do everybody else. Uh, oh, what would you like? Uh, uh, one of the English, uh, one of the English breakfasts would be lovely. Thank you kindly, good sir. And does this have a little uh, use on the tea bag, or was it? Toast? Um. Let's Actually, yeah. Thank you kindly. And sincerely thank you. So I don't have to run away to stuff my face full of tea. I can level up our mechanics, which is at 14 now, which is stonking. Uh, jumping back into chat, uh, uh, we dropped the stabby drunk lass. We did, but she keeps her gear and she'll be there as we need her. So we'll see how uh, sword fencing lass um, shapes out, whether she's going to become a main staple of our team or not. Um, but Stabby Lass isn't a story character. She's just, um, uh, she's like a potential adventurer, you know? Oh, now do we get one for each class? I think we do. Uh, mule Kick, uh, Rapid Recovery, yeah, you definitely need that. No, no offence, my friend, but you definitely need Rapid Recovery. Good thing he's got a sweet hat. Oh, so a lot of things happened there once. I do apologise if I missed any any awesome and cool uh, tidbits from the uh, from the internet worlds. Um, so those of you that came over from Go Pirate, what were you lot up to today? I feel like uh, the one problem with streaming so much and at a lot of the same times is apart from a few of the late night streams, like I don't get to catch a lot of uh, Thor's uh, streaming stuff. Ooh, new rank of spells. Uh, revival of the Fallen. Yes, Revival. I'm gonna need that. Searing Seal. Lindy for the Spirit. Grants protection for a single. Barring Death's Door. Prevents a severely injured character as health from reaching below zero for a moment. Champion's Boon! Yeah, that sounds great. We can bring people back to life, dude! Okay. Everyone's leveled and ready. Let me just quickly save it because I know I know a lot of people were thinking that very loudly. All right. So we are going to break into. Uh, we're going to break into a wizard's house. Now, if I remember correctly, we can sneak in via the Luminous Baths, but we can also go help an imp out. Because I'm not naturally against um, imps in any sl Oh, I'm not uh, against imps in the slightest. We end up having to fight against them a lot, but, you know... They're sentient and very- Doggo! 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 Mm! Rasper! Aww. Rasper joins the crew. Dun 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 dun. Uh, hey! Q Penguin! What, old friend? Welcome! Thank you kindly for the follow, yo. God, we haven't had a penguin in chat in ages. It's like coming home. Although I already told my penguin story for the day. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't feel like I should uh, keep bashing on poor, uh, on poor Dean. But, you know, he didn't let me have a penguin in the office, so... Oh, no, where that's not where we want to go. I'll see it done. Also, we can steal all the stuff that's not... <gasps> Kitty! Kitty! Mm! Jules! Uh, the sea is true home, not smelly mountain. Aw, poor little imp. I'm going to help him out. What you want? Um, what are you doing out here? Eh, Archimere doesn't let worthless idiot outside after worthless idiot spray dung on stupid tablet. 
Uh, oh, Isocrid's heading out. So Isocrid says, okay, need some sleep for work tomorrow, so I'll catch you later. Thank you for hanging out today, yo. And it's... What a feckin' couple of weeks it's been, but wouldn't trade it for the world, yo. But Archimere not home. The mischievous grin splits the imp's bony features. So worthless idiot watches the ships come in. Looks at all the tasty gulls. Uh, you want to set sail and eat gulls? You're welcome aboard the Fate of the Rich. Uh, sorry, our, our ship is called the Fate of the Rich because we eat the rich. The imp takes your words, uh, its eyes widening to the size of mo uh, moist sauces. A flap of its wings carries it uh, closer to a whisper in your ear. How often you beat your crew, huh? Uh, <laughs> ouch, only when they're noisy. Uh, only when they displease me. Uh, I don't. Not yet, at least. No beatings? None? It blinks, struggling to encompass the idea. I join crew? I join crew! We've got an imp on board. Oh crap, I was meant to ask him how to break into his... Okay. Before us, we have two paths, you lovely folks. We have the path of subterfuge and murder. And the path of directly walking in and murder. Does everyone have a preference? Well, that's not nice. Well done. Oh, and that was enough to level our friend up. So while you're all catching up... The Dreamer says, just for the murder, this guy beats his imps. Um... And Wraith says, I was going to suggest throwing the guy over the side. I feel kind of guilty now. It's alright. Uh, Cypher, uppercut. Uh, oh yeah, we definitely need the increased focus. So we can bust out the cool spells. Uh, borrowed intellect. Detonate. Splinters the target's soul with sheer force, inflicting raw damage upon them. Near-death targets explode. Oh, oh, hot yes. We're going to turn our foes into basically claymores. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. All right, well, so much for subterfuge, my friends. I think we just broke in. All right, in the words of uh, Wraith, kick his doors in! Yeah, honey droplets. Rip. Um, I mean, we're in. So... You know what? We've been subtle. We've walked around. We've been we've been less than our usual level of apprehensive Absolutely self. Not. Now let's rob this mother hubbard blind and destroy his stuff. However, if I remember rightly. Intruder! Ground me in the master sanctum! Ski! Ski! Um the imp chirps up a call of extreme distress and flaps its wings. So we can lie and say, uh, I'm Archimere's guest and I demand your respect. Or, let's just let the imp go. Let's just start murdering everything. What do you say? Wraith say number one. Do, do a little bit of a cheeky lie. Oh, this tea smells like everything right in the world. The dream is on for one. Rogue Deform says, how's it going? Well, we just kicked in the doors to a powerful and extremely uh, wealthy wizard's house. And we're trying to decide whether we want to go loud or go quiet. Wraith says that they think the imps have suffered enough. That's fair. They have a harsh life then. Yeah, alright, so we'll go for one. Yes, eh? Sure you not burglar? I mean, burglar rhymes with me, murderer. Eh? Take you outside. Stay close and not get hurt. Ah. All right, lead the way.
Um, oh, G-Man saying that they got to go quick, but uh, soon they're going to need people to test a card game. Well, G-Man, uh, Twitch chat moves exceedingly fast. If you want to jump onto the long ship, um, uh, we've got a making games channel and we've got a general channel. If you want to like ask for for card game testers in there, I'd be entirely okay with that. Uh, G-Man's doing some playtesting of his uh, game. Very cool. Um, but yeah, Twitch chat moves faster than um, than the speed of thought. Right. Right. Uh, G-Man says, I will do that when I'm closer. Okay. Naked, naked buttocks. But this is for, you know, this is for a very good reason. Oh, yeah, we need to go down to Queen's Birth and kill the mutineer at some point. So, there's a secret back entrance into, into Almir's setup. So, <laughs> uh, your da chicken is asking. Your, your da. Uh, that da chicken is asking why they can't use bits. Ugh, because I have spent most of the year trying to prove to the American government that I am who I say I am. So, for, uh, yeah, it's a long and incredibly boring story. But, I'm hoping it's a thing we'll be able to do at some point. Alright, squeeze to the crack. This is us sneaking into the back of the wizard's house. So yeah, at the moment, this channel is just a, a civilian hangout. Just a handful of numpties. Usually playing a, a lot more of a variation of games, but... Me hand says otherwise, so we're playing a whole bunch... A whole bunch of Pillars of Eternity too. Dead fire. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Oh, God. Right. So, we've snuck into his... Uh, we've snuck into his lab from the underground, which I think is quite cool. Uh, right. Uh, this wall looks recently repaired. Many of the stones are new. Uh, Tyron Strongjaw! That's a cracking username. And thank you kindly for the follow. You're welcome! what -o. Come on in. Take a seat. Um, hammer and chisel, or have someone push through the wall. Uh, I'm going to do hammer and chisel, because last time I Kool-Aid manned it through, I got hurt. With time and care, you managed to break through the recent repairs and carve out a sizable entrance. Uh, as the last loosened stones tumbles free, you catch a sliver of wire snapping. Oh dear. I think we just set off the alarm. Oh well! Time to do a murder! Alright, the Archmage's Vault. Okay, so. This device is a complex control panel made of gems. Uh, have someone tinker with the panel to see if anything works. Uh, here we go. Success! After some gentle attunement with a practice hand, a soft click and the Arcanine Fizzle erupt from the lock. Elder surveys the job well done with a smile. Okay, so it's fixed. Uh, examine the gems. The gemstones on the axis of the lock can be manipulated into a number of different configurations, like a combination lock, but with gems. Uh, tinkering with the central depression has already yielded uh, the necessary workarounds to open the lock. Can you not steal the gems? That's an excellent point. Like, the, the gemstones, right? Yeah. So... You just went through a wall. Like, this seems like a relatively easy job to <laughs> liberate a few gemstones. Let's liberate the lock. Let's just take yeah, it with. Sure. Let's be faster. All right. Rotate the gems and experiment with various positions. It would appear the lock requires something more. Okay, so we need the combination. We fixed it. We'd go from there. Ready to brawl. Uh, a soon-to-be heavily eviscerated imp. Oh! Uh, our vampire lass is a little squidgy. Go on! If you want to stand in the hall, that's fine. I think 
think we're doing alright. If I remember rightly, the uh, the room with the uh, the nature spirits in was the one that wrecked me last time. Right, time to steal everything that's not nailed down. Uh, oh, and our vampire lass has leveled. I might get that cheeky level just so she gets the stats. So, metaphysics and uh, alchemy is her jam. Cool. It's clearly a vampire. Uh, soul ignition... Secret Horrors. Pain Link. Bloody hell. Charming lass. Yeah. What do people do in their personal time is up to them. Uh, amplified Thrust. <coughs> I wish I was making this up. Uh, although, actually, I'm. And I mean, no offense, Wraith. I think I'm going to go back to uh, Ket's suggestion of No Hood, because I think it's much more cool. Uh, and jumping back into chat, um, so uh, Tyrant's uh, pumped for some Pillars of Eternity. Yeah, we're finally getting into some meaty parts of the game. So do you ever watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, I watched a whole bunch of Game of Thrones. Isn't his name Tyrion? What did I say? Tyrion. Oh. I, I know it's your thing, but like that's a very popular character from that show. Tyrion Strongjaw. I guess I just I didn't assume it was a... Uh, a Thronesian. Could give her a creepy ass mask. No, no, we decided against the mask, didn't we? I mean, no, I think she, she needs a proper hat. Yeah, but a ring of fortitude, because she's the only one taking a scratch, so there we go. Uh, anyway. She needs a top hat, that's what she needs. She really needs a top hat. Uh, we can probably take it off the, uh, the, the rich and the dead. Hopefully. Hopefully. Two-headed skeletons. Oh, no, I was hoping we'd, I was hoping we'd find something a little bit secret there, but all right. All right, so somewhere in here we need to find the combination to this one, wizard's vault, or just crack through the or, or just crack through the door. You know, one or the other, one or the other. Right, let's head on. Yeah. Uh, imp, flame blight. Lesser flame bite. Sorry, him. Bring them down. Bundle! Ah, oh! <laughs> it's a rapidly expanding cloud of. Red mist, my friend. Alright. Jody. So do, you, do you care to heal after the battles? Yeah. Okay. Uh, dependent on, like, wounds and injuries and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about maximizing or minimizing the amount of damage you take or whatnot. Although we have an important question, Ooh. which is another fool with a death wish. Oh, uh, uh, thankfully it pauses when a fight kicks off. So caffeine saying, and I quote, "I need judgment on the level of heresy. I'm using the last uh, partial cup of tea as a primer towards the next pot. Just adding more water to get it back up." Um. If it's the same brew of tea, that's fine. With certain teas as well, you can get more than one. Um, set, you can get more than you know one pot or one cup out of the the tea leaf, depending on either the strength of the brew or the kind. Oh, Not first. Prisoners. Let's murder an imp. <laughs> Poor imp. <laughs> I didn't have to stab him while he was down, but I chose to. All right, let's see what let's see what we could have won. It's a bunch of goodies. Uh, Rogue Two says, "Well, it's 5 a.m. and I can't sleep, so I have some miniatures to paint." Oh, there we go. So, Rogue, I hope we can be the we can be the least distracting second screen while you get some minis painted. But just remember, do not mistake your water cup and your <coughs> your painting uh, your painting brushes cup because we've all done it. We've all done it, and it's gross. Also, Chrono, what ho, friend! Welcome! Uh, Alex says, have you figured out the transportation logistics uh, for the con yet? Yes, I have. We have an accommodation and transportation. Uh, Caffeine and I sat and worked it out. Um, Ket's definitely coming to TwitchCon. Um, and... We're going to have a little squad of uh, longship crew there. We're also going to be meeting up with Thor and other peeps from Go Pirate. So there's, it's 
it's highly likely that this is going to become the very first, like, go pirate fleet meet, if you will. Well, as long as I don't get caught. All done. I don't think I can pull that off. <sighs> There's a distinct lack of people trying to murder me. Uh, cult the Sanguine Harvests. The many pitfalls of imp husbandry. Oh, Live my entire life without discussing sexy imps. 100 Years of Dawn, Final Str- Ooh! Final Journal of Jonas. Sometimes they start... Missives of the Occult Hand. Interesting. Uh, the Midwife's Memoirs. Yeah, I'm just going to take all those. Uh, I'm just going to read those later for uh, research. Yeah, that's it. Research. Ooh! Morning Star, two-handed exceptional mace. We got anyone who's using a two-handed mace yet? We found a super duper two-handed mace. Yeah, it's gonna have Morning Star. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. How did I? Uh, jumping back into chat. Uh... Oh, and Gil's gonna run off and fight more monsters. So see you later on. Take it easy, Gil. And we'll see you when see you when we see you, Mr. Gill. Don't know why I keep putting on that crap landing voice. It's a we bit of a problem. Alright, if I remember rightly. Hey. This room gave me this gave me pause for thought last time. So Earth Blight. Yeah, failed experiment wrecked Come my on. day. So hopefully we can just uh Yeah, rush it down. Just oh. forget. Futile. We should be able to get through it. Uh, I think that's my cypher. He's got like a ricochet. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, and it's lucky to be able to handle it. Alrighty! Uh, so jumping back in, uh, there was a lot of discussion back and forth about the correct process by which one should uh, um, uh, brew large teas. To be honest, ooh, it's got some stuff there. Uh, to be honest, I haven't done a, yeah. uh, a a brew by pot in so long. I feel like I am absolutely not the, the right person. I'll see it. Then. Also, let's get some get some free. Uh, Rare materials, get some ink harps. Hmm. Do you eat these the major? Do you just like take this over and just have this awesome base? Uh, no, I gain a little bit of his powers for a little bit, but unfortunately I don't gain all his powers. Would you just like be able to come back and post this stuff over and over or things like that? Ooh. What is that? Oh, so purple is uh, your one of your team's perceptions paid off and they found something secret. Ooh. Cinder bomb. Or oh. leave it. Tempted to start firing here. Well, as long as I don't get caught. Well done. Yeah. Fire, the ultimate distraction. Um, so lamentably, we couldn't just kill him and take his place. I'd quite like us to have our own base, but you know, beggars and chooses and all that. Ooh. Oh, okay. Rusted constructs. Is this where you got wrecked before? No, we got wrecked upstairs, and they were copper constructs Bring upstairs. Oh, so even better ones. Yeah, so the next version of these were what kicked our ass. Actually, but what I need is I need Elder to tank this one as well, so just so that we can keep the... Yes. Because these mother hubbards are tough. Oh, wow, okay, we are batting way... We are batting way stronger than we were last time. Say the time, this is... Yeah, it's that whole thing of going back to a thing that kicked your ass before, right? Uh, Tyron was just saying, God bless cast iron pans. Can't go back now. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I'll see it. Good thinking. Lamentably, they don't drop a lot. So what have we got here? Some papers. Purchase order. Received your order for two additional ironclad constructs. You can rest assured they were delivered within the week. Uh... Missive stamp with the Abaddon. Alright. Uh, 
All right, so we, I think, oh yes. So we'll use the ghostly ghost to work out how to get through this. Read the soul. You walk through the hall of Adia's Manor. The layout is no stranger to you and you navigate every turn with confidence. Your partner is your shadow, uh, hanging three steps behind. Just for him to hurry. A little noise won't disturb the imp stewards if for nods and hastens his pace. You reach a heavy vault door. The lock is made of gems set in stone. Ifrin glances over his shoulder, too preoccupied to follow your careful motions. Set the gems into the combination and pray that your contact got it right. Just as a vault door grinds open, one of Emir's imps rounds the corner and screeches at full voice. You spin on your heel and make a run for it. Ifrin is nowhere to be seen, but a whisper of cloth through an open doorway tells you he's gone to hide. Before you can make your second step, a blow like a battering ram carries you off your feet, disorientating you prone, and the last thing you see is the fist of an ironclad construct mercilessly coming down, with nothing but your head between it and the cold stone floor. Grim! I'll be damned if I let a soul be used for such foul means. Come with me now, you poor lost thing. Uh, expression grim, Jody. Jody helps them into the lantern. Lantern holds souls. You are thrash, but she is thrash. Yeah. Although she's the one who gets shredded whenever she uh, holds too many. Or lets go of too many. Or just generally does anything involving soul. It's not good. Um, so jumping back into chat. Um, what have we got? Uh, we just emptied that thing, Jody. And now you're just... Sorry, Wraith's like, We just emptied that thing! And now you're hoovering up souls like it's nothing! Hiya. Um, G-Man saying, I'm playing Fortnite with my friend and he is a solid 8 out of 10 drunk. And do you know what? I'm going to say it. I don't understand people using the, uh, the out of 10 scale on drinking. If I've learned one thing, you can always be more drunk. It's maybe not a stage you want to be in. But if, I mean, we assume 10 doesn't make that sound. It's hard to imbue more alcohol when you're unconscious. Like, immobile and unconscious. True, but you could hit a strong six and go unconscious. Or you could have a strong, you could bat strong innings of drinking and you could hit 11. I don't get how that works. So, passing out is like the drop off. Like, a combination of tiredness and alcohol in your system and you just kind of go, sleepy times. Sure. But you can be trashed and conscious so it's kind of like a steep climbing. Uh, 10 isn't unconscious. 10 is when the you drop off the scale. Hmm. That's Robson Moose says, uh, see also alcohol poisoning. You can always be more riggedy wrecked. Not, and I'm not saying that you should. It's just, uh, it's, it's not a number scale. It's an elemental choice, you know? Anyway, let's open this mother hubbard up. Uh, uh, enter the combination you found. You rotate the gemstones into their intended configuration. The sound of grinding stone builds in volume as the door moves aside. Uh, let's see if there's any... There's got to be like a boss monster in there or something. Mayhaps we should have brought more bags. Hey, that's what I want to hear. That's not good. And a lot of people got hurt. So, what do you need? I well, don't see why not. <sighs> I don't have anyone on my team who's got good perception. Hmm. So we might have to get rid of uh, Spooky Ghost Lass. Can you temporarily bench people and swap them out, yes. or is it as you wish? Higher than five people? No, no, we can bench him, but we can't just bench him on the fly. Where there's a pick, done. Leave it. Uh, whore! Nagra's teachings, grimoire, another cloak of greater protection, some bronze. Yes. Uh, a powerful enchantment keeps these gold bars weighted to the spot. Alright. I'll deal with this. It's finished. <laughs> And uh, zero katama. Oh, no, katama. Thank you kindly for the follow. Sincerely appreciated. Um, I wonder when Samurai Zero. Is it? Oh, there's a 
kind of like Hotline Miami ninja VHS style game pick, coming out. There's a way done. And I am so ready for it. Stone of Power and Helm. Come on, there's got to be something good in here. I mean, the Grimoire is nothing to sneeze at. What does it do? Uh, it's a, do. essentially a... Yeah, it's worth a big block. It's essentially it's a, um, a spell book at Power Enhancer for Wizards. So does it use it in this like, one shot consumed and get better? Or is it while you hold it? Or like, how does it work? Uh, uh, it, you equip it in a particular slot. Okay. I think it enables additional spells and additional elements. Someone in there... Uh, oh! Zero! Well, thank you kindly. Um, Zero is saying that uh, they came on over from Playframe, so it's lovely to make your acquaintance. Um, and those of you that have come over today from Floydo's uh, Playframe channel, it is lovely to see you. And for those of you that haven't seen, um, uh, Dan Floyd's Playframe and Extra Frame, uh, New Frame Plus channels are feckin' marvellous. I'm hoping to do more stuff with Floydo once the my mitt is healed. Uh, a broken hand kind of um, uh, impedes one from doing monster hunt hunting. You know how it is. Oh yeah, Rhymes with Moose is just saying like, leave everyone outside but your toughest. Go for the meat shield trap site. Yeah. Heat a shield and run around like there's no tomorrow. Oh, and uh, Krayubi has just returned. What ho and good evening to your lovely self. <laughs> Robin says, I don't understand using a number scale for drunkenness. Uses a scale for drunkenness. What? Robin, you obviously didn't hear my point. Which is that a scale of 1 to 10 says that there is a definitive point of, like, ultimate drunk. But you can always be more trashed. I mean, unless 10 is an actual fatality. 10 is... Nah, they're gone. And, like, there are stages. Because you have, like, you know... I mean, tipsy, I think, is a good one. You've had a, you've had a drink, and you're like, oh, I'm feeling a bit warm, a bit silly, but all right. Drunk is like, all right, now we're on to a session. And there is the stages beyond drunk. You know, pissed, munted, mad-lashed. I got system shocked. I'll see the Harpo Epic. Ah, here we go. This was the thing that we needed to steal. Alright, and one more. Uh, ivory Worm Figure. What does it do? Summons two worms. Cool. I think it's like a one-shot use thing. Ow! Alright, I wonder if we can camp in here. Alright, we got everything that was worth getting. Yes? I'll take care of it. Unfortunately, I'm missing our little drunk because they were really good at spotting things. Um, right. So, jumping back in, uh, Rhyme says they can be equipped as a quick slot item, and then by using them, you swap out your current grimoire for another, which means uh, you lose access to the spells from the grimoire you were using, but gain access to the ones you switched to. That's cool. Uh, and those figurines, um, and someone of some uh, lovely description, uh, uh, Justin Brutality says, have you played Pathfinder yet? Uh, I'm assuming you mean the new Pathfinder King game. Oh. Sorry, everyone needs a spot of food before we uh, keel over. Wow, am I really out of food? Not to self, get more food. Oh yeah, hard track is minus morale as well. I keep forgetting that. Uh, so while well, water is just... Oh no, water is depressing as well. Bloody hell. Well, everyone could use a, 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 a might more vegetables. Because everyone's got shite bloody... Perception. Ooh, have yourself you a look at that, mate. Perception. Imagine my surprise. Yeah. And Fox! What, oh, friend? How goes it? Oh, would you look at that? Finally, someone saw a feckin', uh, the feckin' trap. Ah, uh, so Fox Unit, what's been going on with your good self, friend? 
Yes? Of course. Entirely too sober for this team of numpties. So, how does the trap damage? Because you said damage doesn't kick over in combats. Ah, uh, but so you see these three little blips. So everyone who got hit by that has now got a serious burn. Minus two decks to whatever they try to do from here. Uh, when will that go away? Uh, next time we rest. Rest now. Can you have one person walk up ahead and just like. <sighs> The idea was to try and use the additional perception, but we're just going to have to rest again. We've just been hanging out in this guy's fucking house for like two days now. <sighs> Alright, but yeah, so jumping back in the chat. Fox says, uh, they're doing good, just busy. Had a stressful last week at work. Well, I'm sorry I've been having a crappy time, yo. But I hope your weekend, or at least the, the parts of the weekend that have been your own, have been nice and restful, my friend. Right, so we hit those, we hit those... Ah, we still have a little bit to explore down this way. Wait, is it this way? No, uh, down this way. And then we can head into the upstairs and raid the, the rest of the mansion. Because what happened last time is we... Uh, I don't think we managed to break into the vault entirely. Oh, we did go as far as we can. Alright, yeah, so we need to head back up. Um... What happened is we went up the stairs, turned the corner, and these two, like, super powerful constructs ruffle stomped us. And that was the moment that I found out that, uh, you know, TPK and this meant that the save game was deleted. That there was no subtlety of it. It's just, you know, one and done, yo. Um, but yes, to... Uh, was it Justin who was asking about Pathfinder? I saw Pathfinder as a Kingmaker. Yes. So. <coughs> we got trouble. I'm not even bothering to stealth, by the way. Bring just just letting you know. Oh, yeah, so that's what happened. We murdered this guy last time. The guy in the study went, eh, what's this? And then uh, came at us through the door. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide in here, wait for the imp to come through, and if the imp summons them, then we'll have this nice little, like, bubble of death. Come on. Come on. We got yeah, see, he closed the door Not this prisoners. time. Whereas last time I went out, and there's two big bastards right by the door. And they wrecked my day. Also, Justin, thank you for throwing on the follow as well. That is sincerely appreciated, yo. Me too, man. Uh, Fox saying, uh, hope you have a great night, everybody. Have a good stream. Um, ah. Well, have yourself a splendid evening, yo. Oh, here comes the real fight. Right. So these are the Fabo Capo? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull back to here. Strength. Yeah, because... They're not coming. Do we rest up and get your... There we go. Now, last time we did this, these guys wrecked my feckin' day. So, we're gonna prepare. So we'll get Jody to do us the sphere. Uh, see if Seraphin's got anything that's like, you know, empower my friendos. Yeah, his stuff's all right. All right, what about you, uh, Vamp Lass? Uh, same. Got a charge move? Nah. Alright. Just gonna summon some dragons. Burn this guy's feckin' house down. Oh! What, what does nothing? Don't. Use your words. Use your people words. Alright. Maybe. Knock him down. I'm sorry, this is probably not going to be the most exciting of fights to watch. But this is where we died. These same two people. As soon as we slay them, this is a whole new world. And this isn't just a fight. This is revenge. Oh, no. Um, not for anyone, it's a massive... Oh, bloody hell. Uh, this lass is on seven shades of fire. Uh, can she 
blind one of them? Maybe. Yeah. Oh. So that's our vampire lass. Vampire lass is not. Can you run her back? Uh, there's disengagement in this, so we could. Or like swap them for or something like. Oh, lightning! No, that's gonna hit all my friends. Never mind. Bring them down! All right. Oh, I've got an idea. She's got. Um... She like turned to mist. Well, she's not officially a vampire. That's the problem. She just bloody looks like one. And because she hasn't told us, she's clearly a feckin' vampire. Never you mind that miss. I'll land the next one. Strange. <laughs> Come on! So help me God, I'll no whoop prisoners. the next one of you who takes aim at me. Is that one? I believe that's one. Like, it and your dragon just disappeared at about the same time. Oh, cool. Right, so. If you ain't on this construct, you ain't doing your jobs. <laughs> That order is too tall. Something sharper. Wow, she, that thing really hates the vampire. Uh, we can try pity for the lost. She's all right. She's all right. Oh man, good work there. Although um, what you're not doing is attacking the construct that's wrecked our day. Come on. I think we're gonna be able to bring it down. Yes! Eat shit in a hot handbag, you vengeful toaster! No yes! Get far! I didn't finish that sentence, and it's okay. I mean, I knew I had that in the bag, clearly. I was I was just playing it up for dramatic effect, of course. I trust you. Bastards. Leave it to me. Leave it to be. Right. Uh, so first things first. Let's rob the ground floor, and then the upper floor. Just finish me attacking. Yeah, and it, if we find this guy napping in a bed, we're gonna eat him seven ways from Sunday. Um, also, uh, I guess to everyone in, uh, to everyone watching, and to yourself. So, how do you feel about imp skin handbags? I think we. I think the kind of people who would buy those, are the kind of people we'd also I'll murder. So, I don't know. if... Uh, get to the boat says I'm hot on the handbag. All right. Well, we'll definitely, you know, we'll, we'll definitely add it to potentials. We've got a lot of a lot of imp skin now. We just won't mention it to our new crewmate. We rescued one of the imps from his boat, uh, from the this estate. We rescued? Yeah, we we brought him on board. Okay. Oh, uh, if we'd not found it, this is the combination to the uh, the vault. Uh. So there were lots of ways we could have solved it, you know, by... So you didn't have to be able to read the souls into the heaven. Yeah. And I'm always a big fan of stuff like that. You'll notice I'm not even bothering to sneak anymore. We're just fecking cheesing it around. Those constructs were the big fight. And we got it. They gone. <coughs> and I don't mean they gone as in the god of death, but they gone. They Which did. They're the biggest fight. No, no, they're not the biggest. But they were the things that killed us before. Sure. But the, so there could be something even bigger and scarier. I hope so. Mr. Viking hungers. But mostly for the rich. Yeah, clank with hashtag end imp cruelty. Yeah. It's just there's a little bit where the imp goes, how often do you beat your crew? And I'm like... I, I haven't had the need to beat them yet. And he's like, no beatings? As if somehow this is a new revelation that couldn't, that doesn't make a lick of sense. Yellow, uh, so that is, uh, yellow, yellow I3. Bring them down. Is there a yellow I3? Yeah. About to find out. Oh! <laughs> I just love that not only are we doing a murder, we're leaving these monstrous stains across. Because I assume he uses the imps for cleaning. I'll see you. So there's going to be no one left to clean. Uh, translucent crystal. Ooh. Thin layer of imp drool covers this translucent crystal. One side of the crystal contains several deep notches and grooves. It seems it was mount mounted to something. Ooh. Okay. Oh! Is that, that for the vault? That's yeah. for the vault. 
but we didn't need it because um, we've been stacking one of our team uh, with real good mechanic skills. So you just fixed it properly. Yeah. So that's the balcony. Ooh, what's in the bowl? Leave it to me. I bet it's a kitty. I bet it's a kitty! Mm. Uh, Get the boat says that they're currently playing Pillars 1. Uh, is there a way to choose who is in the front of the battle? My main character is a rogue and keeps getting wrecked. Uh, I think you can readjust the character portraits along the bottom. And that uh, changes the order of who's where, I think. I found a side tower. We got trouble. Oh, an ironclad construct. Kill them all. You look thirsty. A drink, sir? Touch your eyes. Feel I don't know what it is, but our vampire lash just keeps being the first one to get trashed. Possibly. No prisoners. Or it might just be that everyone else in the group knows how to handle their damage, and she's just getting used to it. Might have to give her one of those uh, cloaks that makes her die not quite as quickly. Yeah, I think we the better ones of. Yeah, you're right. I did. I'm glad one of us is paying attention. Oh. Uh, oh, and Dreamer says you can also change the formation. Um, so I hope that helps. That's true. Put her at the back. It right? makes sense. I mean, she's meant to be at the back, but I guess because she's dashing in to try and get a few uh, strikes in. Um, what's that? Uh, plus two max discipline. Oh, only usable by a fighter. How are you feeling, dude? Uh, do okay. Uh, I think Max Discipline might be better than the uh, the Gauntlets. Misses to Grazes. I mean, that seems way cooler. But then we can give that to her because, you know, Gauntleted Fists. Oh god, no wonder, she's wearing a frock coat. <laughs> oh my god. The only thing she had to defend her was Ruffles. Um, what do you think? Uh, the what, what class is she, exactly? Uh, she is a Mind Hunter. So what class is she exactly? <laughs> um, they have cute names for the kind of combo classes. So she's one part cipher, like a telepath, one part uh, duelist. Okay, so light armor is probably what we're looking at. Yeah, and we've got some exceptional light armor there. Protection against spells. Let's see how she looks. Better. Completely different, but yes. She looks like she can hold her own. I mean, we could give her some medium scale. How does she look in scale? Still looks like Vlad Dracul. I don't think that's gonna have to change, like no matter what we do. I mean, I can I can only do so much. Um, so, what do you prefer? Kind of like, uh, you know, Vlad Dracul, or um, I think are you being served? <laughs> Get it? Because it looks like a surf. I think they both are fine. What are the stats? I think I'm funny. Uh, so this one is armor rating 7, uh, but adds an, an additional 2, plus 2 against spells. Whereas the scale is base 9, and then an additional 2. So 1 is 11, 1 is 9. But 1 gives more against magic. Uh, is there going to be like a mobility thing with medium versus light? Or anything like that that matters? Uh, not that I can think of. I think probably with scale, just... Yeah. Also... If she's going to be a duelist, she needs two weapons. But I reckon let's give her like a, a cool dagger or something. Like a... Yeah, an exceptional dagger. The old French style, you know? I said the old French style, you know? There we go. So yeah, dagger on one hand, rapier in the other. The old like one for parry and one for doing a fucking murder! Um... Jumping back into chat. Oh, and Tyron saying, Well, folks, thanks for the good times. Gotta head out. Uh, can't wait to catch another stream. Uh, Tyron, it was lovely to meet you. And thanks for stopping on by, yo. We've had loads of cool new peeps have come in. 
<laughs> I know it's been a pretty subdued stream and a pretty calm Sunday, but like yesterday has been yesterday was off the chain. Yeah, yesterday was super intense. And last week was mad now, so I'm okay to just just Saturday a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, and Javier Fed's um, idle game is finished. Oh. I haven't had a chance to try it, but it's it's up somewhere. I'll check Discord. Um... All right. Let us continue. What do you need? A little bit more theft. What do you need? Doors. All right. So there's a tower. Of course, there's a tower. I mean, it's a bloody wizard's house, isn't it? Let's head on up. Was that today or was that all the way down? Uh, well, he mentioned it was up today. He might have posted... Like, I don't know if he's posted in Discord yet. Ah, uh, that is in Discord, that is. Because I, I mean, I don't even know if it's running my old POS phone, but I'll try. I'll certainly try. Uh, looks like he's got an uh, Apple version, but not an Android version. So I will hold up that Android version. Woo! Let's hear it for selling out! Apple version! I mean, you're trying to make money on mobile games, you can't be picky. Yeah, true that. It's the old giant market versus um, uh, piracy. Oh, the music got all serious for a second here. Ooh. Right. Well, as long as I don't get caught. I guess I wasn't so hard. Uh, exceptional Scepter. Exception. Exceptor Shock. I could go for some shut eye about now. Uh, fine quarter staff. Uh, Alchemir's old robe. Nice. All right. Uh, Ring of overseeing plus ten area of effect. Oh, we'll give that to Jody. And Al Alchemir's notes. Oh. Uh, what these imps offer is hardly worth the trouble of enduring their company. Yesterday I tried. Uh, on a different face, and my butler nearly sounded the alarm. Uh, it was some comfort that he recognised my old robes. Uh, I gave the chattering fool a uh, passphrase to avoid his unpleasant features. Cider and cheese. Simple enough to, for an imp to recall. Oh, so you can put on his robes and then... Yeah. Con the imp into giving you stuff? Yeah, except for I killed everyone, so... But you could have. I could have. That's like, there was maybe even a somewhat stealthy solution to this. Well, as long as I don't get caught. Can you play this game without murdering lots of people? Well done. It's like, I hear the question you've asked, but I don't think I can, like, I can't pass the sentence. Like, Fallout style, can you play non-violently? I mean, there's a big difference between can and should, but certainly. Okay. Uh, also, Jody doesn't have any boots, so Jody's getting the boots of disengagement so she can get out of, uh, she can get out of a scrap. Does that reduce the penalty of... Yeah. Because uh, they, it's D and D in that respect like, that like if we hit on you if you walk away. Yeah, and that can really hurt because usually the time you need to get out of a fight. Oh, right. So we've stolen pretty much everything that's not nailed down. The only thing we haven't done is eaten the rich, which I feel, I feel like I've actually misrepresented the stream because the amount of rich people we've murdered and eaten has been very few, dude. Rhymesmoo says, fun fact, you can wear that robe and, uh, with the right information, trick everyone in the mansion to believing that you are Archimere. Um And then Rhymesmoo was adding that, I don't know if it works after the alarm is set off. Um, I think the more important question is, does it work after you've murdered everyone in... Like, when there's no one left to fool, does it still work? You know, like the, you know, if a tree falls in the woods, um, and everyone's already dead, uh, are you still a bad guy? <laughs> One thing I'm very thankful for is that the alarm in this game, super soft. Oh, we're still in the upstairs. Rhymesmoo says no, because there's no one to give the passphrase to. That is an excellent point. So we continue ever onwards. Thing is, I don't know what we're going to do after this. 
I mean, we're going to walk out the front door, obviously. And we raided everything that wasn't nailed down. But, like, where do we go from here? Uh, I guess we... Because we go to the Waterbenders College, we can get um, another mage who specializes in, like, water-based attacks. Who's really kind of cool. Okay. Okie dokie, Lokis. Let us continue. Miyaki Sakura says, Find the rich and mess up their day. Not a bad shout. I mean, we eat them, right? So that's yeah. generally known to mess up most people's days. Um, so there's a couple of armorers. There's a couple of stores we can pop ahead. Oh! Uh, Alchemy's store. Let's go raid that. Ooh, is that a front store fun? Yeah, dude. Uh, maybe, maybe what the problem might load, maybe both of us. Presumably, there's someone in the store you haven't loaded. Yeah. Uh, so let's give it a save and see what we can do. Hang on. Let's see what we can do in the dark cupboard. Lol. Because we've stolen a lot of his stuff, we can always steal more. There can always be more to steal. Back to the sorcerer. She truly live up the name. Uh, so we've got the living quarters. I got nowhere else to turn. Stonehill is going to kill me. Don't drag me into your mess, Berteno. Not again. Then you leave me no choice. I'm sorry. Hey, come back with that, Madiko. So, dark cupboard. Right. Uh, time to have a quick chat and then steal as much as can be stolen. That flaccid batso. Uh, young wizard clutches the countertop, looking as though she's going to vault after it or snap you, it in half. You heard none of that, Ak? The imp mutters to itself in a dark and guttural tone. That's what I thought. <laughs> what am I going to do? Think, Fasina. Uh, looks like your customer forgot to pay. Ah, very funny. <laughs> Berteno just took Rokawa's fingers, which is no joke to me. Okay. He must have wanted to raise some fast coin. Harkemir will flay me alive over those damned gloves. Strange that the constructs didn't attack him for stealing. Is it strange? I don't know. Go consult Arkemir's grimoire if you're that curious. All right, what aren't you telling me? Not that it's any of your business, but Berteno used to spend a lot of... Late nights here. Oh, that's a bad idea. I got into the Construct's guts and marked off Berteno as a safe visitor so they would not attack him. Ooh. And before you ask, no, I will never do this again. Um, why does he need the money? Why are the gloves so important? Uh, why, do you need, why does he need the money? He said that he's in debt to a Raotaian captain by the name of Hamuto Stonehill. By all accounts, a deadly serious man. Don't know him, don't care. Why are them gloves so important? You do not know Arkemir, do you? He is as cheap as a Wodican clerk. Okay. Whatever he loses from those gloves, he will take out on me. Somehow. Somehow. I'll let you know if I happen to find a him. A kindness, considering this is not your problem. I, I do not know where Berteno fences his goods, but he mentioned an appointment at the Brass Citadel docks. Oh crap, we're meant to go to the Brass Citadel at some point. Feckin' hell. If you think, like, yesterday's stream, we got into Nekataka, and today's stream, we're still in Nekataka. Hamuto Stonehill must be as dangerous as he sounds, or else Berteno wouldn't be so panicked. Um, so firstly, I'm just going to have a quick look at what they're selling. Uh, I mean, jeez, they've got grimoires here for more than a ship costs. Uh, what is that? Uh, Jogan's Careful Calamities. I assume this is some... Some vicious, vicious spells. And then lots and lots of scrolls. Some daggers. Uh, a fine scimitar. A focusing ring. Spellkeeper. A bunch of more books. Uh, Gwyn's Bridal Garter. Plus one to constitution. I don't wonder how that looks. Resistant to dexterity affliction. 
I'm not sure what that means, and I'm happier not knowing. Yeah. I mean, if we could steal them and sell them to someone else, we'd make a fortune. All right. I see no gloves. Um, then, no I have questions about your no stole. Back Suddenly, another. my whole existence. Tell me, what you continue, continue, continue. I think it's because he knows I hate them. Use a lot of honorifics when you talk about Arkhamir. Uh, he makes me call him by the titles he's earned in his long career. I can also call him by the titles I've made up since the start of my apprenticeship. She grins, glancing left and right. To me, he's the bringer of foul wind, the teeth of suckling imps, and the herald of dirty slippers. What? All right, I need to get inside his manor. Imp, go hang laundry. Uh, she holds up a finger for silence. Her gaze follows the shop imp as he flutters get away. Get inside the manor. <laughs> the house is locked tighter than Arkamir's clenched fist. I mean, I already rinsed it, but I kind of want to hear what she has to say. Ifrin tried to sneak in. Now he's stuck in a box telling fortunes for pyres. Uh, can you at least tell me something useful? The imps that guard the manor? Idiots. That's not useful. Arkemir plays with shape-shifting illusions, so he's okay, imps so this is the heads up. If clothes. we'd found this out first, we could have snuck in, stole the clothes, and then walked around like we own the place. Do with that what you will. That's the matter. Okay, farewell. So we can't steal... I can't steal anything super good from here. I wonder if we can get up there. Or is it going to stop us? Oh, no, we can go up there. Nice. The dreamer said Archimere made and sold a bunch of spells right. But wasn't he the guy from the first game? Uh, I'm... I, I don't even know. I don't even know, but I'm going to kill him I get the first sight. Specifically in Scottish. All right, welcome to the dark cupboard. We will be leaving what little goods are here. Uh, some robes and a hood. All right, but I'm keeping what's in there. Trap this arm. Right, you actually noticed it was there first down. once. Uh, troll hide belt. Health restore doesn't seem like that much because it's uh, one health every six seconds. The fights don't seem to be that long. Maybe if you had some sort of something much slower, where you were having... It could be. Like, less damage from defense. Yeah, because what we've seen is that there's a... It's all in or not at all. Oh, and uh, Zero's heading out. So Zero said, got to catch up on your VODs. Uh, nice artillery support there in Monster Hunter, by the way. Thank you kindly. Um, there's a couple of fanciful Monster Hunter VODs uh, over here on Twitch, and some of the better ones are over on YouTube. Um, and once my hand is better... I absolutely want to invite um, uh, Floydo over for some more uh, for some more excellent hunting. Oh, there really isn't too much worth stealing. Like most of the stuff on the shop walls Fortune are. For a pun, good sir. Oh, who's this? Salutations. Do you wish to hear your fortune? Uh, I was told it was you that broke into Archimedes Manor. What? Am I famous out there or something? Tell you what, 500 pyres, and you get the exclusive story. Tell me what I want to know, or your box ends up in the harbour of Queen's Birth. Oh, we need to go down to Queen's Birth and murder a Mother Hubbard. Knowing Archimir, he'd think it was funny and just leave me down there. The puppet's ceramic eyes roll in their sockets, crackling and whirring. That manor is a fortress. An Orland partner and I got to thinking that Archimere wouldn't miss a few coins here, a few gems there. Okay. There's a span of natural rock between Archimere's place and the luminous bathhouse. Well, you already found After that. some careful hammering, we found ourselves in Archimere's manor without a guard in sight. Um. All that effort and you still managed to get killed. Pathetic. He blinks at you with a click. His hand moves towards a small lever in the guts of the machine. Take that, you jerk! And that! <laughs> the coin uh, the coin slot spits out pyres in rapid succession, hitting you like thrown stones. Ifrin laughs maniacally, his head jerking back and forth as he yanks the lever over and over. Uh, you gain three copper and Mr. Viking was injured. <sighs> that felt good. Ifrin sighs and closes his eyes, easing back into his box. So the guy's soul that we go... Hey, this was his partner. His partner got turned into a like a living vending machine, like one of those uh, peer amusement tell your fortunes. 
That's great. Yeah. I got three coppers for the problem. I have to do my laundry, I'll do it there. Nay, buddy. Uh, Rise Moose says, is the uh, Kashula Dora fight on YouTube? Uh, I don't know. It might be. I don't remember. Also, I'm going to have to dump you a laundry out because I need the basket. Oh, you vandal. Chuck it on, chuck it on bed. Well, on sofa, but your nose. Metal work. What to be doing? What to be doing? All right. I tell you what. We're gonna head down to the docks. We're gonna uh, end the guy at Queen's Birth, and then um, I. I think I'm going to bring the stream to a close in a little bit. Um, we've done we've done six hours on a Sunday, which is lovely. Um, but my hand's caning a little bit, and I don't want to down painkillers until I'm going to crash later. So let's let's finish up with that bastard, uh, the one who tried to. Oh, a group of principy sailors approaches you in the streets. It's time to do a murder. Oh, Clank says, uh, it's starting to doze again, so bed for me. Good night. Good night, Clank. And it's good night from me, and good night from Clank. No, no, we're gonna... We're gonna find the sailor who was trying to do a... do a mutiny. Entry. A moment. A tall, wiry man blocks your path. He wears a smile as one might wear in the most uh, comfortable trousers. I saw you speak to my dear Amico Degnos. So I thought to myself, why, Telfor, you must meet him too. <laughs> uh, your errant boy lost his satchel. I'm returning it to him. Uh, I've read your letter. I've read your letter. Your penmanship is terrible. I'm embarrassed for you. Uh, what business is, is Hugh? I talk to Punch Telfer. I can just punch him in the gob or ignore him and walk past. What do you reckon, all? I've got a lot of choices here. Number five seems quite fun, but riling up his cage might be even more fun. Sorry, I keep lapsing into the pirate voice, don't I? Um, Caffeine's like, wait! Did someone find a backpack? I found a backpack. Caffeine, do you need a backpack? Ket! Ket, do you need a backpack? He doesn't need a backpack. Do you need a backpack? <laughs> I'm fucking starving to death here! I mean, Miyaki Sakura is on the the point of um, snark over just punching him. We are. Well, I mean, we're going to do a murder. Uh, I read your letter. Your penmanship is terrible. I'm embarrassed for you. I am wounded. <laughs> uh, blush colour to his cheeks. He chuckles. Uh, the back of his hand touches against his mouth. But what did you think of its contents, Quay? Uh, I imagine Aveta will have some choice words about this. A shame, then, that you will not live to hear them. So this guy's dead. Oh. Uh, I'm going to set him on fire first. And then we'll just see how the rest of this... Oh, actually... Worth it. Oh! Magic blast to the face. Some days I wonder if they're going to learn. Today was not one of those days. Alright, got Ooh. some fine armour. Boots of evasion. Uh, oh, a fine one-handed sword. Uh, some hard track, obviously. Uh, Blood-soaked grimoire. Was it blood-soaked before this started? I uh, I refuse to comment. My legal counsel has advised me not to speak. 
And now they're all naked. Uh, now they do. What are they going to do? Oh. Oh. Is there any benefit for getting people out of combat? Uh, you can't. So, okay. I think that's... Because I'm pretty sure... Uh, like, cannibalism in video games is a weird one. I, it, it falls under a lot of censorship. Mm. So, you have to have either, like, negative side effects or reasonings and things like that to justify... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this one. But, yeah. Beta Positive says, uh, I think they regret their choice. And Rhymes and Moose says, hard for them to learn when they're dead. Yeah, but you got to admit, yeah. that barrel explosion was fun. I mean, yes, it was kind of like stamping on a, you know... Unnecessary. A plastic bag full of meat, but boy, was it fun. See, of all the people on this deck, there are two that I haven't met. The person with the blue flaming sword and the person with the bird. They seem cool. Um, though Vampire Lass might not end up being on the party for too long. Why is that? She's just very dull. <laughs> She's just really, really dull. It hasn't been faced the vampire yet. No. Um, so, what are your feels on streaming a thing this evening? Uh, it is 9.30. If I stream, it'd be for a couple of hours, but I, I could do it. Okay, so we can keep this train going. Oh. How are you doing? Are you thinking of wrapping up soon? Yes, yes. We're going to go talk to the person, the other half of that pirate lot that we were just doing a murder on. Uh, and then I'm going to bring it to a close because... Uh, You've been going for how many hours? Uh, just six and a half. So, you know. Yeah. But it's just, you know, it's a Sunday. We're, we're taking it easy, yo. Like, I didn't start until, like, gone three... Uh, also, now you've mentioned that the guy who did I Am A Hero has got a new series. Now I want to see it. Uh, all the bright. It's not very bright, though. Uh, where are we going to find that numpty? Uh, did you arrive in the fate of the rich? Or gave it away? It's because I eat the rich. Um, and plus, uh, what I might do is, you know, like... Uh, Oh, I've got some mages. Oh, who's this? That's close enough. The young girl narrows her eyes and reaches for a dagger tucked into her back pocket. Uh, her cheeks are sallow and she licks the edges of her dried lips. Even if she has eaten this week, you doubt if she'd be in fighting shape. <laughs> Draw your weapon, if that's how you want it, kid. Or, whoa there, no need for that. I'm kind of tempted to draw my weapon and just be like, back off, child. And sometimes, children need to learn that there's a bigger fish. Um, Beta Positive says, so Will, uh, is Aerosmith or Motorhead eat the rich? Uh, Motorhead would be more eat the rich than Aerosmith. Because, I mean, the band's name Motorhead just comes from a shorthand for doing loads of speed. Rhymes and Moose says one, there's no need for that. Anyone else have any thoughts or feelings on ch scaring children? I mean... You know that point where I'm I'm almost waiting for someone to encourage me to be a bastard? Do you need someone to encourage you to do that? <laughs> savage! Utterly savage. Chronofire says, Witness! Beta says three, say nothing. All right, no need for that. Velfetto, smarter than you look. Her hands drop to her sides. Child, are you shitting me? Can't be too careful. Queen's birth has an edge to her. So what's a kid like you doing the street to neck a tarka? Nothing, Ali. I've never had a roof over my head longer than an evening. She cocks an eyebrow at you. I guess cutting me loose was cheaper on my parents than a passage back to the republics. Aww. Or a few bites of bitter squash. Farewell. And what's what's the dance deal? Please, sir, a coin. The child moves closer and tugs at the hem of your garments. Uh, say nothing, because they're going to steal something from us. All right, give a copper, stay out of trouble, but they're going to lift hey, something thanks. from us. The coin vanishes up their sleeve. All right, now they uh, they stole an extra copper, which is fair. I would have given him a couple more if I'd had the chance. 
Ah, since we murdered all the pirates in this area, there seems to be a nice little gam of uh, little, <laughs> little gambling den. But we haven't found the guy we need to scare the heck out of. Oh, sorry, to fill you in. So the guys that jumped us in the alley... Um, so there was this guy outside being a loud quest giver, being like, Oh, I can't believe I've lost my satchel. Will no one help me? Sure. So it's like, oh, I'm such a klutz. My captain's going to kill me. I forgot my satchel and it's so important. So we went on in. And just as we're about to walk into the bathhouse where he's left it in because he's not allowed in, we get told, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot to say, uh, don't look at its contents. And I'm like... You return. So of course. Can I be of service? No. Uh, him agreeing with another captain to uh, have his ship like basically taken over. What he was going to do was dump all the gunpowder before this other ship set sail. What do you mean dump? So like there'd be no gunpowder on board when he got uh, when this other crew went to go take him. So then he'd get on the ship and then they'd just get wrecked by someone. Yeah. Oh, and there's uh, a vetter. Let's talk to a vetter first. What is my seal? Postinago, did you take it again? She grabs Nasus by the arm and shakes him. He winces and ducks his head, making no move to escape her grip. You will feel the bite of the cat's tail if you have lost it, boy. Uh, good help really is hard to find. Unhand and leave the killing known. Um, uh, have you ever known uh, abuse to endear loyalty? I won't go with the good help is so hard to find. A delivery boy with a smart mouth. What a surprise. Uh, did you mistake me for a servant? Uh, I suppose I am here if in a delivery, in a sense. Or, insult me again, I dare you. Or, snark or threat? Because it's either, did you just mist... D are you serious right now? Do you not see that I am partially made of fire? I'm still covered in the gore. Hey, Tenwin! Good morning, dude! How's it going? Uh, beta says three... Uh, insult me again, I dare you. I think I might go for that. Okay. Beta was the first one to respond, and uh, I'm easily influenced by others. Uh, insult me again, I dare you. If you are not a servant. She returns her attentions to Degonos with his arms arms crossed, frowning. Is this Nazanali a friend of yours, Degnos? She glances at you briefly and then looks away with a slight roll of her eyes. An acquaintance only, Casita, from the Luminous Bathhouse. He carefully avoids your eyes and shrugs self-consciously. First you waste my servant's time, and now you have the gall to waste mine as well. So, here's the question. She's being a right bad word, but her servant is the one looking to, you know, murder and overthrow her. I think I'm just giving her the letter, so I found this curious letter in Dorigo's satchel. Its contest may interest you. Contents. Blah. I know how words work. Degnos curious. <laughs> I sincerely doubt it. She swipes the letter from your hand and opens it slowly, as if she is already uh, bored. What she she's already bored. What she accepts to find inside. Is she rich, by the way? Just a curiosity. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. Uh, that is not um, Casita. Please do not. He reaches for the letter in Aveta's hands, but is not bold enough to take it from her. Quoi? She opens the letter and begins to read. With a strangled cry. Degonus uh, stumbles back and takes off running a full pelt down the docks. Stop him! Helia, grant me wings. It is a pity you let him escape. <laughs> she rubs her temple, eyes closed. He will be found. I will make it so. She makes an expansive chopping gesture as she speaks, emphasizing her point. I did not think he had the stones. And now I will never know the extent of his sabotage. Trade routes, partners, cargo. Anyone may know them now, Merla! But you have saved my life. Agrasima, for your trouble. Your intervention has given me much work to do. Leave me to my tasks. Of course. You mean she didn't pay you? Yeah. And by the sound of it, we also fecked up her operation. So she's less rich than when she started. And it's not terrible. Yeah, same. But she's a ship captain, so, uh, you know, what happens at sea um, gets dumped off the side once you're done kind of with the leftovers. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a wasteful sort. You all know that I don't tend to waste the leftovers of the rich, but, you know. All 
Rosemary said also, keep in mind, his plan would have probably gotten all of his crewmates killed. And they work for, you know, they're, they're the working class. We support them. And attend, when we have the money, we'll hire them. So, I'm going to... I'm just going to quickly... Uh, where's the barkeep? Barkeep! I need a room! No. One that's not sinister. What can I do for you? Oh, have you seen a group of... Royal Death Hi. Guy? They're up on the balcony outside. Okay. If this is some kind of trading company squabble, take it elsewhere, right? My staff already have... You see anything oh, no. you All right, what have you got for sale? Um... Painfully dyslexic. <laughs> Firstly, what, oh friend, welcome. Thank you kindly for the follow. Secondly, I don't think I've ever been able to relate to a username more. Although that is spelled correctly. <laughs> I always thought that it was a right fucker that dyslexia is an incredibly difficult word to spell. Yeah. Of all the fucking words you could just pick a phonetic spelling for, assholes, why not just put a fucking umlau in there or some extra? Just make up some characters. Bench, just add like three characters that don't have any audible sound. Yeah. Just, well, yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just get like the back, so the backstage to watch for free. Yeah. Uh, and we're not really spell casting a lot. Paper says, yay! And also, absolutely agree. Also, that should be morale, I think. It should do. But, I guess not. Yeah, we we'll need to stack up. Everyone's kind of unhappy with us, but mostly because uh, we got hurt and my sailors didn't have a chance to recover. To dream of with uh, uh, dis uh, lacula. Dis calcula. Okay, Rhymes and Moose, I ain't even trying that word. I ain't even trying that. Um, but yeah, I'm just... I am glad that we live in a time and an age where spell checking exists, and <clears throat> dyslexia is better understood these days than it was. This calculator, I think, is in some ways a lot worse. Because... Yeah, math is important. Oh, is that the... Numbers get mixed up. Which is, like, really bad, because, you know, that's kind of important to get your numbers right these days. Uh, true. You're paying taxes or <laughs> invoicing people or whatnot. I do feel like it's one of those things that Dustin needs a better better sense of research and understanding, because dyslexia is not a disability, but it is a different way of... As it was explained to me, it's a different way of processing information. And... Oh, did you realize yeah, right now? I, I once filled out a tax form wrong, just because, you know, turns out you put a lot of numbers in little boxes. Oh, I've had that one. The one that always gets me is uh, looking at a number and reading it aloud and saying the wrong number. Mm. And as you've had to put up with me, like, sometimes I will... I mean, I've been doing it all day, saying um, Path of Exile instead of Pillars of Eternity, because I look at PoE and my brain just goes, Ah, uh, you can't win them all. Anyway, this tavern seems as good a place to bring this lovely stream to a close. I'd like to thank you all for coming here today and being a bloody marvellous group. So to painfully dyslexic and people who just rolled in, it is lovely to make your acquaintance. Um, usually, what I would say is that uh, this lovely little channel we have here, we focus a lot on the artistic intent in video games alongside the realities of game development. You know, we look at the, the art and the feeling and the meaning of games as much as the, and here's how you take a thing to market. And usually there'd be a lot of different games during the day. 1 p.m. Pacific is usually when I kick off Tuesday through Sun to through Saturday. However, I broke my feckin' hand, like, well, I guess technically two weeks ago. And so since then, uh, we've been on a broken schedule, um, which is why we're streaming today and we've been doing a lot of Path of... Ah, oh, see, I nearly did it. A lot of Pillars of Eternity 2, because as a one-handed game, it's perfect. Story good, voice good, gameplay great. And we play a Viking that's eaten the rich who has been reborn as a godlike. It's a long story. It's been a bloody marvellous day. And, yeah. We've had all the people who've come in. So, um, Dan Floyd put up the Monster Hunter video yesterday oh, nice. or this evening. So, loads of people have come on in. He linked the channel and everything. Oh, that's amazing. So, we've had loads of cool peeps coming in. But now I've got to heal up so I can join him on another hunt. That's... Especially some of those Elder Dragons, because I've got so many I haven't even seen yet. I mean, maybe we need to look at one of those controllers for you. Could do, could do. But we'll, we'll wait and find out what Thursday has to say. That's um, and, you know, Thor brought a raid in. We had, like, 
50 people bundled in, and a bunch of peeps hung out from there, so it was awesome. Oh, and painfully saying that they came in from Man's Monster Hunter video, that's why we're here. Oh, that's super nice. cool. Yeah, beta, we got worm raided. Um, Thor's battle cry was worms in your cast. And I was just like, <laughs> I mean, that's a nightmare feel right there. But I don't usually stream on a Sunday, so this has been a lovely impromptu setup. Um, I think I can do, I think I can do credits. Because it's been, I mean, we've been going for six and a half hours. I've probably forgotten. Uh, Chrono Fire, when is the next stream? Definitely Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow, don't know. I should probably take a break. But then it's also like, what the bloody hell else am I going to do? Yeah. So, you're just going to hang out with sad sack. Yeah. Well stream. Yeah, I'd much rather I'd much rather spend six hours playing this with you lot than just kind of flopping about the house and singing Alabama Do you want to be? <laughs> and so on and so forth. Uh, right, before I talk about future streams, let me just get my thank yous going. So, you lovely, lovely folks. As today has been a bloody marvellous day. Um, I do, I love the credits feature. It's so good. So, we of the Longship Crew salute you. So, a huge thank you to both Vanderbeast and Allegedman for donating. I'm basically, at the moment, donations are what's keeping me alive. So, the support will... Keep Will Not Dead Fund is I'm very grateful for. Uh, thank you to Caffeine and, of course, Slifter for moderating up a storm and for our new followers. Okay, so, Painfully Dyslexic, Justin Brutality, Zero Katama, uh, Tyrion Penguin, uh, Yadana Chicken, MC Catmaster, Thunder, uh, Tohonku, James, JPK, Steets, Roddy Dev, uh, CA, Cianon, Metasworn, Lezen, Karuta, Richard Tavi, uh, Lothbane, Ember, uh, LT Man, and Rogue to Form. Thank you all. And Lizzie! Yo! Sneaking in our final donation. Thank you. Uh, Lizzie with a $5 donation saying, please, don't drink in Minecraft LARP again. <laughs> the Minecraft LARP is a joke because I was boogieing along to my tunes on my uh, phone. And in time with the music, which I... have Remembered as being uh, the intro to Death Parade, Flyers. I went to jumping hit a branch in time with the music and did not see the stop sign behind it. And that's how I broke my feckin' hand. So there's that. Um, so yeah. Uh, ten winner. I've not found the companion you've mentioned yet, but I found the vampire last, so we're going to keep looking. Um, and yeah, we've got tomorrow. Either I'll, either I'll be streaming or I'm not. We do have a very active Discord if you want to come hang out. That is probably the best place to find out, at least while things are on the random. But Tuesday and Wednesday, for definite. 1pm from then, we'll definitely be streaming. We'll probably be continuing this while my hand is patching, because it's a, it's a nice ongoing story to hang out with you all for. Sorry it's not necessarily the most exciting every time, but there we go. Anyway, you know I can fucking waffle onto the break of break of dawn. Um, you gonna jump on? Yeah, I'll jump on. Right, so everybody, we're gonna jump over to Slifter's channel. We're basically we're gonna swap seats. We're gonna go over to his. Let me just grab you his channel, real fast, because I'll be doing it a host. Because I didn't be host. Um. Uh, let me just quickly find it. So, Danny Gunner, where? But if you want to be prepared, right? We'll be jumping on that in naught but a second. Dude, I don't know why I keep lapsing into the, like, the East End London pirate voice thing. I honestly can't help it. And I think it's getting to the point where I'm probably going to need to see someone about it. This is one of those things that my mother says, if you keep making that face, it'll stick that way. Exactly, but with a shit accent. Um, Lizzie saying, he's glad I made it before you ran away. Ah, Lizzie, love to you as well, bro. Thanks for sticking with for all this nonsense. Right, that's the channel we're going to be on. And we'll see you all in a little bit, alright? Now, where are the bloody buttons? I think it's there.